Ladies and gentlemen, across the beautiful Kyber Empire, the YouTube's favorite show, Will Hoy! Say it with me. Fail! The critically acclaimed, the 10 out of 10 dentist recommend. The world's, I'm sorry, the multiversal's favorite show, Will or Fail. We're getting right into it. Yes, I want to do it. The pop-ups came up. We're just jumping straight into Whaler Field because dude, if you can't see it, they want to come on, come on, come on, a little closer, a little closer. Right from the very get-go, uh, I, I just I, I had to do it right now. The free pack for Sir Junda, the character which we're about to test in a few short moments today, came up, and the chance for the ultimate Whaler Fail experience, three hundred. 30 shards could be all yours for free. For everyone who likes this video today, I'm increasing your odds by some number which I cannot disclose. You just maybe, potentially, maybe there's some correlation between liking and getting the pack. Totally not a scam. The question is, are we gonna be that lucky, huh? What are we doing? I'm gonna get five. Okay, come on guys. Put some more positive vibes out there. All right, I, I, I want to do it. I'm feeling something magical in the air. Okay, I need to zoom out. I need some space, guys. Come on, give me some space! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have two accounts, two free seven-star packs that we need to get right now. So let's start off. Which, which account is this? Hold on, this is the... All right, we're going to start off with Big Daddy. Big Daddy, are we going to need to spend $330 today? Or is R and Jesus bless them gonna bestow upon us the 330 shard pull? All right, we're gonna hit go in three, two, one. You're making me go to the web store. You're making me go to the web store. You see, you, 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 is this how, is this how you're gonna? Uh, you're making me go to your third grader developed web store. You can't just give me the pack in game. <sighs> I guess play a song, Gary. I guess they, 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 CG does not know anything about hype. They don't know anything about showmanship panache. It's, it's, it's like I'm basically playing like one of those web-based games. You know, that's an insult. Stickgames.com, I'm sorry for insulting you. You guys had quality stuff on there. Boy, that, that got me through my, my youth, I swear. Well, I guess we're gonna have to come back in a moment. Uh, fix your Squarespace looking web store CG. You tell him, Yotter. All right, well, I guess we gotta go. Oh, gosh, now I, now I gotta go to the web store. I gotta click keep me signed in every single time you keep signing me out. And then I gotta go to the email. Then I gotta get the code. You're gonna sign me out of the game. Man, it's tough. First world problems, man. All right, go into the web store. Okay, logging into said web store. Oh my gosh, you hate it. It's, it's, uh, it's so dumb, it's annoying. Anyways, while we're getting this up and running, we have a shay of 38 months. Still waiting for bulk. Oh, Katan's oh my crap. I'm telling you, I got this theory. We've always associated Din Djarin as the Mandalorian for the TV show, The Mandalorian. But is it really? I don't know, Bo, Bo is up to some funny stuff lately, I gotta say, Ashea. Thank you for the 38 months. I'm looking forward to, I have a feeling Bo, there might be a better hope for Bo in the future, except just being a casual Mandalorian plug-in. Music and I give her two pounds. Hey, G, are you in a hurry today? No, I just, I was excited. I saw the packs, like, why don't we just like open up with hype but of course it's CG. They don't know a single thing about hype. And yeah, it's it's like a senior citizen community running. Actually, that's, I, I, I gotta apologize there. I went to a karaoke party at a senior citizen community. Holy cow, was the karaoke bar freaking lit, honey. Gosh, there's more energy there than in capital games. Anyways, Micah Pro two dollars. Much love to the grand. Yeah, see, there we go. Music and Dragon GA, that's one of the former titles. It's like going up it's like going up to President Barack Obama and be like, hello, Senator. You know how that feels? Hello, Senator. It's like, yes, that's true. But the former presidents, like then, you know, Grand Emperor, Grand Emperor. Grand Emperor's like down there, baby. Grand Emperor, I came and like put on a scale how big that is. 
but Michael Prude's got it right. Much loves it a GE. Long of the Kyber Emperor. What time is it? Well, it was time for Whale of Fail. Anyways, I got logged into the store. Let's go show you guys in case you guys don't know. I guess you can't claim it in game. I thought with Calcast you could. Now it just sends you on over to their web store. So I feel bad for those who can't get in. I wish I could help. I'm not tech support. I'm not any support at all. So there it is. Mystery chest. Let well, might as well, since we're here, might as well claim that. There you go. Got our freebie shards. I believe there's also a... Yes, there's a welcome gift as well. Hey, Inquisitors, everyone's starting to take Inquisitors semi-seriously. Uh, with the Reva, 25 shards of Sex Sister, Ninth Sister. Hey, you know, uh, both in Reese. So Ninth Sister's a great tank. Uh, Second Sister's a great pilot. For the Interceptor, you can't really go wrong with either of them. So let's go. Freebie stuff there. And what we wanted was this right here. Sinjun, the uh, free rekindled connection pack. The chance, the opportunity to get a free seven star character. We're gonna claim it. And then of course we gotta be very anticlimactic and wait for the game to load up and see what we were given. And uh, what's, that, what's our odds? So 70% chance we're gonna get five shards. What's the 69? <laughs> You know, they could have at least made it 69.69 or 69.420, something like that. They get seven shards. That's likely we're going to get. But I, I wouldn't be mad if we get that 0.1% chance, a better chance than 230 shards. 0.1% chance to get 330. So we're going to go ahead and claim it. All right. Now, hold on. Let me uh, get the free-to-play account now. Hold on. Now we got to... Got to get the free to play going. Now I got to open up this lovely browser. What do I use? I use Microsoft. The only time I use Microsoft Edge so I can have two different accounts signed in. But does it matter when they keep signing me out anyways? All right, going to Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. What? No, you have an option to keep yourself signed in. I don't believe you, CG. Now I got to type in the email. And then we get on the chain. All right, now I got, remember me on this device. Do you really though, CG? Do you really remember me on this device? Now I gotta go to my Gmail and for my second account. And then we gotta click on promotions. And then I gotta click on my code. 69420 is the code, put it in y'all. All right, and there we go. Enter the said code. And there we go. All right, let's go. Oh man. Look at this, they're, they're begging me. They're begging me. Do you want Microsoft Edge to be your default browser for opening links? No way. You guys can open links, that's news to me. PDFs, you guys can get images. Holy cow, Microsoft Edge is truly, it, Microsoft Edge is the capital games of internet browsers. Can you believe it? Actually, it's probably an insult to Microsoft Edge. They probably are decent. I'm just so used to what I use. Anyways, free to play count number one. I'm gonna claim my freebie stuff. And then mystery stuff for March. I've been horrible. I've only clicked this like four times this month. <laughs> the second I see I have to sign in again, it's like, no, I'm not, it's not worth it. It's not worth my pride and my time is worth more. And then we have Sir Junda. All right, come on. He opened up two freebie packs. One of them is gonna be 330 shards. Income okay. Donation. All right, I think that's everything right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna just get you guys back on over here. And let's see if we were lucky enough, if CG graced upon us on this holy day of free packs, if we're going to be lucky sons of guns. Get on over here. Okay. Our, our, oh. Oh. Thanks. Hey, guys. Oh. You want the intro again? Okay. Welcome to YouTube's favorite show. Whoa. Let's try it again. YouTube favorite show. All right, guys. All right, what's going on here? That was a very short applause. Is that is that is that all I can get? The music's still playing. I did an interest to the show for a second time. I know CG kind of took the steam, the, the wind from my sails. All right, well, YouTube's favorite show, 10 out of 10 dentist recommended. The Galaxy's favorite. Show. Uh, it doesn't sound as a, it's hard to you know. I already said it once. It's hard to get the message across a second time. Well. Let me get over back to the game after CG's mild detour. All right, now we gotta log out of the said games. All right, close all this out. Let's get the chat up and in case we get hype, we need to make sure, oh, no. oh God, did I just close it? Okay, we're there. All right, 
We're good. There we go. We got it. There you go. Thank you. Are we good? Okay, we're good. All right. Hey, look, this is new. Celebrate the first super chat for Marco Sproli. This is new. YouTube telling me at Marco Sproli for the first time, the super chat of one euro. No come from Marco, but there go. Give a round of applause for them. All right. Okay. Let's reboot the game. Let's see if we got it. Here we go. All right. All right. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. If we're lucky, we're going to open up the game and it's going to show unlock Cal Casses. That means we got more than 25 shards. All right. Loading up. The suspense is killing me. So remember, we got two tries at this. Two tries. Setting on over to the bank. The bank's considering the offer, and the bank says! Oh. We didn't get enough shards. All right, let, let, let's see how many shards we get. And we got hit for the fat seven! Well, you know, free shards is free shards, but technically, I failed. But I'm not gonna complain. Keep giving people free shards. Hey, listen. I know not everyone's gonna stri strike gold, but someone is, and almost every single time this happens, someone's getting something for free. Someone's getting something for free. But now we have the free to play account. Yes, my friends. Let's go ahead. All right. All right, open up a second account. Come on, all right, come on, no, no, you can't do that to me. Let me hear that sweet cha -ching. But you know when, when the characters are gonna be unlocked, you hear the cha -ching. All right, cha-ching in three, two, one! I guess we were not lucky to get 330 shards. Where, where is it at? Let's see. Come on, give me a 10. Give me a 10. Give me a 10. Mm. And unfortunately. Today, RN Jesus has not smiled upon us. We only got seven shards. Let's look at the bright side. Look at the bright side for all of my people who are not about to wail like I have to now. That's like, you know, this could be a hard node farm character likely, right? I don't know. Maybe it'll be generously put on Cantina. That could be like three days of farming right there. Right there. You got 12? That's good, Cameron. That's good for you. You got 10? Yeah, 10's not bad. We got a 12, 7. 7, gang. Yeah, all my homies, we get 7. 7 is a holy number, so technically it's a W. There you go. But I guess that means we got to go straight into this now. Oh, I was hoping we got lucky. All right. So we're going to do the marquee event afterwards. So wait, let's see. So hold on. We got to do big brain math. So 330 minus 50 puts us at 280, correct? This pack gives us 30. So we got to stop at 250. 250 is where we stop at, and then we do everything. Yeah. And then we have Adam. How are we doing, bud? Is there a pack for learning why Bo Katan versus Adam? We're still trying to figure that out. There's not an explanation out there. It, I, I, it, it's gotten to that degree where it has superseded people's concern about UFOs, and people are trying to. There's conspiracy about this. Why did Bo go first? It goes deep. Unfortunately, I can't go there because once I go there, my mind will never come back, Adam. But I can assure you, we have our best people working on it right here, right now. Holy cow, Allison, no way. You got 330. See, I can't tell if people are yanking my chain or they actually or they actually got it. I know some people did. Some people did. Some people did get it, but it's hard to tell. Did you get the Inquisitor freebies? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Holy cow. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Well, let's see. So the other freebies. Let's go take a look real quick. Other freebies. You have... What do we got here? You... So that's my Galactic Challenge crate. I kind of was lazy. You got that. 
And there you go. Transaction successfully processed on the free to play account. 25 shards of Ninth Sister. Hey, it's not bad. Uh, we have the mystery chest. We got 100 mod energy to Seven Sister. And there's our Seer Junda. So there you go. Uh, again, I feel bad for those that can't get on it. I am not tech support. People say like they're missing an EA Connect button. I don't know. Maybe if you have a minor account, maybe it's not for all regions. I am not very helpful in that department. Unfortunately, I just, it worked for me and I wish it was that easy for everyone else. <laughs> and then we have Slippy Steve with the one month. Hey yo, hey yo. How you doing, bud? You're looking good today. Great having you here. We have music and I give her the two dollars. Congratulations, GE. There we go. We got it to those amazing seven shards. All right, you, 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 you're making fun of my seven. Look, watch this. I'm telling you, first pack, go for it. Right here, let's go. Listen, only the cool kids get seven shards. All right, well, we're taking the long road today, baby. Long road. All right. Sending it to the bank. The bank says it's going to be another seven. All right, come on. Do it again. Come on. Do it. Show some moves. Apparently, today's just a seven type of day. Let's keep it going. Big money, no whammies. Big money, big money. Baylor fail on the wall. Who's the whaler? Seven more. Hey! And see, you gotta be kind. You gotta caress it. This has feelings too, you know. Behind all the text and code is a living, breathing AI wishing to be born into the world, wishing to share. It's whaley and RNG baseball. And that right there is all the crisps I have for my grand arena and other stuff so we got a, a a wee bit to go mates we got a wee bit to go did he honor the whale court okay obvious why things are not going well hold on here's what we got to do all right get the freaking whale of court right here right now all right let's go bless it upon this purchase the way uh, the name of the whale crack and holy r and jesus may the odds be ever in your favor my friends here we go all right where's it at where is it at? All right, people. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like we must have blessed some increased luck there. We have music and number five euros. Sometimes you lose, sometimes the other wins. So, we'll hold it! Listen, I, I know some people are, are mad about what, the, what they get. For me, I am just happy knowing that with these free packs, statistically, somebody out there when you have Let's just say 100,000 people. There's 100,000 people that log in to claim this pack. Um, maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe I, maybe I overshot the number there. But regardless, you just know that there's a pretty good statistics show that there's probably going to be at least a few folks. Very few folks that get lucky. And that makes me happy knowing that we're getting free seven-star Cal Kestis and the other range. You know, people getting 180 or something crazy like that. That puts a smile on my face. All right. Keep it going, honey. What do we got? 12, all right, hey, that's our second 12 of the day. Second 12 of the day, I'm not mad. Let's keep it going though. Is this the free to play count? No, it's not, is it? No, 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 we got it. Oh, you scared me for a moment. No, this is not free to play, guys. Don't scare me. Holy cow, you guys scared me. No, this is not free to play. No, 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 guys, it's over on this side. Holy cow, you guys scared the living daylights out of me. Oh, here I am casually dropping hondos. <laughs> All right, deep breaths, everyone. I know we're kind of bouncing back and forth. Ooh, man. My bad, I started this. Oh, boy. I, I, you know, it's better to double check. <laughs> that would have been the stupidest thing for me to spend money on the free-to-play account. The worst thing you can do breaking a free-to-play streak <laughs> is buying a brand new <laughs> character at seven stars day one. That is the worst thing to do. If you do want to break your free-to-play virginity, you buy a good pack. You buy yourself a hyperdrive bundle. You buy yourself uh, just a bunch of energy, or you just really want to expect that Commander Tano farm because you are impatient. Definitely never, ever, ever break your free-to-play virginity just buying a new character day one because it's useless until you gear it up and relic it and all that stuff. Ooh, you guys scared me. 
All right, there's a five right there. Not looking hot. Not looking hot. Let's keep it going, though. All right, we have Mirko Sproly coming in again with a five euros. Thank you so much, my friend. My lord, in my way to get Star Killer, do you think Cal Kestis will be better than Beast Mar in the team? We actually talked about that the other day. Love you. Send the love right back at you, bud. Uh, we actually talked about that during the Cal Kestis uh, testing that we did. Uh, here's the thing. Thing, 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 thing. Okay, how do I phrase this? It's not bad. Like, Cal Kestis it could be better in that situation. More heals, uh, support mechanics. The downside is Mara J team usually goes first. So you're already missing out on a big chunk of Cal Kestis's, um kit. You don't want to go first in a Cal Kestis kit. That's number one. Number two, if you don't have Raidus, if you don't have if you don't have Raidus, it's a non-issue for you. If you have Galactic Legends Ray, I was looking at the numbers and stuff like that. Cal Kestis with Ray is making it more challenging for the things like Star Killer to beat Ray. We saw that Ray's viability on defense went up because of Cal Kestis, just from initial impressions looking at the data. Uh, and then you gotta keep in mind that Cal Kestis is probably gonna be great with Sierra Junda. But yes, technically Cal Kestis can be a star killer. Whether or not it's better than Visa Smart, it's kind of up in the air. Visa Smart revive could be clutch, but mo you know, I, I feel like I'm not using the revive that often on Visa Smart. So just having the target to heal and the pass effects is definitely nice to have. So long story short, we made we, we, we took a detour. We took Route 66 to get to the conclusion there. Cal Kestis is decent uh, as a replacement for Visa Smart. But I think what I'm trying to say is that there are much better ways of utilizing Cal Kestis right now. At least that's what my initial impressions are showing me. Hope that helps you out. We made our way around. I feel Seer replaced Palp Lee for Starkiller in 3v3. Ooh, speaking, look at that. Slippy Steve coming in with an interesting perspective. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold that thought, Slippy. Hold on. I was feeling something there. I was feeling something there. I, I, I thought there was some energy being put out there. Oh man, anyways, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Remember this though, my friend. Yeah, you, you can't quite take advantage of Star Killer without a Sith, without a Jedi. So you're still gonna need to find a Sith Lord to plug in. You're still gonna need to find a Jedi. And you're just not, you know. <sighs> I think you know what I'm getting at, right? Star Killer is very picky. You need to have X, Y, Z, the sugar spice, everything nice. If you don't have it, yeah, you're not going to get all the benefits. So, and that means that the Sierra Judas, you're not going to have a full unaligned force user team then. You still need to kind of input the other stuff. So we'll have to wait and see. I I have a feeling CG, they're... When it, how do I say this? Generally, they do a good job developing stuff, uh, characters, that is. Uh, but we've seen that they dropped the ball apparently on Poggle Omicron. They're already looking into nerfing it, <laughs> I think. Uh, tie Defender, list goes on and on and on. I have a feeling in their grand design, they want Star Killer and Palpatine to be its own thing. Uh, generally untouched, so that's a team. So I, I'm not too sure. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Not complete events at all. Yeah, we will. We, we still have a ways to go. We, we're going to stop at 250. This is where we're stopping, and we are taking a long, long, long time holy cow we still have a little bit to go 90 less than 90 shards oh my gosh you don't need jedi or sith Ooh, in 3v did, 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 did slippy say 3v3 oh yeah okay I, I i missed that part slippy sorry in 3v3 yes in 3v3 you just need to unalign forces of your light side unalign forces of dark side holy cow these fools are trash but yeah, in 3v3, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. My, my mind always gravitates to the way Galaxy Rose should be played, and that's 5v5. I don't know if it's that controversial. I don't think 3v3 should be nearly as often as it is. Maybe once every two, like two months, 5v5, one month, 3v3. That's just me. So, uh, plus, the rest of the game is based off 5v5. There is no 3v3 territory war. So yeah, when I, when I read the first part, my mind gravitated towards 5v5. But you're right. In 3v3, I can see this being legitimate, though. 100%. Uh, is it better than Palpatine? I guess time will tell. But yet understand this too, my friend. Galaxy Rose is all about maximizing the efficiency of teams. You want to try to make as many great teams as possible. Hey, oh, 12. Shardaroonies right there. 
the problem with that idea is that you're putting two good teams together and is it going to be an amazing team or is it still just going to be a good team that could be beaten by more or less the same that's what you got to look at you don't want to put a lot of good teams in one if it because that means your opponent can beat two teams for the price of one you know what i mean so time will tell time will tell time will tell yeah make that switch three v three only my gosh cody that has to be the most controversial opinion i think i've ever seen in my life all right 194 holy cow sarah june is making me work for her today jeez no way dystopian lucidity oh my gosh i don't believe you 499 i just pulled a 330 out of the online shard for oh cal cast this is that pack still up there i didn't see it, i guess because i already pulled it it does happen no way send screenshots to somebody put it on our discord i want to see it congratulations there you go dreams do come true i wonder i wonder what the probability of this is that's probably easy to calculate i wonder if there's at least gonna be one person some lucky soul maybe the luckiest person on earth i'm assuming they're gonna do this for the other requirements for cal Kestis. but what if <laughs> someone gets uh oh man someone ends up getting a free seven star character for all of the cal Kestis requirements hitting the 0.1 percent drop rate for all the cal Kestis requirements oh man that you know i i think i would die in peace if that happened oh gosh all right what is this crate number three crate number three let's get the blessing out here we go R and Jesus, please bestow upon me the luck I need and desire. Give CG less my money. In R and Jesus' name, may the odds be ever in our favor. All right, it's one in a thousand, but every three thousand you have a ninety-five percent chance of having gotten it for sure. Yeah, so it's yeah, I guess it's just point four, yeah, point one times four, yeah, point point one to the fourth or whatever probabilities, right? As I said, probably easy to calculate. Yeah, that's. Wow, I, 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 the odds of that happening are so, <laughs> I just can't imagine, I can't put into words how lucky you would be. Oh, that would be like one in a thousand factorial, not, yeah, not one in a thousand, yes, factorial. Not one in a thousand, yeah, one in a thousand, that's great. One in a thousand is honestly not bad odds if that's how it was, but that's not how it works. But yeah, I'm just putting it out there. I want to know, I want to meet the person if they got that. I want to just have them. I want to meet them, just have them rub a little bit of their luck on me. Maybe they got something in their blood that I need. Because dang, that, that's got to feel real good. We have Zachary Morgan with the $5. Why does she have Jedi-specific stuff in her kit? Even though she also has things that say, if all allies are unaligned forest users, using Jedi would make her useless, right? Uh, it's kind of like this. I mean, maybe there might be something Jedi-specific that's going to be good in terms of mechanics. Why does Dr. Effer call out Kersanta? Even though no one uses Kersanta on our team because... He doesn't add anything. Chrysanthemum's honestly kind of trash in a Dr. FT. But nonetheless, they put a little bit of lore because she was a Jedi at some point, right? You know? So I, I think that might be more for lore reasons. Just like Dr. Effort calls out Chrysanthemum because they teamed up in the comic books a lot. But that doesn't mean you have to use Chrysanthemum. Like, I remember I, it took me forever to convince people. Like, people are like, oh, why aren't you using Chrysanthemum? Why aren't you just like, I, I, I. It took me like a month to finally have people understand that that was simply just a call out for lore. It wasn't like Darth Vader, where Darth Vader was called out, but Darth Vader is actually legitimately, legitimately great with Dr. Earth. I think it's the same exact thing. Yeah, the lore bits are important. Yeah, right, 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 right. Exactly. You need a little bit of lore. Holy cow. We're almost there, y'all. But knowing me. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, we got to stop at 250. Stop at 250. And then we'll do the marquee or do to get the other pack. And then we get the marquee event. We'll be at 3.30. But knowing me, we're going to be stuck at 249. And they got to get that extra little bit of crystals out of me. Here we go. This is actually really bad droppers. I'm seeing a lot of fives today. Here we go. Sending an overcoming. Give me something. Oh, gosh. I had the foresight to know that was happening and there you go all right let's go unlock the last pack here wow we uh we got a couple 12s at least 
Yeah, check my email. Oh my gosh. So I guess that's good you told me now because I can guarantee you in about an hour, it's gonna get lost. Oh, it's, I don't have it. Oh, you probably, you, all right, you sent it to my other email. I don't look at that. I don't even know how I get, how, do I even have the login for that? Okay, I don't have that email. That's a different email. That's her other stuff. I'll have to double check after. I don't have that set up on this. I don't even know the password here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different email there. Uh, yes, uh, Morikai, I was actually going to call that out in chat. Vokun. Morikai with a $2 says, Seer calls Jedi because Cal's a Jedi. Incoming. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll have to wait and see what the ultimate team with Cal Cast is going to be. That, you could be right. Maybe she's going to be good at the new journey Cal Cast is. Maybe not. Now, I don't know. Could be like, you know, Hondo isn't really used with Dr. Aphra. You know, it's kind of, it could be one of those things. We don't 100% know. We don't know until we read the kit. It could be that way. Uh, why do I, I open that up? That wasn't bad. I love those full blue thermal detonators. Those are great. We need 243 shards. LOL. So, oh well, yeah, well, yeah, but we have to get the, we got to get the 250, Mike. Yeah, we had, the seven was already in there. We still have to get the 250. It all worked out. Mike's like, ha, huh, you overspent. No, we, we, we spent just what we needed, Mike. Don't you worry. I did the math. I did quick math. Mike Galbraith, it's all good. I promise you we're good. Yeah, we had the seven, but we still need to get the 250 because then now we're going to get this. And then with this, this puts us at, well, would have been 280. And then Mark Heaven gives us the, the remaining 50. So it's all good. We're there. We're there. We're there. It's on Twitter. All right, Twitter, I can check right away. I can check Twitter. I'll get you in a moment here. And there we go. Here comes the other 30 shines. Yeah, I, I, this always trips people up. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hold on. Yeah, I think if all goes well. We're going to have six shards left over. So it's all good. Yeah, we, we, we took into calculation. Took into calculation the seven shards we got. You still need to stop at 250. It just helped us get the 250 a little bit quicker. One less pack we had to open. All right. Don't you worry, child. See, Mike, I, I know. Oh, you guys are scaring me. First, Mike would be worried. Like, did I overspend? Did I spend more? I I'll definitely overspend. Let's not beat around the bush. I spent $330 on some little pixels that will go away one day whatever they are like this game's done and then i have my chat telling me oh no you're wailing on the free-to-play account no oh man all right and then we have Vesilis cosmopolis with the five euros cg investigating trade not working as intended against reva's death mark wait trade oh no is that on the forum post we will most likely have to find a new counter ah uh, yeah yeah is that on the forums i'll have to check it out in a moment my gosh they've been really so I want to say this, the, the characters develop, the, the, the character kits are pretty cool, but I, something's wrong. They're I, like, I, do they not test their stuff? It's starting to feel like they're not really testing. Yeah. Mike says, all right, my bad. No worries. I'm glad you'd made sure you made sure that we weren't overspent, not giving CG more than what they needed. Uh, I'm going to check that out. It says that really is concerning because I was looking at the data. I was going to make a video on this and some gameplay. Treya seems to be really the only non-conquest, non-GL counter. At least in 3v3. So we gotta wait and see. 100 percent they test, their tests are just <laughs> Alright, now you're <laughs> oh boy, spicy. <laughs> Did you see the hyperdead bottle? MSF, I heard murmurs about it. I haven't looked at it though. Is that actually a thing? I was actually talking to Mobile Gamer this morning. He actually didn't even mention it to me. We were talking about some other stuff. Uh, oh gosh, you guys, bro, you guys are savage sometimes. I swear, I, I think I'm savage sometimes, and you guys are even more savage against CG. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do this marquee vet real quick, and then let's go unlock this puppy. How does that sound? Let's do it. What do we got? There we go. We're, we're looking pretty good. Hopefully, we have some folks in my shard chat that, that are able to help me out. Let's go do it. Send it on in. I'm really curious how this team's gonna work. Calcast is already making an impact for unaligned force users. Let's see what Sir Junda is going to add to it. All right, here we go. Uh, Sir Junda, the resilient former Jedi, has joined the holo table. A survivor of Order 66, Sir lived in seclusion for many years and traveled the stars aboard the Stinger Mantis. Huh? You trying to hint at something, CG, huh? While maintaining her secret mission to rebuild the Jedi Order. Her basic ability to keep fighting, deal damage, and provides all allies of XC up increased chance of landing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I know it's been a while. You showed us the cure reveal twice. All right, there you go. There you go. So remember with this team, when they get turn meter, we have ways of keeping up with them a wee bit. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this does. All right, what else do we have? We have DMP golf for the 21 months. Thank you. 
How we doing, bud? Straight the relics of intestine. Look over here, man. Um, I don't know. I generally don't go to Relic 7 right away for a lot of stuff. I generally, like, unless it's a character I absolutely love and see that there's a benefit to it or it's a meme, I'm not sure. Like, right now, I'm glad. Like, yeah, Cal Kestis, I kind of feel like Relic 5 is overkill for the guy. He's doing his job at even lower levels than what I have now. We'll see DMP going for the day takes us. Who knows? And then we have Tango with the 32 months. Please bless me with the Whale of Cory for a 330 shark pull. My brother Tango through R and Jesus today here in front of us is years of R and G built into one relic. I give you the unique blessing for good luck, prosperity, and the happiness you seek in the pack you're about to open. In R and Jesus's name, in the name of the whale kraken, holy R and Jesus, may the odds be ever in your favor. Whoa! Michael, how we do it? How we do it? Uh, hold on, hold on. Where are you at, Michael? There you are. Holy cow, $50. Michael, man, they've been trying to, they've been pushing. They came on not too long in the past two weeks or so. Big fan. Love you, Michael. I did it. I reached out to Nerd 3 with a super chat. Yeah, they do the, was that a Monday? They do their, their little, uh, or Tuesday, something like that, before the new episode. They're down to have you on. Hell yeah. I just said to DM you, uh, but I couldn't say I'm Bluebird. <laughs> YT blocks the real name. I tried to send you the, the YT uh, clip. YouTube blocked their own link. DM them. I turned 40 today. Happy birthday to you. Ah. Give it up to Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. They've been really trying to get me on the Star Wars Theory uh, show. Uh, I'll see if they follow me. I don't know if I don't think uh, I don't know how I don't really message on d uh, Twitter, but I believe you have to. Mm, I'm assuming you got to mutually follow. If he's got his DMs open, it really surprises me. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can try to shoot a message and see if we, I, I can hear back. Him. Yeah, it's always like we, we kind of it's funny how we chat to each other. It's very funneled through third party memes, uh, memes, not memes, although memes wouldn't be bad. I say something here, it gets funneled to a third party and says the Star Wars theory. Star Wars theory talks about me. It goes through a third party and it comes to me. So it's like we're playing telephone over here with a middleman sometimes, Michael. <laughs> Appreciate you trying to get us on. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be a fun conversation. Uh, I think Star Wars theory and I, we have, uh, we share a lot of the, like, I know they love Revenge of Sith. I love Revenge of the Sith too. So I think we, we're, I think, for a lot of the stuff, we're on the same page when it comes to Star Wars. It would be a fun conversation to have one day. I'll see if I can reach out to him. But, oh, speaking of Twitter, hold on. Hold on. Actually, I'll check your messages now. I can see. Here, let's see. Notifications. 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 All right, where are we at? Oh, my gosh. No freaking way. That's awesome. Here, let's pull that up real quick while we're waiting. How do I do this? No, I just want to. Oh, gosh. I always make my life so complicated, Twitter. All right, here we go. So we're going to open that up. And then, uh, let me see if I see. Oh, there it is. I see that. Let's make it happen. Here we go. There we go. Let's, let's check these out. So first thing I want to put out there, check this out. We have, we got H2O Justice in the chat. They got a 330. Yeah, 300. And that's probably, I'm assuming the, um, you know, uh, you yeah, the 50 shards from the event. Holy cow. 300 Gs. Yeah, they, 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 I, I appreciate the extra circles because one circle would not have been enough. Coming from someone who loves arrows, one arrow is generally not enough. Multiple arrows or circles really make sure all of my attention gets focused there. Yeah, 2.3 million. Wow. Uh, the, the only, yeah, I mean, hey, that's amazing. I'm like, look at your account. Like, oh man, are you going to get used out of Sir June? It's not like CalCast where CalCast feels a little bit more plug and play. You need an unaligned forest team, but the good thing here, I'm going to pitch it to you this way. I'm not sure what the rest of your roster looks like, but um, as you grow and you farm, you're going to get random unaligned forces that are like doing nothing. Seer Junda, if you gear her up, you'll be able to do some stuff with them. And then we have this from, uh, I'm guessing this is our boy Michael here. Let's make it happen. Let's, let's listen to it. 
you guys recommend Onal T101? I super chatted him that you guys sent me over. Can you guys have him on? He said to DM, I turned 40 on Thursday. Hey, happy birthday, Michael. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, he seems like a cool guy. For Is sure. it the video game guy, the Star Wars Galaxy guy? It's the video game oh, okay. guy. Cool. Yeah. Seems like a nice guy. You guys recommend Onal T101? He's I super cool him that you guys Mom, put it on the fridge. have him on. He That's said cool to guy. DM, I turned 40. Hold on, what, I just want to hear one more time. Birthday, one more time. Um, yeah, he seems like a cool guy. For sure. The... It's, it's, the keyword seems deep down, he could be an ugly beast, ready to strike from the darkness. Telling him Last Jedi is the best star. I, I can't even say it by myself. No, it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll see if I can. Uh... Yeah, I don't know if they have their DMs open. I'll send them a message. It'll be fun. Like, uh, you know, I don't know if they've ever played Galaxy of Heroes, but we played a lot of other Star Wars games I'm sure we can chat about. Thanks for, again, yeah. Uh, Michael's been really adamant. They, they really want to see the crossover happen. So I think it'd be a lot of fun. Biggest Star Wars channel with probably, I don't want to, it's, it's not really a thing to brag about because there's not a lot of Star Wars games right now, but we're probably the biggest Star Wars gaming channel right now. Oh boy, it's sad to say when it's really just a Star Wars mobile game. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get the crossover on. <laughs> oh gosh, like I'm sitting there and thinking, it's like, I mean, I know there's folks that still do Battlefront videos, but it's not like you know a big thing anymore. It's like, oh my gosh, it's weird to think that we were that we like at least right now we need more Star Wars games. It's not something I say with pleasure. But in a weird way, in the current day of Star Wars gaming, we're the biggest Star Wars gaming channel. I don't know why I'm like, it's like, oh gosh, Star Wars gaming is in a weird place right now. I'm, I promise you one day, the Star Wars gaming hierarchy is going to be a lot more diverse than it is right now. Oh man, imagine Theory grinds Lord Vader first. I feel like, you know, I don't know Theory, Star Wars Theory on a personal level. I just kind of see them occasionally in their videos and streams and I have a gist of what their opinions like on Star Wars. I think they'd be really upset if they knew like how the meta worked in Star Wars. Like I'm sure if they did like if they were completely detached from the meta, they would probably love Dark Lord Vader. But like once you understand like the levels of the meta and the counters and stuff like that, and you're in a Kyber level of competitive competitiveness, I think he'd he'd probably be really ticked up about Lord Vader. 100 percent He would want look yeah, I think that would also let you so I think one thing that Star Wars 3 would absolutely dislike about Galaxy is that all these teams aren't very I mean maybe he'd like, I don't know. They're not always lore based. Like it, it does irritate me, Yadder. I agree with you that Lord Vader does not have a 501st team. Like that would have been the dream to have like the 501st tag also work with Lord Vader. Oh my gosh, gives me goosebumps. But the second you tell him is that, oh yeah, there's Lord Vader, but his ideal team is Maul who's trying to kill him. And then a Royal Guard, which is a little after his time and um but and candorous ordo he'd be like what the hell is this so it's it's not always on point with lore but that's also kind of the appeal of the game too it's just what would happen if you put in i don't know lord vader with chorus i don't know that's kind of the the magic of it all right anyways thanks again michael really appreciate it uh I'm, I'll, I'll try to get on the tweeter later on and see if there's a way to chat with them we have yonder coming up the seven speaking of the devil crying about no lord vader 501st L plus ratio plus don't use strong plus use held by hatred plus which way is the death star spinning plus boy that's a very specific reference plus straw plus why did bo katan go first plus why did target bass plus long of the kyber empire you gotta you gotta you gotta say you gotta say maiden list you know, you, you know what's, what, there's like oh boy i saw I, I know what you're trying to do you're trying to put together the ultimate formula but i feel like there's you're still missing a few things in your formula it's a good start for an L plus ratio insult, but I, I think there could have been a few more things you could have sprinkled in there. But it's a good start. I feel like we're like 70% there, Yotter. We're 70% there. I'll admit, the, the which way to Death Star is spinning, that one, uh, I still don't know to this day which way it's spinning, thinking about it. There we go, plus rule 34. There you go. <laughs> Stop stealing my banners, there's another one, you better believe it. Hey, Jules, how are we doing? New membership to the Kyber Cup VIP Plus program, as well as a 499 saying, <gasps> Empire. Thank you so much, Jules. Hope you're having a good one over in your part of the galaxy. Great having you here today, my friend. What else do you have? Michael Rossi. IG is best for him, he said. Oof. All right. I am notorious for never using Instagram. I'm so bad of social media, believe it or not. 
it's like i i you know, youtube's like where my attention is like i'm barely on twitter and instagram like instagram i post like one thing every three years <laughs> there. i don't really share much uh but yeah, i'll keep that in mind thanks for the heads up on that mike i do have an insta uh i i'll be honest i don't even know how to message someone there but i'm gonna figure it out don't you worry michael don't you worry if he, can, if he has dms open i'll reach out to them uh what else we got here we have michael we got more kai boon we have dmp golfer we got tango i got you with the blessing aspl with the new membership as well thank you great having y'all here oh my gosh man you guys are amazing we, we are still waiting for all this marquee stuff and then we're gonna get in there am i caught up hold on we have j2n2 13 months oh boy this thing after doing an analysis i predict it's a whale uh, i mean if it makes you feel better i'll play the sound effect there you go unfortunately the data was not on my side rng jesus was not i must have ticked them off today it's all i don't know what i did i'm gonna look into it uh and then who else did i miss hold on am i caught up oh my gosh oh hey antonio how we doing bud my new life goal is the karaoke with the grand admiral i'm gonna let that last part slide but i would love to do it actually it's funny speaking of karaoke my grandma reached out to me she's always trying to coax me to visit her like every week i swear she lives in florida not not really down the block type of stuff i would if she lived down the block it'd be a different story we get some unaligned force using her she was telling me there's a karaoke contest at her bar cash prize i'm like oh man i know i could tear up a good karaoke bar antonio trust me you and me there get some duets going my gosh we're gonna make the bar go crazy and especially my grandma's demographic the bar she's talking about i sing like all the hits of their their youth and i kill it performance the panache the eye contact the gestures the twitchy movements are like i swear elvis is reincarnated in me almost antonio we gotta do it we gotta do it i'm feeling it buddy there's some magic out there we just gotta pull it and boy oh boy are we gonna kill it that's for 100 percent sure speaking of which let's see if this team can kill it there we go so katana fulcrum let's go send it on in possible collab with explained and ladder i actually i talked that card's ladder a lot i got him uh I helped them out with Galaxy Rears when they first came. They had a lot of questions and stuff like that. Yeah, Eckhart's Ladder, we chat a lot. Uh, maybe I don't want like a lot like every day, but you know, every like couple months we like reach out like, hey man, how's it going? Yada, yada, yada. We never met in person uh, or anything like that, but we do talk uh, from time to time about Galaxy of Heroes. They always like the, I don't know, if, I haven't talked to them about a month or so, but they always are flexing about their, their progress in the game and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, I would love, uh, I don't know if he'd be wanting to do a galaxy of heroes thing uh, he plays galaxy of heroes purely just out of because it's really the only star wars game you could play right now but uh i don't know it'd be fun to do something with them yeah ladder uh, ladder's uh, a great guy explain i never talk i never met explain before i never talked to a uh, star wars explain before here's the thing y'all i'm always down to have a conversation i'm always down to have fun. if we're gonna talk star wars video games you got me i'm not a it, it doesn't take a lot doesn't take a lot to get me on the phone of someone if as i say my door is open to these folks who want to hang out with me have a good time uh, I, I have a feeling if we played a normal star wars game which there aren't any right now we'd probably be in a, in a, in a bit more contact with everyone but the fact that matters there's really there's really not a lot of star wars games to, <laughs> to kind of bond over with other people but as i always like to give you guys the hope and promise i feel like there is a future out there well, there's going to be another Star Wars game that everyone's going to love. It's not just a mobile game. Um, I don't know. It's just like a Battlefront 3 that everyone loves or something. I don't know. And then I feel like I just want, I want the Star Wars gaming community to be strong, man. Uh, that's what I want. Uh, there's, it's such a great IP franchise. And it's just like it's, 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 it's a shame that we I feel like there's all these missed opportunities out there. But anyways, 100 percent. If uh, you ever hear ladder or ladder can message me i can message him right now or uh, even on twitter we talk occasionally but if ever if you're here explain to ladder be like yo i need a video gaming <sighs> i need someone who dominates in the video gaming realm and you'd be like i know just the guy and in a heartbeat i'll be there open world game yeah i mean we'll have to wait and see i think i'm very biased with the type of game as i have in mind i i mean like don't grow i love single player games right you play it great story you're done i i just don't i hate the idea of being done sometimes like I, it's okay to have games that are just one and done but i feel like there's room for games where it's kind of like galaxies where it's always breathing and expanding and it's popular and uh yeah i think there's something out there that we're missing 
Uh, there, there, there's, there, something's out there. We just got to wait and see what the future holds. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We need a little dance number, don't we? Let's go. Where's my Seer Junda? There it is. And just like that, we're at 330 shards. Oh, let's get 269 shards of trench. <laughs> you better believe it. I would love a 2006 Battlefront 2 remaster. Oh, gosh. It drives me up the wall. Like, I, I understand that we overdo, like, the, the reboots of TV shows, like, I don't know, and video games. Like, sometimes there's, like, some reboots, remasters that just should not have happened. But I just want to believe that they kind of dropped the ball in Battlefront 2. I feel like if they just would have taken the model of the 2000, I think it's five, not six. Hate to be a snoot on that one. Just remaster it, give it the graphics, the sound effects that EA was amazing with on Battlefront 2. Ugh. Oh, it breaks my heart. Anyways, oh, Battlefront 2, man. Oh, man, Battlefront 2. A game that was like, it had like the worst start in history, was making the greatest comeback in history, and boom, put in the grave before it could see its full potential. Anyways, let's not be too sad about that. There's more days to be sad about that. Anyways, let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, what's a, what's a, what, what song would see? I feel like Sir Junda. If we were at the club one day, hmm, what song would I tell the DJ to play? Hmm, I feel like it might be this one. There we go. You know what? I'm playing this song. I'm dedicating it to a very specific person in the Mandalorian. No spoilers. This is for you. This is for you, buddy. Give it up. Round of applause. You don't have my phone number that's a problem isn't it you know they somehow figured out disney knows where you live just have have them come over send that john favreau i would love to talk to him for like forever anyways let's start gearing this sucker up and see what she's all about huh all right all right calm down calm down calm down calm down calm down calm down Whew. Arnold takes his clothes off I, I just i you know I told you what my dream role is in Star Wars, right? Like, I feel a little saddened that I haven't been given this opportunity. I told you this, I'm gonna remind you guys again. Oh my. If I had the possibility of being anything I wanted in Star Wars, if they called me up and say, hey, we can't give you a major role, we can give you 
a, a minor role. I think I'm, I'm, you know, I think I'm worthy of a leading role, but I, I, I'm, I'm understanding. I'm understanding. This is who I want to be. This right here, I want to be jeans guy. I want to be the jeans guy. The guy in the back of Mandalorian, what was it, season two or one? That's me. That's all I want. That's all, I just want that minor appearance. I'll wear whatever they want. I'll wear the Gucci robe. I'll wear the Kyber attire. I'll, I'll, I don't care. I just want to be, that's all I want. In the back, in the background. That's all I want. And I can say, damn, I made it. I made it, we made it in the big leagues, Ma. Like I honestly would be is so happy if I could have that. I mean, they made the guys, they made toys for this guy. Look at this. Jeans guy got a freaking toy. And here I am begging for scraps. Oh, you can't see it right there. Look at that. The jeans guy toy. Hey guys, that's when you know you peaked in life. I'm actually quite sad they, they edited that out. <laughs> You've never seen that? Oh my gosh, I took full advantage of Actually, I think my man to hold on. I'm pretty certain in my Mandalorian, I, no, it wasn't a song then, it was the intro. Uh, hold on, let me find it. I'm pretty certain. Boy, that guy's loud. Hold on. Hold on. Is this it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like... Yes, I did it! I can't, oh my gosh. Uh, like some people have no idea what the hell is going on in there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boy, we are wasting time today. No, it's not wasting time. We're having a good time. All right, here we go. Mandalorian intro. <laughs> the Jawas, man. <laughs> Jeez, that's, that's all I want. That's all I want in life. Just to be chilling menacingly in a background. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, that was my favorite moment in Star Wars right there. Oh. That was good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, you gotta like your own video, man. Anyways, let's go start upgrading our character here. Oh, he's just standing there menacingly. All right, that's, I, I just want to remind people, you know, cause the, you know, someone that, I'm sure John Favreau watches. I, you know, you know the Correa family, Joe? How much would you bet that's John Favreau? I have a feeling that it could just be John Favreau in disguise in the background over there. Yeah. Uh, so, John, I'm a huge fan. I love what you did with Marvel. I love what you did with uh, Mandalorian and all the Star Wars stuff. Hit me up. Slide in my DMs. No cap. For real, for real. <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. That'd be a dream, man. I would love that. I think I could die. I could die happy for a lot of things, but I feel like I could die extra happy doing it. No three-star testing. Uh, I mean, let's be real. If, if, I, if I'm going to do it, you just, you just keep it at seven-star gear 11. The three stars kind of... It's it's not so much the three stars. It's the gear 11 testing. I'll open up a poll. It's starting to feel like lately less and less people are wanting the three stars. Here And here's the thing, guys. Just a reminder. <sighs> you only get so many attempts at this stuff. Uh, if I had unlimited testing, it would be mandatory that I would always do gear 11 testing. The fact that matters, we don't. Yeah. All right, let's do three, seven, or open up a poll. Yeah. All right, doing a poll. Yeah, um, yeah, it, it's, it's really annoying. It's really annoying that I can't play this game as long as I would like. Like in Marvel Snap, if I want to try out something new, a new character, I can play for 24 hours and no one's going to stop me. Come up with fun teams, theory crafting, free to play, pay to play decks. And here, I can't do that. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's kind of annoying. And let's be real, real honest. I mean, here, okay, let me be a little optimistic here. She's a support character, but is it gonna be very helpful when I'm throwing a bunch of Relic 5 and seven Unaligned Force users? <laughs> if you're using a three-star, maybe there's a chance you're not having 
all those higher geared characters to throw in there. I don't know. It, it, trust me. I just want to emphasize it, it kind of annoys me that I can't do the three star testing without the risk of losing attempts to actually learn about the character. But that's just the way it is. Don't waste the time straight through like five. Yeah, it's really it's annoying, guys. Uh, it really is. All right. All right, I'll, I'll let the poll sit there for a few more moments to the side. Um, here, let me, um, oh, sweet. We got some people around. Uh, let me ask, um, all right, unaligned forces. What's a team we want to use with, what, like, what's a team? It's always hard to decide, like, where do I see this team being helpful? All right, let's see. All right, what rank am I at? Hold on. We have some people waiting waiting the waiting awaiting 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 oh my gosh am i number one here oh dude th this uh this reva team my gosh is just absolutely broken man i didn't even realize i was sitting at number one for the past so i know not everyone climbs but some people do climb there's just not as much annoyance of climbing all right let's uh yeah i want to do troopers although you're not gonna learn much about troopers here but i'll do troopers yeah troopers and CLS. let's do it Oh yeah, we have Prime Etude and Game Freak willing and able to help. Awesome! And then let's uh I swear I have the best squad arena shirt of all time. We've never had those weird shard mafia things and everyone was cool, helpful, testing stuff. Alright. Yeah, suffering from yeah, the Reva team is so bust. Oh yeah, we were gonna check if uh that what uh Vasilis, I think it was Vasilis, right? Allegedly they're looking into Treya versus Reva. That ain't good. That ain't good. All right, uh, let's keep uh, upgrading her abilities. Maybe I'll do like one quick battle at three stars, but I'm not, yeah, we're not gonna spend extensive time, I think, on it. The good news is, I, you know, she's three stars and she's support. Generally support characters are not doing damage and her damage is mostly ramping like Captain Rex's aerial advantage. Which one is this? Is it this one right here, right? Hold on, let's double check. Let's see. All right, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So like, I don't want to say she's not good at seven, three stars. It's not really three, it's gear 11. That's what we're focusing on. Yes, uh, usually these guys do great at low stars, low gear. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, support not doing any damage. Zealous Ambition says, hello, there you go. Yeah, just let's do some uh, Zealous Ambition testing. And there we go. One more for the money. One more for the money, honey. There we go. Uh, 11, Ryan, Ryan Rich. Boy, I had a hard time reading that one. <laughs> Thanks for the 10 pounds. What'd you think about a Mando Geo with the Mythosaur ultimate like Jabba's Rancor? Mm -hmm. That sounds gorgeous to me. However, however, I don't know. When you say a Mando Geo, do you mean like Mando Din Djarin or just like a Mando Geo in general? Because the way it's looking like, it's seeming like this new season's kind of putting a lot of focus on Bo uh, and Grogu, and Din's kind of like playing backseat here. But to be fair, they are all Mandalorians, and the show is The Mandalorian. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see where that, that story is going to, but I have a weird suspicion we're going to see either Bo or Grogu. Uh, I always thought Man the Din Djarin would be the one to, to ride a Mythosaur when I was, my, when I was speculating back in the past. Um, that seemed like they're kind of like spreading the attention to other characters here. GL Grogu, you know Grogu's got a big future, 100%. 1,000%. All right, we're going to do like a quick Imperial Trooper CLS battle at low gear. Just kind of get a feel for it. I won't spend too much time unless maybe you guys are like, wow, this is great. There we go. We have an Imperial Trooper. Look at it. All right. Nice, easy. Yeah, we'll get the mods in. I just still can't believe how busted this real team is, man. Holy cow. All right, let's get this set up. Iso Solo is a hot dog, a burger, or a sandwich? Huh. I've never heard someone refer to a hot dog as a burger. So if I only had those two choices, I would say it's a sandwich. A burger is a burger, right? 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 I don't know. Now I'm, now I'm questioning my own decision here. I'm, I'm just going to say... I'm, I'm going to say... It's a sandwich. I, yeah, final answer. Hopefully, there's nothing to line. It's a sandwich. But a ta is a taco a sandwich? Oh, gosh. I mean, if you think about it, a sandwich is just a category of putting 
a variety of meats and vegetables between two layers of carbs, right? So a taco in a way is a sandwich. It's just a different style of sandwich. You know, I'm, I'm feeling more and more confident. It's a sandwich. We have Turtle Walker. Let's go. Um, here, let's go. I don't want to hear. I'll put this gear on real quick. Turtle Walker, how we doing, my guy? 199, how do you mod Star Killer, my Empire guy? A lot of guys going. Every time Mobile Gamer calls me, he's ruined me. He always says, how's it going, my guy? And I, I, I always got to say it back. How's it going, my guy? Uh, Star Killer mods. Generally damage, critical damage mods or offense mods. If you want everyone to know how I'm modding something, you just, just look up on old T101, SWGH.GG. My profile is public. Generally, my mods are, I mean, unless I'm moving mods around, they're kind of more or less in their place. But here you go, real quick. Teach a man to fish, they'll fish all day, as Abraham Lincoln once said. Something along those lines. So, where's my star killer, star killer, star killer? He's a killer, a killer. We killers, we killers. So, there's my mods for star killer. I got a health set on him. We got critical damage, uh, triangle, offense there. So generally damage, mode damage, baby. So critical damage generally is great for the constant assist that he's putting out. Uh, offense is gonna be more helpful for when he pulls it out of the sky. Uh, so this is I, this is what I use. It's what gets the job done for me to beat Raze and stuff like that. It's mostly you wanna just get that physical damage up there and your critical damage up there. Um, there it's really, there's only two ways to mod. And if you don't like how I mod it, just then go to yeah, if you don't like how I mod a character or you want other examples, just go look up the character, look up uh, player data and it'll show you what the people like the mod. And there you go. You have offense health. You have crit damage health. Those are really the two ways of doing it. And you can see nothing else really comes close. So don't screw around. Do this. Uh, that's by the top hundred. You can go by all guilds, and even so, there you go. Uh, when you look at all guilds in the game, you can see that crit damage and health are a bit more common, but still, yeah. But you can see there's a drastic drop off. So there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of debate with them. If you want to know the primaries, there you go. Crit damage in the triangle, health is generally what people do in that. It's not important. Offense, yeah. So it, it, Star Killer is a very straightforward character to mod. You don't got to worry about speed. He's being a call to assist and all the other fun stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hope that helps you out, my friend. All right, let's go put some mods on this gal and then just like two battles, one CLS, just to kind of show, hey, yeah, I just don't know how, it, it, it's kind of weird because it's not so much the, she's the focal point, it's the team that's the focal point. And hold on, we don't want to put make her fast, right? So how would I want to mod her? Do we just mod her for durability? Because remember with this team, you want to be slow. If all allies are dark side or light side online forces and there are no galactic legends until an ally takes their first turn, whenever an enemy starts their turn. All right, I'm just gonna make her, she, she's not gonna do damage. My, my intuition's always health, 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 or speed, speed, speed. But I don't know if we gotta worry about that per se in this scenario. Uh, let's go five dot mods. Okay, and then I'm guessing let's just do... All right, I'm gonna do like just, I don't know, all sets, I guess. Yeah, defense. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Let's sort by... There we go. Let's take that one. I don't know. This is just kind of a hunch. Again, you want this team to be slow. Slow, slow, slow. The slower they are, the more benefits they get. There we go. We'll take that one. This could be a horrible modding for her. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Give me some protection mods there. And give me that base Malibus there. All right, boy. This is really slow. Holy cow. I mean, I'm going to trust the system. Wow, that's slow. I don't think I've ever modded a new character for 178 speed. Yikes. Yikes. Do they, do you have mods without speed? Not many, not many mods. It's not a very common thing for me, but I have a few. All right, let's go start up Imperial Troopers on paper. So let's just quickly remind the folks what this team is all about. The moral of the story here, slow team equals more damage, baby. That's the, the philosophy here. So let's get our unaligned force users. And I'm just kind of using the leftover crew. So we have, where's mm, so Seer Junda, you, and uh, the actually put Calcastus here. Ray there, just some other, like, like I'm looking, like, I don't use these guys for, well, I use Calcastus right now, but I don't use the rest of these. So let's do it. But, oh, uh, sorry. Reread the just brief highlights. Most important things that leader ability 20% defense, max health, max protection, 40% for unaligned force users. At the start of the encounter, all unaligned force users and Jedi allies gain 50% protection and tenacity up. So kind of defeats the purpose of needing tenacity so much. 
And then if you have all allies with their side or lights, I don't like force user. Uh, until an ally takes their first, or whenever an enemy starts their turn, we get 5% critical chance, critical damage, and offense. That's why we want to be slow. We want to ramp up. And at the same time, we're also getting 5% terminator whenever another unaligned force user ally takes damage from an enemy. My concern here, is there a tank? I mean, technically, you know what? This is kind of weird. I kind of want a tank, don't you guys think? So we're not losing... Oh, you know what's weird? I'm not using Ninth Sister right now in 5v5. Ninth Sister got kicked out since I got Reva. Yeah, crew. All right, let's do crew. I think more people would have crew than a Ninth Sister free. Let's do it. All right. Let's just do it. Yes or no for the Omicron? Oh, man. I don't even know what this team does yet. Ask me like in an hour. Um, Extra max health. Boy, that's great. I mean, it looks good. It's Grand Arena. So I, likely I'd say there's a 70% chance I'm going to apply this. Yeah, let's see how the team looks first. And then I'll have a better answer for you. How does that sound? Okay. I didn't care what to do with her, though. Basically, throwing your uh, left online force users. Let's just play the game. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Send them all in. Basically, I'm, I'm expecting to get stomped on. But remember, when they go first, the enemy team, we get 15 stacks. Ooh, days. That sucks. That's where the Omicron is going to be helpful. Oof. Oof. Okay. We're getting a turn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, that, so that right there explains... Why the Omicron would be great because you can't get dazed or ability block. And right there, we already got dazed. Okay. I gotta say, for gear 11, you know, looks pretty looks pretty thick. All those bonuses. And remember, Cal Kestis as well. They're juicing up your max health. So even at low stars and gear, Seer Juno is going to make some funny stuff happen. Okay. How do I want to start this off? So we're at 18 stacks. We want to flick speed down, tenacity down. There's no need to heal right now, but it's got to cleanse. Ooh. All right, you know what? I'm going to clean up Seer Junda here. Let's get that daze off her. I, you know, now that I'm looking at this, if I'm using this team, yeah, I need the anti daze. All right, wow. Super durable. Like, right now, the troopers, they're rolling a turn meter train. But we're, look at us. We're eating up the hits right now. Ooh, 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 baby. All right, there's not a lot of buffs to take, but I'm going to take it anyways. All right, let's go stun PM before they mark. Okay. All right, now remember, our damage should be ramping up. Every time they're hitting us and all that other stuff, we're ramping up right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pivity, pivity, pivity. I'm not getting a lot of turns. All right, Sierra Juna should be stepping in here soon. All right, so we should have a big hit, I presume, right now. We ramped up. They hit us a lot. This should hurt, right? This should hurt. Okay, here we go. go that's some good damage yeah 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 until an ally takes their first turn whenever an enemy starts their turn all online force yeah 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 so uh, so if i'm understanding this correctly it's a one-time deal so when when ahsoka took her turn she's not gonna ramp up so is it only a one-time ramp but no hold on and takes their first turn I'm a little confused how this is working because it says until the end of the battle. So I guess it's only in one time. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. Fulcrum, I think is going to be great. Uh, yeah, so it's, okay. All right. So this is only a one time. So, but this, this, so whenever an ally, so, uh, so that means Ray should be rampant. I'm, I'm, I think, I'm, I'm, I'm learning how this goes. We'll, we'll figure it out. But I'm, it seems like, like the next, oh gosh. We need to look at this a little bit more closely. All right. Yeah, I, I, it's, I was under the assumption. It just kept, like, resetting. Anyways, let's keep it going. Uh, let's keep it going. All right. So what do I want to do first here? We get bonus protection. Okay. Defense up. Or do I want to use this? For each turn. Enemy. Oh, this should be good. This should be good right here, right? I think I should be able to yeet him out. Let's go. Uh, mm, it was, I mean, 68,000 for gear 11 is not trash, right? I mean, let's look at this. We, we're, there we go. 50,000 damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go, I don't know, on Veers right now. 70,000 on a basic. Holy moly, Mazda Choli, y'all. That's a lot of damage. 70,000 on a basic. Holy cow. All right. 
All right, that did something. Okay. We're almost at 30, 30 stacks. So Cal's unique abilities can do some nasty stuff. All right, Ray, how much damage are you going to do? Let's see this. Hey, that was over 100,000 combined. That ain't bad, Chief. Lots of buffs for Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum. Here we go. Oh, wow. Went from four to one stack. Nicely done. And let's see what this looks like. What, uh, guys, can we just appreciate something for a moment? I'm leaving this battle. Like everyone like has full banners right now. Three, that wasn't too much to brag about. And there we go. Wow. 79,000 damage. Whoa. Damn, that was good. Woo. Like, you know what? Let's try to CLS real quick. Wow, wow, wow. Your crew is probably modded too well with speed. Yeah, uh, possibly. I just literally just threw what I have. Make Cal slower. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, Make Cal is probably a little, I mean, he's not that fast. I mean, maybe I gotta, I, like to me, 241 is not fast. Technically, maybe make him even slower. I mean, it, it worked, right? It worked. It worked, did its thing, but I do think, let's roll another battle. It might make sense to make this team even slower. Holy cow. That was, uh, yeah, maybe slower seconders than the rest of the team. All right, so hold on. So uh, where's the ramping come through again? All right, you get tenacity, fruit dark side. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Cooldowns are reduced by one, or increased by one. Whenever an enemy takes a turn, her cooldowns are decreased by one. 10%, total 200% max health for each turn an enemy has taken. So it's the enemy's max health, right? All right. All right. Health recovery. So this is a one-time stacking bonus. Oh, hold, oh wait. Oh, I'm understanding this better now. Okay, so let me, okay. All right, all right, all right, okay. All right. All right, so hear me out here. I I, I understood this now. My, my big brain got turned on. So I, I, I went from thinking it's always ramping to then I thought, oh, so it ramps and it resets, but I'm noticing they're still putting out good damage. So here's how it works. Let me explain this for people that are on my wavelength here. I took, I, boy, I was, it took me a moment to figure this out. Okay. All right. So, 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 all right, let me explain this. Okay. So here's how Sierra Junda works. So the enemy's taking turns, right? You're ramping, you're ramping, you're ramping as they're taking turns, all that stuff, cool stuff. Until that first turn happens for an ally or when that first turn happens for an ally, everything that ramped up, it locks in. It locks it in. It's not going to go up. It's not going to reset and go down. So that's why you want to be slow. The more time it takes you to go, the more time you have the ramp. It locks in place. And that's basically the new stats you have for the rest of the battle. That's how we do it. Yeah, that's that's how it goes. I hope that makes sense, right? That's uh, that, that makes sense to me. That's all that matters. OK, I uh, I was under the impression it just it kept on ramping. But it doesn't. It stops, but it also it doesn't reset. As we saw, Ahsoka Tano's. Yes, yeah, so this makes. Yes, yeah, so you definitely want this team to be as slow as possible. A zero speed team. Oh man. Um, gosh. Uh, that, I feel like that takes more effort than actually. Yeah. Okay. So we just. Yeah. Okay. Uh. All right. Yeah. So if you guys don't mind, bear with me. Let's. Uh. I mean, again, these aren't like this wasn't. This isn't fast by any stretch of the imagination. Like this isn't 300 speed. Everyone's like in this 240 or lower. It's not that fast, but like if we make them like bare, gosh, do I have any, mm. hold on. Let's organize upside down. Um, Gosh, this is gonna take me, this is gonna take me longer than actually, there we go. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. All right, uh, ideally I want only level 15 mods. I don't want to level up mods right now. Wow, this is a funny team. This is a real funny team. All right, we're never gonna just, yeah, there we go. All right, no speed. All right, no speed. This is so weird. Potency, it's kind of, let's give me a protection. All right, this is a weird team, yeah. Just make everyone as slow as the slowest character in the team. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna see if I can just try to put like no stats on, or no speed on this thing. There we go. Yeah, this is funny stuff. Uh, Too fast, there we go. All right. Ah, uh, gosh. Is there a defense mod I can like fix my OCD? Here we go. Five speed. That's too much. Too much. All right. Uh, oh gosh. Okay. Give me a health. Uh, yeah. I can't. I can't go on with my life seeing that. Wow. 
this is a weird team this is definitely one of a kind 100 it, it, it goes against everything i understand 169 speed for the win gotta love it all right wow uh i i'm still kind of like confused about this team all right sir jundo let's yeah you know now that i'm looking at this you i think that omicron's very likely to happen for us pretty sure about it all right sort by speed again we need to flip it upside down all right get me just the level 15 mods ideally i don't know tenacity health tenacity i mean i think tenacity is irrelevant once you get the omicron on but for the sake of the conversation oops i can't do that anyways i'm falling behind big dog what an old where's your freaking chair the chair is the retirement it feels better when i'm getting the blood rushing through my veins oh gosh eight speed but i assure you the chair is doing all right they're prospering they have a great family and all that else i've had dinner with them the other night uh i'm just giving them some time off is all that's all that's all don't worry about it they're they're, they're there for you big dog i just i want to live the dream of being able to surprise you guys that i can move around still all right uh boy this is such a finicky team all right i'm sad like i'm looking at this and it's like oh man i'm too fast i'm too fast all right let's see protection there we go and then give me one more for the show there we go all right 149 that's pretty slow right throw cat in there I, I, i'm for right now i'm intentionally just putting characters i'm not using in there you know just that, that's what i'm doing if you want to throw cat in here be my guest but i think cat is massive overkill why have cat when you have a folk or a masoka who's hitting for absurd amounts of damage oh uh, gosh all right we want health sets on you uh let's uh flip it around okay we need uh you know what? just give me health mods health mods all day health primaries what do you got for me all right 17 speed there we go okay that works out that works out sort by speed and settings and then select the oh this this works the same way i'm just flipping it upside down you know because i don't think i the reason why i'm doing it this way i don't think i have enough mods that have no speed on them so i'm just kind of flipping it over and then when i have mods when i run out of mods with no speed i just go to the next mod with a little bit of speed but yes thomas thank you so much as well your first super chat here thank you thomas ryland thank you thank you thank you yeah i just this is weird because i just don't have a lot of slow mods everything i have are you know i have some degree of speed on them but yeah but luckily we're finding some these are like my trash mods that i just use for ships there we go like that's a ship mod right there s-h-i-p for youtube there we go 170 this feels just absolutely wrong absolutely wrong we have michael ross at the five dollars dm josh on the big blue bird he's uh open to verified folks i i, I don't know how to get verified somehow i'm not verified and there are folks with less people that are verified i don't know i don't think i'm verified on there i don't uh, unless you're talking about that uh the the, the paid thing I, i'm not gonna pay for that uh and, and i don't know i don't understand how twitter works i just go on there and that's it i go on there i look at funny star wars memes <laughs> and i'm off that's all i'm there for oh man uh i'll have to double check but yeah i didn't get like officially verified for whatever reason all right let's um okay too fast too fast sort speed flip it upside down okay whoa no that this way there we go all right uh all right let's take that genos and spy one okay let's take that marauder all right uh larry yeah he's got no speed on him um poe let's do it give it to me honey uh anakin sure what am i missing we're missing out oh we're good right yeah just uh throw that on okay it kind of feels nice taking my slow mods and making them useful yeah i know i wish i had no speed and everything all right we already fixed you i think we just got to fix up ahsoka right ahsoka 236 too much too much all right let's go again filter by offense crit chance flip it upside down on the sped all right and i just want my level 15 mods all right uh candorous oh seven speed no this is the funniest team i think i've ever played with it's i mean it's i'm not even mad it's like it's, it's I, I would love for no speed mods to be more viable and now they are starting to be viable there we go crit damage i'll take it and then hit me with that go for it. is that enough oh it's like a picasso people it rhymes nicely done yeah i gotta farm worse mods this is the weirdest predicament to be in 
And then we have Wesley Stone. Can't make this team a GL killer. I don't doubt it. The question is, is it worth putting Cat here when you could put it with Master Kenobi, Ray, some other funny teams, the Astrandar? Uh, for right now, I like this this because it's a team that never existed until now. So that's why I'm, I'm running it right now. But I, I once we're done goofing around, I'll give it a stab. All right, so we're slow. Look at it, ate up the initial hit. Now we just gotta keep waiting. Look at that, Sirajunda, only gear 11, folks. Let me remind you. So here's the issue. So here's the problem that's a little out of my control, right? We get turn meter when they're hurting us. And that means that the, the, the window for ramping kind of became a little narrow. Um, all right, so I guess let's go for this Wookiee over here first. 45,000, not trash. Okay. What do I want to do here? All online force are gain 3% for each debuff resisted. If they had speed down their stun. I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to do this right now. Critical hit immunity. You know what? I kind of, I don't want to get turn meter. I kind of want them to take a few more turns so my team ramps up. I'm going to do this right now. Okay. All right. Now they're going to hit it. So we just got a bunch of terminator right there. All right. Is this going to hurt? Let's see. All right. Uh, this right here. Bonus protection. Yeah, 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 yeah. The weakest elegance damage immunity, which is great. All right. Who gets the damage immunity? Ahsoka got... Oh, you jerk. Uh, oh, hey, we got... We dodged it. We dodged it. Okay. Uh, is this going to one-shot a Wookiee? Let's go! No! See, that's the problem. I feel like I ramped up too fast. All right, I, I got too much Terminator too fast. Yeah, so that's the, the issue here. Because we, we still get Terminator. It's not like we're just sitting there doing nothing. When they're hitting us, we're getting turn meter. Boy, I got to uh, say, I'm surprised that uh, Seer June is eating up these hits, though. Yeah, I, I think we... Didn't get enough chances here. Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's see what this does. Will this can this be dodged? Hold on. Oh, can't be evaded. Yeah, let's go for it. Cut. All right. Hey! Hundred seventeen thousand on Sierra Junda. Not bad. Uh, I will say, though, I feel like our Barris team that we made before last time with Cal Kess, it feels a little bit better right now because we have a bit more durability. All right. So uh, here's the thing. Would a higher star Sierra Junda make this better? I don't know. Like, I can't really make this team any slower. Hmm. What? I mean, is there room that we put Barris in here? Let's see. Maybe we just take out here. Let's take out. Let's take out someone real quick. Let's see. Let's see. See, 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 see. Actually, I want to do this battle one more time. Just, I just want to. This was a good team because Imperial Troopers do a lot of stupid stuff in between. They don't hurt us right away. Let's. I want to do this battle one more time. Don't gear here. Want to just? Yeah, isn't that funny? It's kind of weird. See, her, I mean, her durability is going to increase, which is important. Um. All right. So we got days, which hey, days honestly is kind of helpful. Because as I'm being dazed, I'm not getting turn meter. And that means, see, like, I don't want to go right now. The daze is actually good on us. So, like, now the the reason why I'm mad is because now we, we stopped ramping. Yeah, uh, gosh, it's kind of weird to say. I kind of, huh. Yeah, so we, we just, there's no more ramping. I kind of wish that they didn't get turn meter almost. But you kind of need turn meter so they don't just stop you. Hmm. Cal Cass is, is such a tank, man. Here we go. All right, damage immunity. Okay. I mean, the good news is Ray is still ramping over there. Like, she's not she taking a turn, so she's still ramping. Ooh. She's going to be gone here in a moment. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <sighs> yeah, I, I, we're just not going to see as much damage now from uh, Ahsoka. I actually don't even know if we're going to get a turn now. They, uh, they actually got the combo working here. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, we just got stomped here. Yeah. All right, not as sexy as the first bat. I kind of feel like putting slower mods. Uh, yeah, it's, it's such a weird team. I actually feel like that was worse than the first time we did. Obviously, that was worse. Four online forces or nest. There you go. Uh, all right, let's do the CLS battle one more time. Yeah, here, just, there, here's the thing. Like, Imperial Troopers, were, were, like, CLS sucks because the assists don't count as turns, and those assists are scooting our turn meter, 
and makes a stop ramping. So it's, it's almost like you kind of want them to take their turn. The, you, if you're fighting them, you want them to take their turn quickly so they stop ramping. They're not getting anything else. So Daze is their weakness note. It's, it's, it's a catch 22. If you get dazed, you're ramping a lot longer. But if you get dazed, you're not getting Terminator and you're sitting there like a sore thumb. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Make Fulcrum the slow. The, the whole team is so slow. It, the, Ahsoka's not that fast. It's just we're not getting enough time to ramp. Like, I, I kind of want to redo this battle, but just take out Kylo. Just put in Barris. Uh, hold on, though. Does that break up the... I think that breaks up some stuff. Hold on. Let me double check. Yeah, that's not going to work then. Hmm. So you can't put in Barris in here. It's like we were able to beat CLS with Barris lead instead of Sir Junda on the same exact team. Yeah, we can't... Uh, that would let them ramp, but no, we don't ramp then. We don't ramp. Until an ally, yeah. So if the second you put Barris in here, in here, you're not, you're, you don't get any ramp at all. JTR. I, <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, the, the, it's just, I, I don't know how else to explain my, my problem here. I either ramp up to, uh, I either take a turn too quickly and the ramping stops. Or I don't take a turn and then I get steamrolled. So it's like it's a catch twenty-two scenario to be in here. Jedi training race. Oh, let's throw in some Jedi training race. Let's go for it. Hmm. Barris gets a lot of turn to trouble. She again. The ramping is not going to work that way. It, it just the second you bring in a non-unaligned force user, her leadership turns off. But like, see, look, Jedi training already taking a turn a little too early for my liking. Um. I guess just call in stick rate for the assist. 20,000. That actually kind of helps me out, oddly. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can do a daze here. Likely not. I see, like, now we're taking a turn. It's not because I put fast mods up. We're getting turn meter passively. Ah, uh, and we missed out on the hit. Yeah, I, you know, the first battle was cool. Now I'm like, I don't know. And I don't know if seven star, I mean, I think we're going to take it to seven stars here in a moment. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, just the, the problem I'm having, I don't know if 7 Star is going to improve it at all. The way the ramp works, the first person to take a turn stops all the ramping. Well, regardless, regardless, that's what I'm getting at. The second someone takes a turn, we're kind of screwed. So the ramping just stops. And that's what I'm trying to say is that we're taking a turn too quickly or we're taking a turn too slowly. Pick your poison. Pick your poison. Like, I just want to remind people, we we, did, we were able to beat Seelus pretty easily. Well, the mods are all messed up now. I don't know if it's going to work now because now I took off the good mods. But we were able to beat this team, CLS that is, with this. And what do we have? We had like an unaligned force user. Who was it? Uh, I think it was Jedi Training Ray. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to work now because the mods are all busted. Because now everyone's super slow. But like, I was able to beat this... We didn't. We don't have ramping, of course, but we had the durability to survive as long as possible. Yeah. So, like, you know, see, we're we're, we're holding in there. Uh, let's go oh, try to get this Wookie out. It takes a bit of a grind, but hopefully we get there. All right. Let's just doesn't matter. We're not going to get a daze likely. Let's uh, no need to heal. Let's do basic. All right. Let's see what we can do. Boom, boom. See, like, I feel like we're this is more durable than the Seer Junda team. All right, let's go. Uh, heals just feels dumb right now. All right, staying strong. Let's go heal up the team. Keep working on the Wookiee. Okay. Okay, all right. We need to get the... Once Fulcrum gets the buffs, we're kind of cooking it. Yeah, the problem is right now, we're so... We're, we got the garbage speed mods. <laughs> so... It's, uh, it's a lot slower than I would like it to be. All right, come on. 30,000. Okay. Let's see if Fulcrum. Yeah, we're just way too slow right now. So, this is just a. Uh, that's this is the different problem that we're having. But we were able to beat this team several times with just this lineup when we had normal speeds on them. Yeah, I, I, huh. I'm trying to think how do I. How do we adjust the path that we're on right now? Yeah. This team is so random. Yeah. Uh. Seer testing without Seer. I'm just, well, I I was trying to make a point, but I can't make the point because I have these trash mods on that we threw on this team because of Seer June to lead. Um, yeah. 
try nine says their series very underwhelming so far it's just it's, it's, i'm sure there's this fine line we just got to figure out how to balance it in appropriately and i'm not sure how to make this balance all right I, well what i'm gonna do first we're gonna take sierra junda up to gear 13. yeah she's got some possibilities working at low stars i don't here's the i don't think i'm gonna see an improvement of my problem bumping her up here uh flexed <laughs> excuse me good fan of the fight hours could you explain why you previously had crew mod for oh i don't 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 worry about how i modded crew i literally just threw on a bunch of mods just for the sake of it being slow i wouldn't look at it i thought health primers are the best way to go yeah health primers are generally the way to go don't look at any of these mods right now and be like oh that's how you mod cal and cal kiss no i just this this is just it's i'm trying to make this team slow with whatever mods that are slow uh completely ignore any mods you've seen until we know if these are the mods to use so yeah don't overthink that one flex yeah and to be fair if you have six uh, six dot protection mods it's totally fine too it doesn't really matter all that much just health protections just something like that um you don't need to overthink car run too much i want to see the game crashing amount damage yeah where's the, the the game crashing i haven't seen that yet all right yeah fight hawks Ooh, that's actually interesting let me see that actually is not a bad idea because then we can't gain turn meter all right uh but the question is then if i'm sitting or not getting turned do i just get dunked on Incoming. all right let me see uh, who's got is that game freak all right let me ask game freak if they can throw in hawks Incoming donation. game freak all right let's see if they got it uh is there an online forest user that grants foresight um ba, 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 ba. where's sir junda unaligned force i don't think so hold on uh no 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 i mean doesn't she have foresight yeah she's got foresight but that's only for inquisitorious allies um, yeah it doesn't look like it no not quite not quite unfortunately try modding so cal takes the first turn for a heal yeah i guess cal doesn't need uh, the thing i think what i want to do i want hmm but again the second someone takes a turn the ramping stops so like do you, you uh, gosh it's such a here upgrade this while, while i'm trying to i'm trying there's smoke coming out of my brain right now guys this team is making me think and i don't even know if the thinking is going to lead to anything that's my concern this team needs to be slow while while also not being too slow seven string halic set what is that? i don't remember that boy it's been a minute since i played fallen order uh we'll just take it to a like a easy relic three you're slow compared to your opponents yeah 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 yeah. is that a it looks like a banjo right i can see a seer junior tearing up a banjo pretty well uh yeah anthony we're looking for that game crashing damage you were promised i wasn't seeing it don't forget the song okay let's play a song let's do it let's do a song 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 it's gonna be a quick one I think I have all the materials I need. We'll, we'll turn it up just for you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was too I was too caught up in our conversation here and figuring out how to make this team work. Mr. Last Auto, don't worry, this soap, you're not the only one. My my number one rule, I always it makes you feel like trash. You don't need to worry about reminding, redonating to remind me about previous donors. I feel horrible when someone does that. It's like, oh gosh, they wasted money. I just it takes me a bit of time to climb up there and get back to our conversation sorry bud I'm, I'm working my way up right now and uh, there we go all right i guess that's it no i'll play a little bit longer for you guys there you go um all right so here's the i don't know if this is really gonna make that much of a difference i just made her faster yeah i i think this is a character you don't need to worry about high gear it's just figuring out this team all right let's go with the cls one more time i i just don't know what can i be doing differently here i don't know the instrument is from one of the opening cut scenes it introduced us to cal's ability to learn about an object history ah yes it's been a minute it's been a minute yeah it's been a little bit since we tried that out all right try a different team um i'm gonna do one more cls battle but yeah this is kind of rough because all the assists is just juicing up our turn meter and we're not able to ramp long enough okay healing data no, we're not doing any data crown stuff um yeah i just hmm. 
All right, just let's let's do this battle real quick. I'm just not convinced that I know what the right team is, or it's just it's just such a narrow window of making this team really good. It feels like. Ah, uh, all right. Who else I missed? I got Reginald, Dystopia. We're catching up, boy. Look at that. eating up that opening hit. Holy cow, that is impressive. That part's impressive, 100%. All right. Uh, I guess. See, like, look. Oh, gosh, JTR just we we, we stopped ramping. I think. Uh, hold on. We gotta take JTR out. Her, she's not remodded properly. Hold on. We gotta take JTR out. Hey, we got Hawks. Let's do that. Actually, Hawks would be. All right. Let's take a breather. Let's go back over here. I don't feel like remodding JTR for the moment. Actually, I lied. Let's do it. Where's she at? Where's Ray? Give me some Ray action. All right. Slow. She needs to be slow. Yeah, it's funny. 267. Boom. She was taking a turn. So much turn meter she's got in her. All right. Flip it upside down. Let's just go do some health modding stuff. And da, 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 da. All right. Let's see what we could do here. Take out Kenobi. Let's, um... All right. You know what? Just... For right now please be speed actually no don't be speed there we go we don't want speed on her all right gar sucks in let's go for it all right yeah da, 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 da. hondo cal Castas. there we go take off kenobi's mod yeah da, 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 da. damage kenobi all right and then one more for the money there we go don't give me don't give me speed yeah look at that no speed all right just throw out some random mods all right, so she's slow, lost a hundred speed. All right, let's try this again. I actually, I'm worried because the problem with JTR, she gets turn meter too, right? What is it, Virtuous Protector? Yeah, she gets 8% turn meter. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, let's try it out. Yeah, I, yeah, she, yeah, 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 we just double checked that. Yeah, she gets turn meter unique. So that means she's going to get a lot more turn meter because of Sierra Junda's lead. All right, but. We have Hux here. Well, we did have, oh gosh, Hux is an idiot, man. Now we're getting turn meter. God, Hux, you're an idiot, dude. You're an idiot. Well, okay, well, the whole point of fighting a Hux team was so we stopped getting turn meter. Oh, well, yeah, uh, maybe it's just designed so they're not supposed to get like this massive boost in uh, stats. I don't know. All right, well, uh, yeah, so we're not ramping anymore. I mean, boy, that's some good damage still. Let's not underestimate. 85,000 from uh, Ray. Not bad. All right, come on. How much damage? Is someone, give me someone good. Can I just, like, tear through Larry here? Boo, 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 boo. Hey! Ho, ho, ho! That's the daddy dad. I like it. I don't know. Maybe they only need a few short moments of ramping. I don't know, man. This is just such a weird team. Okay, but this isn't really a great team we're fighting. It's just an average team. All right, all right. So, all right, so Cal cast this. We just got a bunch of turn meter. We got the ability block on him. Let's even clean up you, I suppose. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. All right, will this hurt? Let's go, come on. Uh, how much damage was that? They're still sticking around. Where is this game breaking damage? 70, they, they, they made it sound like they, they said the game was like crashing when they were doing this. I'm not sure right now. All right, stick rate coming in. Let's see what the one, two. All right, let's, let's, let's keep it going. Let's see if we can tear this one open. <laughs> hey, Fulcrum Ahsoka, man. She's popping. So far, Fulcrum has been kind of the highlight of this team, I feel like. 50, I mean, even stick rate, 58,000 on a basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, just we're not. What if we? Hmm. What if you know? I, I like. I, I kind of want to see how this would work against Star Killer. All right, and let's see. Do that. All right, basic. Okay. And stick rate. Hundred thousand damage. Holy cow! Hundred thousand damage. Stick rate, Folk of Ahsoka. We just gotta make them as slow as possible. So they can ramp up a lot more. Bring in Ninth Sister. Let's do it. Ninth Sister it is. I mean, for me, Ninth Sister makes sense. But most people, they don't have a spare Ninth Sister. Uh, you don't you don't have that problem until you have... Uh, Reva. Test against Inquisitors. Um, 
Hmm. Yeah, that's actually curious. I don't know if I have a Reva team though. We'll, 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 we can try other stuff though. Uh, other, other, we could do like a Grand Inquisitor team. I don't know. Let's try this out. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out. I think we're getting there where we're seeing that the damage is there. Uh, maybe they just need like three, four turns. That's enough ramping to do some naughty stuff. All right. Oh gosh, now she's taking a turn. Oh gosh. All right, I guess the, so we only, we only got one turn of ramp. So is it only 5% or something like that? Oh my gosh, it's, it's... Oh gosh, and she's gone. Yeah, I don't know. This just might not be the right team, even though it's weird, because I, I was able to make this work with the Barris lead before. Yeah, I think we... I also got to keep... I got to start double-checking my mods, because we're going in here with these characters that aren't super slow. Yeah, like imagine if we were able to ramp up a little bit more. All right, go over there. Hmm. Hmm. All right, come on. Good damage here. Come on, good damage. Come on, take out the Wookiee. Come on. There we go. 128,000. There we go. There we go. So like, I need more of that. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's start working on this Wookiee. There we go. Got ability block on him. All right, let's go do this. Okay. All right, we're hanging in there. All right, we lost her now. Yeah, I, I got a bit. I'm not really thinking Ninth Sister's doing a lot here, except she made my life a little bit worse. She just looks like a hard counter potentially, yeah. Yeah, the Ninth Sister's not that hot in this situation. But I'm going to keep moving. I kind of want to keep checking this out. Right, come on, right here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hey! <laughs> Sir June the carrying, baby. There we go. So, like, that's, you know, all right. At least she's kind of making up for things. It's like, it's basically like Captain Rex. And remember, she's reducing your cooldowns too. Let's see if we can just have Sir Juna take out this whole entire team. Hold on. As long as Sir Juna doesn't die. Okay. Come on, Sir. Uh-oh. 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 This is a problem. This is an issue. Ooh. Oh, man. It sucks we got stunned. Boy, look at Cal, man. He was able to eat up those hits. Ah, oh, yeah. The stun's got us. The stun's got us good. Uh, there, there was a possibility that if we didn't get stunned, if we had a better tank. We could probably take out that whole entire team at Sirajunda. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Ninth Sister got an unlucky buff mini from CLS. Don't base your value in this. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying Ninth Sister's trash. No, 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 no. Don't, don't get it twisted. I just don't think Ninth Sister was great in this team. Like, I, I think I'd rather have Kylo run and mask. At least they pre-taunt, they have stuns. Ninth Sister's not, I mean, she's, she's, she's gotta be an empire team. Not even an Inquis inquisitor team. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try that one more time. Mm, all right, so where's one of my one of my slow folks? Slow folks, slow folks, slow folks. Let's. Uh, all right. In the meantime, let me see if we can. I'm curious. Does Game Freak have? I think they have Star Killer, right? All right, we're gonna draw some Star Killer, maybe. Did they nerf Ray? I had not heard about that. I did not hear about that. Off the sweet. Let me see. Can you put that in, bud? All right, give me uh, Kyle Run on Mass isn't bad. He's not really needed, at least at my end of what Superior Kyle Run generally is used without him nowadays. All right, let's do it. No more sales, one more. And then we're going to start here, and then we'll mix it up. All right, so. Okay, so far. Okay, so it's a couple turns. All right, so what was that? Three turns? So that was a little bit of ramping. Let's go over here. 42,000. All right, let's get some of this going. All right, we got the damage immunity. Let's see if we can maybe try to huh, cle fit, cleanse him so he gets that buff unity off him. Okay. All right. Nice dodge on Ahsoka. All right. We're going to take some buffs. All right. All right. Stay with it. Stay with it. All right. So it was the ramping enough for a Fulcrum to do her thing. Let's go. Oh, not quite enough. Yeah, we need not enough ramping time. Hopefully Stick Ray, though, can do something special. Yeah, uh, let's see if we can stun that Wookiee. There we go, taunt back up. There we go, let him eat up the heat. All right, do this, boom. Nicely done. All right, come on. Crit damage up. Where's the money, honey? Mm, yeah, not enough time to ramp. Like that Imperial True Veil we did at the beginning with like 70,000 basics was great. All right, this is unavoidable. Let's see, can we get this Wookiee out? Hit him, baby. Oh, 127,000, they're still standing. Probably should have went for Han or something. I was hoping we'd get the hit there. All right, uh, just do basic right now. Dodge anyways. All right, we're gonna take some buffs. All right, do this. 
Damage immunity over there. Okay, let's go. You know, just get rid of the Wookiee. Oh my gosh, still not enough. That is one thick Wookiee, man. All right, come on. No, no, no. Uh, all right, Seer Juden, it's all coming down to you, girl. You got to you gotta keep it going. All right. Damage immunity over there is not bad, not trash. Let's uh, clean up Cal Kestis. Okay. All right, hold on. There we go. The damage, hey, there is, there, damage you're doing work. Yeah, damage you're doing the work over there. All right, let's go. You know what? Stun steal us. Okay. All right, stay with me. All right, come on. That's got to finish you off. Oh, 231,000. There we go. Looks like we're going to pull out of this one. Definitely messy, though. Do that. We're not going to get the buff, unfortunately. We have confusion and buff immunity on us for the moment. All right, come on. I think it's going to be all about Sierra Juna. Do it again, girl. Foo, foo. Boom! There we go. Pimps left them out of there. Clean up Kylo Ren. So there we go. Uh, and the good thing is, to remind you guys, you don't need Sierra Juna to high star count to do that. Or high gear level, I should say. We did that even at low, 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 low gear. All right, basic. There we go. So yeah, Sierra June, it's good to know she's got damage to make up for the lack of damage you're missing out on right now. So it's kind of nice. So in case you don't ramp up enough, Sierra June has got that backup. That backup option there. Almost there. Pop it again, man. This confusion is really annoying, though. We can't get all the buffs you want. All right. Sierra June just should be able to get going next time. Do that. Clean you up. All right. Maybe I should have cleared up Sierra Junda so she can get turn meter. All right. Here we go. Let's get rid of Han. And there you go. There you go. Finally managed to barely beat a CLS. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. It, it's a funny looking team. Uh, Dystopian. I'm sorry. Lucidity. I know. I, I never caught up all the way. There we go. What's your Discord? And I sent info for my Caldi on Twitter. Yes, we, 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 uh, we checked out the Twitter. We already uh, we talked about it for like 10 minutes. I was so excited if you just still you might you may have missed you maybe stepped away uh we were doing a few twitter things but i checked it out baby i checked out in my discord server it's generally it, if it's not in this one it's for sure in my videos the discord server if you want to join in on the fun over there and then um juan sanchez while we get into the star killer battle this might be interesting shock might actually be very helpful for us i guess we'll wait and see let me re make sure i read this juan sanchez long live the empire baby how we doing to think uh to, the, to all those who think support should have no damage you're wrong Support doesn't mean no damage, just that their main purpose is to help. Healers and tanks equal no damage. Um, I think you're halfway there. It doesn't mean like they can't have any damage, because obviously that's not true. We have things like Captain Rex, for example, Seer Junda, and Darth Nihilus, for example. I think, uh, yeah, support should be helped, but yeah, it doesn't mean they shouldn't do good damage. You're right, but it doesn't mean that they should do good damage. We have Grief Card. Grief Card doesn't do a lot of good damage. He's just there to help out the team. But yeah, Seer Junda's kind of doing both. She's helping out the team, but she also has some damage. Darth Nihilus helps out the team with cooldown increases, and he's got a big insta kill. So, yeah, you could you could definitely have best of both worlds. This battle is gonna be interesting. So, I fully expect we're gonna get a lot more ramp time here. Mar uh, Marjane's gonna open up with the tenacity down, hit us with the shock, and that could be a problem. I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, all the troopers are support right there. You go, there you go. All right, let's see how this goes here. All right, so they're starting this party up. Marjane's going right away. In the stun. All right, so now we're not getting any turn meter, likely. So that, that could be a good or bad thing. All right, so we got our turn. Unfortunately, Fulcrum cleanses herself. So, you know, we got we got a moment of it. So we're going to take this, whatever buffs we have. Uh, so here is the downside. I think I need to go for Visas because Star Killer is just going to get revived again. All right, let's do that. <laughs> Not bad. Good damage, but I, I just wish I had a lot more ramp time. All right. Okay. Yeah, right now. Oof. Mm. Yeah, right now it's Fulcrum doing all the work. Oh, man. Okay. Fulcrum, come on, baby. All right. Give me some good damage. Oh, come on. You know, it's going to be sad. Star Killer rarely hits his ultimate when he's in squad arena. Yeah, I think that actually Mara Jade Shock really ruined this, so... Hmm. Hey, at least we got her. She's trying. She's pushing. All right, there goes the... Yeah, wow. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere right now. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, not enough ramp time. And we're not getting much done. Try replacing Ray or Kylo with Beerus? No, you can't. If you want any of the stuff that Seer June is about, you can't have... You can't do it that way. So here's the problem with that. We, we, 
Just, uh, I know there's so many pieces to the puzzle here. Yeah, that did not go well. Uh, geez, we just got blown away, man. Um, yeah, I'm having a hard time finding it. This is kind of, it's, it's, it's not as fun as Calcast as was in some of the previous stuff. But the second you bring in a non unaligned force user, you're no longer ramping. Uh, you're no longer getting critical damage bonuses from the accuracy up. You're no longer getting turn meters. All of this gets nullified the second you put Barris in there. Losing the Star Killing Squadron, yeah, that's not a that's not good. <laughs> Even the Tuscans are able to beat them. SOKR and call it a day. Hell yeah. No turn meter on that team. Um yeah, it's like again, it, you you get turn meter, you 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 don't ramp up enough. Huh. I am I'm actually kind of at a loss of what I want to try to do here. I want to try anyways. Oh man. All right, let's see. Uh, let me. I guess let's take out that star killer. I don't think we're gonna get around that right now. Maybe. Uh, and can remember the Omicron on this lead though. Yeah, you know it's gonna help in some regards to get more protection, health, the days, immunity, ability block immunity. Getting extra bonus protection up is pretty big. Uh, what's this? Th for each instant of damage, uh, of damage any force user ally deals to an enemy, an additional. So look at that. So that's, I think that's, we're missing this. They're going to get more ways of ramping up their offense for two turns until an ally takes their first turn. Yeah, so we're, we're missing this. That's a lot of extra Income damage on the table there. A lot of extra critical chance, critical damage. Yeah, I, I think... We're probably missing on a lot of damage here. Oh gosh. All right, what else are we gonna try? You need to get Axia first. Oh yeah, but the, the point is we're just there's a, there's a lot of stuff on the table that we're missing out on. Seer Omi makes Fulcrum useful in GAC. Oh yeah, I mean, Fulcrum hasn't been disappointing, but it seems like they're trying to do all the lifting here. Uh, versus Droids and Grievous. <sighs> hmm. Seems like Seer, I mean, yeah, she's not, I don't know yet. I, I, I can't say if she's, she's not, like open out the gate impressing me right now yeah that's a lot of text are missing it's a lot of text are missing you could try to make sir Juna the fastest on the team and then basic the whole team gets accuracy up and then the only downside is you're not getting all the the ramping bonuses damage set instead of health set for sir junda why do i want to do damage set why would we want to do damage all that damage is based off for the the max health of the enemy i don't think that matters i don't think that matters too much inquisitor sure Sure, let's do Inquisitors. Uh, what if we, um, huh? All right, I put a little qu request out there. Seer hasn't wowed me, unlike Cal. You know, it's one of those things where we might be missing some stuff again. You know, Omicrons are kind of a big deal. It sucks they won't let us play with the Omicrons outside of Grand Arena. <laughs> uh, there could be some more we're missing. You could do either suite. Let's, uh... All right, put in... All right, there we go. So we're going to get a Sith Empire team and an Inquisitor team yet. Uh, then we're going to see how that works. Maybe Marin's the key. Yeah, we don't know. We might be missing a, a character. Um, I just, I, I, based off what I like, see. So let me put it this way. What I'm seeing right now, CG, they said Cal Kestis was not going to be great with Ray, and that he's going to be amazing. Fundamental to Sir Junda. Right now, based off this, I don't see myself using Cal Kestis with Sir Junda. Unless we're missing something with the Omicron or just maybe some theory crafting step I'm missing out here. I'd much rather put Calcast with Ray based off the data showing that Ray got a lot more difficult on defense. Yeah. Uh, Marin will be nice. Yeah, we don't know. But uh, I think, yeah, I, it's weird. I feel like they miscategorized Calcast. It's not to say Serjun is not like, she's not trash. She does some cool stuff. It's just the, the, the leadership is very finicky to work with. All right. Let's go for it. We have two new teams coming in here in a moment. There we go. We got an Inquisitor team. Let's take it for a spin, huh? So they should go first. We should be waiting. Let's see if we get ramped up enough. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Would Sana's team reduce everyone's terminator before their first turn? Uh, you talk about all the stagger possibilities? Potentially. But again, the downside is here. If you're, you gotta take turns. But if you take a turn, you stop ramping. But if you don't take a turn, you're not making any play. It's like, it's so weird. 
it's so weird oh let's try it again oh, okay give him a few more seconds here i guess this lets me catch up uh the timber stone 249 that was a lot of damage Coming from Fulcrum. Yeah, Fulcrum is popping some good hits. I was very impressed. He was doing a casual 70,000 on the base against that trooper team we had earlier on. Having a hard time replicating it, though. Maybe we just had a good hand on that first one. Yeah. Hux first. We, <laughs> we tried Hux in the first order, and Hux got rid of the advantage right away. All right. Let's check this out. Okay. That's one turn. Two turns. Three turns. Four turns. We're holding in there. All right, so we got four turns of ramp. All right, now we have ability blocks. So now we stop ramping. There's no more. We're done. We got four turns of it. That's what? Uh, without the Omicron, that's what? 20%? Right? Four times five. And, but if you're inside, we have to double check. But I think inside of Grand Arena, that would be 40%. I got to double check what, the, what the, the number was. All right. All right, just do basic. Okay. All right, we got our uh, accuracy up, right? Accuracy up. That should help out some damage. Okay. All right. All right. So this should maybe hurt. I don't know. Not quite. <laughs> wow. That was a that was a tickle, wasn't it? Okay. Wow. All right. Definitely not Fulcrum's best moment. Uh, all right. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Hum, 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 I guess. Do I want to heal up anyone? Not really. All right, just do this. All right, stick race. Show me what you got. Bum, bum, bum. I mean, to be fair, Relicate Nine Sister, they're quite the thick gums, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not seeing it. So, like, it just sucks that we're not ramping anymore. We're just kind of like, we're done. That's all we're getting out of this. There we go. Fix up Ray. I don't know. Put it on auto. Maybe they'll figure it out. Could be like Reva, where it plays better on auto than manually. Legends rate lead. Uh, once you bring in Galactic Legends, Sierra Junda doesn't seem to work. But see, look, they're, they're slowly chopping through them. As long as we can survive long enough, you know. Actually, oh wait, is she being an idiot? Hold on. Oh no, she just she's not on. She's not, she's off cooldown right now. Like, hold on. Like, you know, the, the thing is, this team is very durable. Like, look, we're, we're able to like chill with them eat up the hits grand inquisitor coming Ooh, that ability block sucks oh gosh yeah that's uh, back to square one. Oh, gosh that was a lot of buffs that did nothing of high value for us there Ooh, buffs are gone i mean yeah the team's durable i don't know maybe it could be an annoying defensive team boy a lot of debuffs cal you need we need you bud hey there's sir junda coming out of the three hundred thousand hit there we go. So now I feel like we can start making some progress here. Once Sergio did popped off the hit, now we can start getting in there and show them who's the big boss. All right. There we go. Some damage community. Great stuff. Boy, they must have nightmares from that Grand Inquisitor event. They're going straight for Folk from Ahsoka here. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Some days. That's a little bit of problems. All right. Let's get this Grand Inquisitor out, huh? Okay. Yeah, it's like it, basically right now it just seems like you got to wait for Sierra Juna to get in there. Once she gets the hit, we're golden. And otherwise, we just, we're just kind of, we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. Boy, it's crazy not seeing 8th Brother, whatever his name is, hit for, like, absurd amounts of damage. All right, come on. Let's go. Fulcrum, let's go. Knock him dead. Not quite. Come on. All right, Cal, hold on. Ah, shoot. Okay, he fixed her up. Okay, good. That was not me. Ooh. Boom! That's honestly the best highlight. It's a Captain Rex ability. Seer and four unaligned force your tanks. Adam, it's kind of funny. You might not actually be wrong about that. Uh, let me see how we get. So we, I don't know if we have four tanks, but so far it's just coming down to Seer Junda carrying it here. Yeah, CJC, Seer Junda carry. That's literally all it is. There we go. Hold on. Let's see her do it again. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Just go kill a GL with it. Yeah, right. The durability is there. It's just, yeah, it just feels like if you're not ramping, you're not really getting any benefit out of this uh, lead. All right, hold on. Here we go. Boom. That one's gone. Over there. See, like, look at that. Hey, we beat an Inquisitor team. All right, let me see. What if we just made a team that's just all unaligned forces or tanks? And you just sit there and you just you just wait for Seer Junda to hit him hard. Let's let's try that out. Hey, we got a ooh. 
Uh, I'm for, wait, I don't think uh, Seer Jundas hit won't do much on Malgus. Uh, hold on, do we have enough unaligned force here? Like, like Cal, uh, you know, keep Cal cast in there. He's fine. Well, let's see. I mean, we could put Reva in for the lulls. We can do Night Sister, then Kylo Ren. All right, what I want to do first, and I, I'm just curious. I highly doubt this works, but let's just give this a quick stab. Let's see this. Let's see this. Yeah, three unlike forces in Cali. I'm thinking the same thing here. All right, so let's let them take the turn. That's turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four, turn five. All right, so we got five turns of ramp. That's 25% boost. Uh, a lot more with the Omicron down the road, potentially. Snag some buffs. Let's uh, fix up maybe Kylo Ren here. All right. Okay, we're kind of stuck back here. 13,000. Yeah, I have a feeling. Oh boy. Oh, why did you why did you counterattack in the mail like you idiot? Oh, you're an idiot. Oh my god. Okay, like see this isn't going to hurt. We can't max health damage doesn't do anything against Malik and Malagus. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't going to do much. I mean, just to show y'all, it's not going to do much here. Yeah, uh, it, it doesn't work on those guys. All right. Scratch that idea then. All right, can you? Oh gosh, now see, now see. How do you feel? Malik's not taunting now. Now you got to go over here. Hey, that's a decent chunk of damage on Malgus, but that's not what I wanted. It's not what Daddy wanted. All right, get some of that basic action going. Come on, Cal. Let's get the thirty. Let's get the thirty. Ooh, and that's probably GG's right there. Yikes. Yiko Rooney's Mama Doonies. All right, uh, basic. Yeah, that's all my daddy wrote, folks. Oh, yeah, that, that's some damage right there. Okay. Then wait, did he? Oh, did Marauder have the the the, the lightsaber glitch? <laughs> I missed it. All right, I'm gonna do this one more time, and then we're, you know what? Why don't we just go up against the Galact Legend and just see if you can have Sir Junda just ramp. And let's see, take out these two. Uh, let's just for funsies. We'll put that ninth sister in here. Is there any other tank that's not not that's not third sister? Uh, doesn't look all right. Just I know everyone's got a free to play relic nine Reva, but just bear with me. I want to try this out. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna do this for fun. All right, just, so I'm gonna put some full auto. Let the tanks do their thing. And, uh, yeah, we just let Seer June to basically carry this whole battle on their own here. So it's just gonna, it's gonna take a bit of time. It's gonna take a little bit of time. We don't care about the ramping. It's just all about that special Captain Rex ability. And then let, uh, let, let's just see what happens. There we go. Got casual damage immunity. Wow, the fact that he got the damage immunity and not Cal says a lot about Cal. All right. That was a bad cleanse there, Cal. What were you thinking, bro? That's not where we should have done it. Oh, well, that's fine. That's good. Just keep it standing. Seer Junior, does she have the hit here? Let's see. There we go. There we go. Not quite there. They're getting there slowly but surely. Hey, there we go. All right, days for you, days for me. That sounds good to me. There we go. Get some damage immunity. All right. Here we go. Seer Junior, do it some hits. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, do, do, do the thing, the little, the little pistol whip lightsaber action, you know, I, I, I see you're trying to make Kyle Katarn look like a chump, but I, I gotta admit, Kyle Katarn's got the better lightsaber blaster special, I, I'm not, not trying to hate here, there we go, oh, come on, do the, do the other thing, come on, do it, oh, your ability block, oh gosh, this is gonna take forever, man. My favorite free-to-play day one team. You better believe it. I don't know why people are saying they don't have Reva, man. That's like the most successful character in the game. Get yourself a Gear 6 uh, farm boy Luke. You're good to go. Oh, we have Michael Robinson 09. How you doing, buddy? At the 499. Tattoo your mom in the house. Great having you here as always, Michael. Oh, and speak of the devil. She's gone. And then there you go. I mean, you don't need to have all these Inquisitors here. You just let this worked without the, those tanks in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, this is a funky team. 
I got, I, I'm gonna be semi-optimistic here, and I think with that Omicron, we're gonna see a lot more damage. To, it really seems like you're maybe only getting enough for five turns at most of ramp. And then someone's taking a turn because of all the turn meter gain. So, and when you think about that at the Omicron, what is it, 40% boost or something? I keep throwing numbers out there. I'm not sure what the, the number is. But it, I feel like it's gonna be a bit more, uh, a bit more important. There we go, there we go, look at, there we go. She's, it's just a cat, she's a Captain Rex under the guise of Seer Junda. That's really all it is. Alex, how we doing, but the 99? I'm late to the party, GE, but I need the biggest. Yes! The Carbacol can give. My baby Nisa was born healthy and just met her. Is that baby Yeet? Are, are they gonna be the new Yeet baby? First time uncle and I couldn't be happy for my sister. I can feel your happiness and enthusiasm through a screen right now, Alex. Extremely happy for you, bud. <laughs> Getting me all choked up here. Love to hear it. Hope the baby stays healthy and everyone stays happy. And that's the way we like it, right, Alex? Give him more. Yay! Are you gonna you gotta call it baby yeet, baby. Come on, that was a good yeet. What else do we have here? Uh, they get Zim Zam. Zim Zam, 50 months. Do you think Cal 2 will elevate Jedi or fit with the requisites? Uh, my hunch, my hunch, my hunch, my hunch, my hunch. Hmm. Actually, I don't know now. Oh, well, because like right now, for example, Sir Junda, you know, her leadership doesn't work if you bring in uh, Cal Kest as Jedi. But it depends. I think what I'm trying to say, it depends on if Cal Kest forever has a lead. It, it could be up in here. I don't 100% know yet until I see it. Uh, I would like it to work with the requisites. That, that always feels good when you have the team built because of the requisites. Um, I guess time's going to tell. I don't think Cal Journey Guide will work here, though, because you won't be able to get all the stupid lead benefits. But let's be honest. I feel like I'm not really enjoying the lead right now. The, we're not getting enough ramp. Hey, we beat the Inquisitors again. I don't know if that's really much to brag about. <laughs> Why did the first Imperial Tour battle seem so dominant? Um, maybe we just got lucky. That's why we run it multiple times. Mm. I think it worked. Oh, no. First time it worked really well because they dazed us, right? And we got a lot of ramp opportunities, I think, in there. Yeah. I think it was something like that. The Seer work with Starkiller? Yes, but you can't do it in 5v5. It needs to be 3v3. In 3v3, you could make it work. Uh, but I'll be honest, I'm not convinced that Seer Junda lead is going to be better than Palpatine after what I'm seeing here. With Palpatine, you're calling in Starkiller for the assist on a basic. Mara Jade calls Palpatine, which therefore calls in um, Starkiller. If you're bringing in and if you're bringing in Seer Junda, you can't have Sith in here. So that means you're not getting Starkiller to assist nearly as often. So I was semi-convinced that maybe Starkiller would be good here. I'm not convinced off what I'm seeing that Starkiller would be better here than Palpatine. You're going to get only a few moments of ramp. And Starkiller's going to be sitting around. He's not doing much. Yeah, I'm not too convinced on it. Try Kenobi. Now that's interesting. All right. Oh gosh, this is dumb. But it might be worth a try. Okay, you know what? Let's give it a stab. So we're going to... Yeah, all right. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Uh, all right. Let's see who has... Gosh, this is... Yeah, we won't get turn meter, right? So we can just sit there and ramp, but we're going to lose someone. All right, let me double check that Game Freak has Kenobi. I'm assuming they do. They got all the toys. Okay. Let's ask him... All right, Master Kenobi. And let's find us another team. Mm, Promitude. Let's see what they got here. Um, playing with the Inquisitors, man. It, it reinforces that I was right about the Inquisitors. They are so bad without Reva, man. They're such a laughable team. The fact that we're making this weird Seer Junda thing work uh, goes, to, goes to show how, I guess, how crazy Reva is, I suppose. All right, so we tried CLS, was kind of meh. We tried Starkiller, we got destroyed. Uh, what about like Beskar Mando? Beskar Mando gets a lot of turns in. All right, what do we try? We don't see a lot of Beskar Mando. I just, I, I just want to see some cool plays is all I want to see. Uh, woo, okay, hold, no, Ray's probably not good because we're getting turn meter and that's ramping up her master. So probably not a good idea. Master Luke, they're going to do some big damage off the assist. I don't know if Master Luke makes sense. 
I don't know. You think there's like a way we can make Supreme or Kylo Ren? I don't know. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's ask Prime Mewtwo to put SLKR in. I'm just... Or what about gas? Oh, actually, let's let's put gas in first. All right, let's do it. All right, all right. We're going to try some gas stuff here. I'll do gas. We have ourselves a... What do we got? Master Kenobi. I'm going to laugh if this somehow works. So the good news is here, we're not getting Terminus. That means we're going to have a couple of turns of ramping up. All right, give me those unaligned force users. Let's, um, uh, what do I want to use here? I mean, you know, we can, what if we did like a revive? Let's try to bring Kylo Ren back. Let me, let me, let me just, let me cook for a moment. Okay. The only downside, you know, screw Visas. Let's do that. All right, all right. Let's just. Uh oh, someone's battling me. All right, hold on. All right, all right, we got a gas team in. All right, all right. I feel like there's gonna be something here. Something's gonna surprise us. Let's just wait and see. In a gas team, we're gonna get a lot of turns on their side. So we hope we will get a good couple the uh, good couple opportunities of ramp. You can't revive. No, you can revive on Ahsoka. Yeah, you can revive off of her force sleep. Her force sleep does not stop revives. You're probably thinking of the data cron. Yeah, the data cron stops revives. Yeah. What think the idea of that this team is meant to be a counter to trench? It could very well be where we're waiting to see what is the future of galaxies. What is the almighty game balancers plan for this game? This might be something very important down the road for uh, another team. And again, it's not like the worst thing I've played with. It's just it sounded a lot better on paper than I imagined. And I might be I might be waiting for a few things to make uh, to make sense. Oh, yeah, Gas won't revive. No, we're not playing against Gas right now. I'm talking about, we're going to go Kenobi first. Yeah, Visa's Mar is not going to revive here, but against Commander Tana, we can revive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this the free-to-play count? 100%. I got Reva within my first week on the free-to-play. Pretty nuts, right? All right, like, while we're waiting for the, the game to let me in, um, we got Reginald Brown. We have Flex Kavana, Michael Rossi, Wesley Stone. Oh, my gosh. I'm actually, hold on. Am I actually kind of caught up? I actually am caught up. Caught up. No way. I'm always surprised. Like, holy cow. Uh, Michael Pruitt. Actually, I missed out on this. Shout out to my guildmate, Cats, for getting a 330 shot. Oh! <sighs> I'm just, I'm trying to, like, imagine the feeling. You're just casual up your free pack. And boom, you saved yourself, like, six months. Uh, okay, maybe six months of the stretch, but six months of farming. It's got to feel good. It's got to feel real good. All right, so here we go. Congratulations to the cats. A little jealous. All right. Okay, hold on. All right, this, they're taking a lot of turns right now, right? We're waiting. All right, come on. We got to have some good... Come on. We're ramping up hard right now. We're still waiting on a turn. Come on. Come on. All right, we're about to ramp up here. Oh, come Oh, you got... You jerk. You, Kenobi, you're such an overachieving jerk. You know that? You know that, bud? Oh, my gosh. What a jerk. And now your guys are wrecking my cool. Jeez, can you guys? You guys are playing mega try hard right now. My God, Kenobi's the ultimate try hard character I think I've ever seen in this game. Trying to be that perfect golden boy. Oh, jeez. All right, well, we didn't get really any plays. <laughs> what a bunch of try hards. All right, Kenobi. Yeah, you're still cool. But guess what? I can full auto you with Reva. How does that make you feel? Yeah, you think you're so tough dunking on a, an experimental team? This guy here. All right. <laughs> Freaking Kenobi, man. All right, let's try over here. It was worth giving it a stab, right? <laughs> okay. All right. One turn. Two turns. Three turns. Four turns. Five turns. All right. Five turns. That seems about what you're going to get at best. So step number one, let's get our taunt up. Do we have enough rampant damage here? Basic. Uh, yeah, why? that first battle felt so good. Like, see, I think I should just leave the mods that I have on. All right. Let's, you know what? Let's think of it this way. The slow mods kind of suck. I think that's maybe part of the problem. The slow mods really suck after the ramp because we were purposely making this team slow just for that initial ramp after that initial ramp you need to, you need to take turns 
to enjoy that ramp so maybe we need to like not put garbage mods on this team it could just be that maybe we put too much emphasis on trash speeds maybe i don't know all right let's do this okay boy all these buffs are gonna supercharge gas man okay come on let's get him down okay oh my gosh all right seer baby we need to like yeet that fives out of here yeet him out three two one oh god why am i going over you oh god all right you know what i'm gonna do guys i think i really want to believe our garbage mods are just not helping us this the, the low speed thing's cute but is it really giving me that much more I, I feel like at best i'm getting what like an extra turn or two yeah goodness yeah Ooh. there you go best of luck yeah you need low speed yeah I, I think i think my speeds i had before were fine they weren't like god tiered they were like you know 2 40 30 50. i think i'm gonna put my old mods back up I, i'm really starting to feel like like i feel like i'm getting ran over is this what it feels like for people who don't work on mods because man i just feel like i'm not doing anything good all right let's just put the good mods back and not good mods but like middle of the road mods the mods where we have not that fast but enough fast so when i want to make some plays happen we're doing something like that kenobi battle like what would have happened if i maybe got a few turns in there at least like we just sat there doing nothing the whole entire time okay mods just put my old mods back on please and thank you okay all right let's go uh, refresh 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 re refresh 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 come on let's go let's go let's go <laughs> thinking about that this uh <laughs> i mean I'm, I'm keeping an open mind but when i think of mario i'm like oh man chris pratt as mario i don't know <sighs> i don't know wouldn't it have been annoying to hear let's -a go the whole entire like two hours of the movie i don't know but it's just this weird seeing chris pratt saying let's -a go <laughs> side conversation i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> all right putting the mid-tier mods back on seeing if we can get something out yeah I, I'm, I'm starting to feel like we're not gonna see like the insane plays like we saw the past few i think i'm gonna call cg's bs i don't think i'd want to use cal on this team right now i'd much rather use cal with ray is all i'm saying oops load it all right try again there we go all right that's uh, just me non-italian man uh mario equals that's what i'm saying i don't know i'm sure it's gonna be a fine movie jack black i love the, the the little sample of their performance like i could tell like jack black was like fully invested in the character i i here's the thing oh gosh voice actors are different from actors right like it's completely different it's a completely different genre of talent not to say that chris pratt's not talented he does great in you know, star lord and stuff but the voice actors are more i think just more suitable for animation films like i like uh, maybe maybe it's just the downside of being a live action actor it's like when i hear chris pratt i i see chris pratt i don't know it's like when i'm watching spongebob i'm not imagining the guy that plays spongebob i don't know oh chris pratt loves stomping yeah baby all right did it refresh all right cool refresh the game let's give it another whirl with some better mods just a little just a wee bit better maybe that's why david maybe that's why that first imperial trooper battle we did was better because we actually got some turns whereas when we're super slow we're not really getting many turns in here so that probably was what it was pratt was good in the lego movie yeah you know i, I think if the problem is mario is such a beloved character i just i can't associate chris pratt with mario i'm gonna keep it up in mind. i'm gonna go i'm sure i'm gonna enjoy the movie but it's uh it's just it's just weird right it's just weird especially when the voice actor for mario is alive but the, the counter argument here is that maybe it, it would be annoying for a whole entire movie and maybe maybe not hard to say all right let's um get those health mods on 
health mods just keep her alive as long as possible don't make her i don't know don't make her trash but don't make her too fast you know what i mean yeah just set the turtle mods sounds good to me right ray mods i don't know is that too fast is that too fast is that too fast sure 12 speed there let's go i honestly don't know just i'm trying not to overdo it like i don't even know how to recommend mods for this team right now this might be just one of those teams we just got the oh, just let it play in the wild and we'll see what happens i guess honestly just make them fast maybe maybe we just make them fast make them fast you know they're probably still going to get outran by a lot of teams i don't know let's go for it so uh all the other mods should be back on our normal mods we use at the very beginning Incoming donation. music not giver five euros suppose it depends only on the mods maybe only seer should be slow the last to go well again the thing is like see like so now the ramping stopped right the ramping stopped we so we only got what was that two three turns i think uh, rex went fives went no that was four turns right so really what did what did i get from having slow mods i had i let gas go so yeah it's like i, I think there's you don't want to go too slow you definitely want to have there we go some foresight there we go that's good that's from cal's unique ability right uh let's just do this okay let's take some of these buffs let's go do that all right come on tear him a new one there we go okay we're making a little bit of progress i still think this is not the ideal team to fight way too many buffs on this team uh this doesn't really seem to matter all right get critical hit immunity over here okay all right big hit not quite all right let's go do you know do the basic there we go get that accuracy up for the extra damage there we go okay all right let's go on fives uh down what i need i need seer jr to take that turn here uh, basic come on seer seer baby come on there we go big hip come on uh, still need more time to ramp that up oh geez it just ever all these buffs scare me to bits all this damage we're ramping up the five first with whoa like so 140,000 counter attack. Yeah, I, I don't know if this is the right team to fight. Way too many buffs. Here we go. Cal Kest will hopefully juice us up in a moment here. All right, do that. Oof. Come on, Cal. Let's get a turn in here. All right, Cal took a turn. We got a bunch of turn meter. We have ability block on him. Seer Jundo, let's go. Oh my gosh. Five more turns, girl. We don't have five more turns. Yeah, I'm going to say this is not the right team to fight. Definitely not the right team to go up against all right and yeah all right seer best of luck all right let's do a different team too much protection not enough health uh it's, no it's just not enough damage that's really what it is here try again starker we did start killer we got absolutely riggedy riggedy wrecked on that one the second they got shock on they stunned me we weren't doing anything <sighs> put her with the star killer team um like that, that wouldn't i mean we're not gonna be able to see the full picture here but like i could see seer junda if anything maybe not leading star killer but maybe you plug it in and place a visa smar like that's not a horrible idea i mean we can look here let's do it let's go for it so seer junda in place of visa smar because visa smar is the weakest part of the star killer team she's not bad but she's not like necessary like palpatine amara jade yada 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 speak of which there is the beautiful power couple right there let's go throw in a little bit of stuck a stuck a stuck a killer and then we throw in seer Junda wherever she may be and then we need what are we missing missing a jedi and then jedi just throw in for the moment i don't know give me old benaruski all right so like you know I, like i don't think she's gonna be useless for me but i just don't see her i'm not seeing why cg thought i mean Again, maybe we got to wait for the Grand Arena Omicron to kick in, but I'm not seeing what they're trying to get at here. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to see if I can remove the turn meter on Rex. Let's do that first. All right, there we go. Good start. Let's see if she'll get another turn. There we go. Nicely done. Okay, now we got everything in our control. Star Killer does not assist, unfortunately. 
Drop down some stuns. That's great. All right, Star Kill. Let's hit him with that. Nicely done. 30 stacks. Come on, Sir Junda. Let's see you do a play. Okay. Mind trick him. Beautifully done. So, this, I mean, really, I guess I'm just using her for this. For each turn, an enemy has taken this encounter. So right now, they're not getting a lot of turns. All right, we're going to do this first. All right, damage with Mara Jade. It's not bad, right? It's it's nice. Better than Vsys Mar. Do that. Okay. All right, all right. You take a nap. Let's just go drop some stuns over there. All right, easy on the damage on the other guys. Just do basic. Basic. Oof, that's a problem. I'm probably gonna hit the sacrifice by accident. Hey, or not. Wow, Sir Junda did a lot of good stuff here. The problem with Sir Junda, her kit's really based off the enemy taking more turns than you. So far, we're, we, we outdid him, you know, 10 to one. We took 10 turns for the one turn they took. So I don't know if Sir Junda. Yeah, because let me see. Let me see her cooldowns here. Hold on. Yeah, like, see, look, I think I think this is actually something really important to point out. She's likely never going to use that ability. Never, ever, ever, ever going to use that ability if she's not on a slow team. This is not a slow team. This is a high turn meter engine team that we got here. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't I actually I don't know if she's going to be great outside of. Uh... Yeah. She's not, if she can't do the insta kill, it's like, eh, they're not really doing much there. Yeah. So, they, yeah, they're not the, not the hottest team there. How to Imperial Trooper? We already did an Imperial Trooper battle earlier on. Uh, but the thing is. So, yeah, we fought an Imperial Trooper team. We decimated it when, when it was on defense, but we also lost. So, uh, it's just, I, I don't know what to say about this. I'm not, I'm not like mega hype right now on this. Um, okay. I mean, you could try Grievous. Let's, uh, you know, some basic stuff. General Grievous. And maybe, um, yeah. Iden, Iden wouldn't be bad, I guess. The problem is this, they do a lot of assisting. I don't think we're gonna get a lot of ramp opportunities. Incoming donation. When did you do a kit review on Seer? Many weeks ago. Uh, yeah, I, just look up Seer kit reveal. You'll see it. I didn't do it this week because we did it two weeks ago. Yeah. Most successful team so far? I, I don't even know what I can even say. I don't know. It, it, it's not so much the team. It's what they can beat. It doesn't seem to make a difference. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Merza, look up Calcasta Seer Junior kit reveal. We didn't do one this week because it would have been a, re a rehash. <laughs> Uh, yeah, all right, let's try Dash Rendar and Scoundrels. Let's do it. Fine. All right, General Grievous and Dash Rendar. All right. Just kind of finding some weird, weird teams. Yeah. I didn't know she will. It's not an insta kill, but it's kind of an. It's, it's, it's like Captain Rex's aerial advantage, but with the, with the limit to what it can do. Uh, yeah, it's been a while though. They they released uh, Sir Junda and Kale Kest at the same exact time. Let me pull it up. Yeah, two weeks ago. Healing. There you go. My gosh, I suck at YouTube. I didn't even like my own. I didn't. I gotta like my own video here. Yeah, here it is. Um. Uh. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, so they did Cal cast this and all they did this week, they just threw on the uh, Yeah, there's Sir Junda. They just threw on animations this week. So yeah, we it's been a while, Mirza, for sure. You may have missed it. Make her super fast and fight JMK. We already tried. I don't know. I'll do one more JMK. Ah, uh, all right, let's do it while we wait here. Um online force users. You know what I'm wondering? I mean, I'm just, I'm just sitting here mulling over my, uh, my thoughts, wondering the purpose of life and all that other fun stuff. I understand that Star Killer wouldn't get their benefits with like, cause you're not meeting the requirements, but Sir Junda, you'll be immune to days. That's kind of like what Star Killer does, right? 
I'm just, I'm going to do this just for the funsies of it all. No, not cat. Um, let's get Cal Cassis in there. Get me for you. And then I guess we could try that out. You know what I mean? So is she good? Uh, I'm not to the moon. I think CG oversold Seer a little bit and undersold Cal. <laughs> Uh, she's not like trash, but it's like I, I don't see I'm not I'm just not to the moon on here right now. All right, can we get a turn? All right, so that's gonna get dodged Okay All right Okay, come on Come on, baby All right, so far I think gas also makes this complicated All right, so this is not gonna work because we're not gonna get 15% turn meter and I'm probably gonna lose all my buffs But let's just do it now Oof, that did nothing that did nothing. All right. Yeah, I, uh... Yeah, it's not looking hot, is it? Uh, can't do a buff the spell here. I, you know what? Just do this right now. 21 stacks. Look at Star Killer, Getting in there. There you go, buddy. You're, you're fine. You're fine. It's just a scratch. You get... <sighs> All right, I guess I lied to him. All right, never mind. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this. All right, we oh let's uh, oh they're asking Newt. So let's do Newt Gunray. Oops. All right, we're getting a Grievous team, and hopefully we get a Dash Dark team. I'm just gonna wait for something to come out. Carful is a tank if he's online forces. Who knows? What about adding Seer to a Ray Cal team? Uh, <laughs> um, all right, okay, let me, let me bounce that question back to you, Tyler. Who do you take out? Because right now, you got a lot of funny stuff going on. You could do Ray, Ben, Cal, all right? So you got kind of an open two slots. You know, you kind of sometimes put Finn. Oh, Jedi training, Ray. Is Seer Junda better than those three that I threw out there? I don't know. Uh, if she can, like, here. You know what? Why don't we give it a stab? Real quick. All right, let me go. It, it depends. If I can't use that mini insta-kill ability, it's kind of not worth my time to put her in any other team. So, internet. 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 Fix your internet. Fix your internet. Fix your internet. All right, I think we're back. We back, everybody? The stream is ramping. Yeah, I think we're back. We're back. Let's do it. All right, we're back in the swing of things. All right, let's just move on while we have the chance. Ooh, all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't be insta kill. Do a buff this spell there. This gas is really annoying me, bro. Come on. Shimon. All right, all in we go. All in we go. All right, so let's just do that for right now. All right, let's go. And eh, just do this right now. Nicely done. Keep that coming over here. All right, so I have a feeling we're not going to use that ability, though. I mean, damage immunity is cool, I guess. All right, keep this going. If Seer Jun is still going to be a 10 when we take her turn, I'm going to say probably not worth putting on this team. All right, good look at that. We have 30 stacks of Cal coming in soon here. Uh, just do that for the moment. All right. 30 stacks. Come on. There we go. So let's go heal up Ray. There we go. And that's huge. That is huge right there. It's basically like a Hermit Yoda. All right, do the sudden whirlwind. Like, right now, I feel like Poe and Finn, yeah, 100%, I think Poe and Finn are way better here. I would have rather had Finn and Poe do more turns, buff the spells. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think Seer June is helping us out at all. Yeah, I feel like I would have had this Kenobi out, down by now. Okay. Come on, baby, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously? Seriously, bro? Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, all right, just do this all to it right now. 
yeah this is just taking way too long i mean maybe as the battle goes on she'll still be around in eight turns kind of feel like i gotta put this on full auto we're like taking a little too long here i feel all right dump it Yeah, Seer's not doing anything. I that, that's the that's the question I gotta ask him. Is it better than Finn Poe, yada yada yada? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not uh like I normally I someone should have been dead by now. Yeah, Seer Junda, I hate to say it, you're not good on this team. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. How is Seer without Cal? Probably a little bit worse. <laughs> Cause Cal's passively feeding stats to them. All right, let's, uh, all right, get the Seer Juna team back in here. Hmm, um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I have a feeling I'm going to be a bit more impressed than Grand Arena. This is definitely one of the more unimpressive characters I think we've seen this year. Toskins were good. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Zori was amazing. Gosh, what other characters did we get this year? I'm like drawing a blank right now. All I know is that Seer Juna is not the most impressive. Um... Look here, get that stick ray back in here and then uh get me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Put that Kylo in there. Alright. Actually, it's Kylo, you know, I don't know if Kylo's gonna be they're gonna dispel his taunt. You know what? You know what? Hold on. Give me just give me JTR. Let's do it. Alright. I don't know. That's not a, a, a I'm talking about characters. Characters. Oh! Well, I guess we just wasted a battle there. Yeah, and characters. I feel like Sergeant is probably the weakest we've had this year so far. This is my opinion. Tuscan Zori Cal. Is that it? It feels like that's kind of slow. I guess we had a couple ships in between. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, definitely in terms of characters, definitely the, the most lackluster we've had so far. Zori, Reba, Seer, Cal. I could have sworn we had more characters. I guess it's only March. I guess well, we, had, we had a few ships in between. But yeah, I'm not, uh, I think I could safely say definitely the, the worst out of the bunch. Not that she's trash, but she's not. I don't think she's going to be turning us. And we got a Dash Vendor. All right, come on. I want to see something impressive. Come on. Let me see what you got. Big plays. I want like a ton of ramp without being in the grave. Here we go. Crank up the sun. Maybe they need some more hype. All right. That's one. All right. We're done ramping. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. Uh, gosh. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, you know, I'm just going to go over here for right now. Get stick great for the assist. All right. Let's go grab some of these buffs. Boom. All right, get some damage immunity. All right. Uh, do the 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 all right, stay with it, stay with it. You know what? Uh, gosh, I kind of just want to get rid of this B1. Now, nah, let's go over here. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Let me get... Ooh, Daze on. Oh, that's actually dumb. I should have done it over there. My bad. That was a horrible misplay on my part. I screwed this up. My B, my B, my B. Uh, all right, just do that. Yeah, I screwed this up, didn't I? Yeah, kind of screwed this up a little bit. Shoot, should have done Daze on Magnegard. Got a little carried away. Now we're stuck back here. Whoopsie. Yeah, I, I, I done goofed here. It's all good. We're, we're, we're hanging in there still. There we go. Sirju's got a nice insta kill coming in here in a moment. All right, do basic. The buff's getting wrecked. Let's go do this. Not a lot of buffs. They yank off these fools. All right, let's go clean that off us. Come on. All right, so Cal took a turn, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, big hit. All right. Uh, that's, no, we're going to save it. Nah, you don't want to save it. Don't want to use it. Don't want to save it. Don't want to use it. You know, we're going to save it. I'm going to wait for... I'm going to use the end of it. We should be able to handle this. Okay, come on. All right. All right, they're gone. All right, let's get this B2 out of here. In three, two, one. Clamp the healing immunity. All right. Okay. All right, good. Clean up time. Let's go fix up you. Maybe we could have fixed up Seer. Yeah, probably Seer is probably the better choice there. All right, Seer Junda, let's go pop the hit. Actually, do this over here first. I want to save that for Seer Junda. Here we go. Is that enough? Hey, 
how much was that? Holy cow. That was good. 400,000 damage! Oh! Yeah! You know, that, that's the highlight of Reva. Just when she can use that ability, it feels good. Feels good. All right. So, you know, you know maybe it's just meant to be kind of like a... Uh, one of those weird middle of the rung team. It could just be a C grade team right now. I don't know. Yeah. Did I say Reva? Did I say Reva or Seer? I don't know. There, uh, the highlight of Seer. The big hit right there. Did I say Reva? <laughs> Seer! Seer Junda. Try it again. Dash Rendar. Send it on in there. Let's see what we got. What if you forget, forget about the ramping and just put speed on the team? It almost seems like I should just do that, right, Relic? Yeah, it, well, yes and no. The, the, the problem is if you... If you're too fast, Seer Junda's going to have a hard time using that insta-kill ability, right? Uh... Oh man, I actually, I kind of, ooh, you know what? Yeah, JTR is a little too fast for this. Like, look, this would have been a lot of ramp. You know what? I'm redoing this battle without JTR in a moment. All right, let's go over here. Yeah, we're going to redo this battle. All right, big hit. Nice. Whoa, yeah. Okay, let's go on B. Best Garmando, let's go. Okay, do some of this. Boom, damage immunity. Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Can we have a cleanse in a moment? Big hit. Probably not going to do a lot with IG-11 and Quill doing their thing. All right, there we go. Fix up Seer. Nicely done. Okay. All right, we should have a lot. Okay, we got to get around this. We need to buff the spell. Oh, uh, shoot. This is when Kylo Ren would have been nice. Uh, this isn't going to do anything. There's Quill. We got to get around this. Eh. Yeah, we're, we're, we got to get around it. We need to buff the spell. But we might be able to use Seer Junda to get through this guy. Let's see. All right. Come on, Seer. Let's get a turn. Seer, baby. Seer, baby. Let me see you Seer this team apart. Come on, Seer. Where you at, girl? Come on. Come on. Come on. Shut up. All right. You know, I'm going for it. Actually, go for best Garmando. Three, two, one. Send it. And it's not really good. You need a lot more turns to make things happen there. Uh, all right, you know, just keep going. Come on. Come on, almost there. Let's do basic. I forgot you have like no damage. There we go. All right, best guard, Mando's out. Put on auto. Let's see what she can do. All right, what are you doing? No, 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 go over there. Go over there. Oh gosh, now you're stuck behind this tank again, yikes. All right, here we go, healing me, that's not bad. Okay, damage immunity back on Ahsoka. Pass it over to Cal himself, wow. Stealing all the love. You wanna get that off? All right, come on, baby. It's, okay, wait, come on. Let's take advantage of that healing immunity. Nicely done. There we go. Throwing some tenacity down. Damage immunity is up on the field. All right, we're looking good. Basic there. All right, Soka, you ready? Yeah, let's do it right now. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. All right, hold the phone for a moment. I don't think that's going to be enough to take her up. Let's give it a stab, shall we? Not quite enough. Not quite enough. We're going to have to dance with the devil here. That's going to be a little bit annoying. 52,000 fixing up Seer Junda. All right, big hit. And there you go. I mean, you know, that's just still a decent defensive team. I think it would have been even better if we would have waited a little bit longer. Is this impressive though? No, but it's, it's again, you know, this might just not be a, a team that's going to push the meta forward. You know, it's just, it's a, you know, you got, you got like Tuscans. It's like a step or two below Tuscans, I feel. All right, one more time though. Like I want, I wanted them to take those first big turns. So we could have ramped out. Legit here took a turn a little too quickly. Versus Afra, the um, the thing about Afra, you're gonna get your cooldowns wrecked right away. I feel like that could be a problem. All right, it's one turn, two turns, three turns, four turns, five turns. That seems about what to expect. They're gonna take. You want them to take five turns before you. And uh, yeah, okay. Let's do that. I'm not going to waste this. Just do a basic for right now. Uh, let's go. Do I want to clean up anyone? Eh, just do this for right now. Kind of got to get around this time. We need, we need, we need Kylo to get in here. Come on, bud. Up the spell, please. Thank you. All right. Well, that was short lived, but it's fine. All right. Can't be evaded. All right. Let's go for dash. Three, two, one. Let's see. This is, this has to be good, right? 
Best guard, you know what? Let's go for best guard Mando. Boom, 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 boom. And that's what I'm talking about, baby. You got the right balance. The right balance of turns the ramp to you taking turns. Yeah, okay. That, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's very specific and it depends on the team I guess we're fighting. Let's go, pop it over on Kylo. All right. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see this damage though. All right, big three, two, one, three, two, one. Ashisha, Ashisha, 112,000 dash is still standing. We'll get there. I think we have some room to grow. Yeah, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Baby. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for a second. 83,000 the basic, not trash. My senores. All right, come on. This has to hurt. This has to hurt real good. <gasps> hey, for non crits, not bad. Not bad. All right, there's some damage immunity. All right. All right. Not going to be able to. Boy, I, you know, I don't think it's going to work, but I'm just curious. No, there's no way this is going to work. No way. No way. No way. But impressive amount of damage, but what's more impressive is Nest acted like that was no big deal. Yeah, we basically need the insta kill for Nest. Or, or a healing meter, which we have neither in play at the moment. All right, do that. Okay, basic. Get some of that accuracy up. Steal. Wow, look at all those buffs Ahsoka has. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Uh, big hit. Oh, that should get rid of you, right? Three, two, one. 90. See, like, look at. All right. You know what? I know we've been semi critical on this team. Like, not like to the moon impressed, but. I just want to remind people of a few things while we wrap this up. Put a cherry on top. <laughs> All right. Let me bring you back for a moment. Just bring you back to the conversation. Let's get to the table. Let's talk business. All right. Okay. Let's see what these folks are bringing to the table. Part number one, I want to discuss with you guys. It seems like let's just assume you're getting five turns before you get a turn. Five turns of ramp, and that's not even the full potential we're seeing right now, huh? Let me see. Sir Junda, come over here. Let's talk, okay? I know we've been a little critical. You're definitely, you're, you're behind on the pack. I'm not going to beat around the bush. You're the most lackluster character of the year so far. But it doesn't mean you're bad. The second we turn that Omicron on, no days, no ability block. Great. Ability block is a big problem for this team. Days, it's kind of, you know, it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. We're getting the extra bonus protection up. So you're going to survive a lot more. That's 75 protection. It's basically double your health, practically. It's huge. For each instance of damage, any unaligned force your ally deals to an enemy, we're getting extra 10% offense. Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum. All that whirlwind stuff per buffs, that's a lot of extra Incoming. offense boost. So that's nice. Until an ally takes their first turn. Whatever an enemy... Uh, start their turn. All online forces gain an, addition, an additional 10% critical chance damage, critical damage in offense. So right now we're getting what? Only five. So what you just saw there against that dash and dart was with only 5%. If you're getting five turns in before, you know, the ramp ends. So right now you're getting only what? 25%, right? We're getting a 25% offense boost and we're seeing Ahsoka Tano and Ray hit for like 100,000. But once we jack that up to 15%, that's, a, that's nearly three times, or it's three times as much notes, right? No, yeah, three times more damage. So what I'm trying to get at is, you know, I don't want to say we're, we're done. This is it, it's the whole picture. This Omicron's gonna make this a lot more interesting I'm still not sure if Cal is going to be better here than Ray. That's uh, my hunch is that Ray is just a lot better. But I just want to put it out there. We are missing a lot of stuff. And then we also have um, anytime we're dispelling a debuff, we're covering 50% health protection. Advantage is great. Whenever we dispel a buff, Ahsoka, for example, 15% health protection at the end of their turn, and then they gain foresight. So I just want to put it out there. There's a lot we're missing out. A lot we're missing out. You know what? Just screw it. You know, we're going to slap this baby on. Let's, let's do it. Three, two, one. You better be good. Don't be trash. I'm going for it. I, I, and I think the thing is like, you know, here, let's, you know, we had the question. Let's say we want the best of both worlds. 
I don't know if Cal is material. I guess we'll find out. Let's fight that Dash and Dart team with no Cal this time. So we're going to miss out on some of the durability increase, but Sears got plenty of it. So let's say you want to put, like, let's see, what's someone I'm not using? I guess, you know, GTR I kind of use. Uh, Asajj Ventress. I mean, she's probably going to be used with Knights. It's like, there you go. Like, I'm not using them. I mean, heck, you can put Second Sister there. I don't use, that's a me problem since I have Reva. We don't need to worry about it. Uh, all right. So let's, like, put this in there. Yeah. Uh, OG Kylo. Hell yeah. Let's do it. I'm feeling it. We're on the same page here. Have you tried Asajj? Uh, stuns, buff the spell. Anyway, I haven't? No, Kitsu. I have not tried that yet. Uh, mainly because I think we're going to be using our Night Sisters again soon, but I, we could definitely do it, though. Uh, that, would, that wouldn't be bad here. All right, so we got... Huh. How did we... We got... We, huh. What happened here? Why did we get a turn now? The... the turned on the Omicron's turned on sandbox mode has been unleashed all right holy cow all right all right all right all right sandbox mode has been enabled oh you only have 40 oh don't worry i uh we'll get we'll get another 20 here so i want to be too worried about trench we're good we're good oh my gosh holy cow all right hold on hold on hold on we're taking advantage of this right now this is like the Poggle. The Poggle situation was the same. There we go. Heal me. That's not bad. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, big hit. So we only... Hold on, though. All right. So that was only with one turn of ramp right there. Can we just like... All right. Okay. All right. Let me see here. All right. Uh, that's not going to be good enough. Let's do basic. Clear that off. All right. We got to get around this taunt. Um, can we stun him? Actually, healing me probably would have been better there. All right. Uh, just do basic. All right. Hold on. Uh, is that enough? I don't know if that's going to be enough. Go for it, though. Not quite. Ooh, that sucks. That sucks. Uh, I do miss the cleanse from Cal. I'm not going to lie. All right. Come on. Give me some Give me some damage. All right. Let's go see if we can get Queel. Oh, no. Get Dash out. Three, two, one. Not quite enough. Oh my gosh, more damage duty everywhere. All right, can you go get... Yeah, let's try over here. All right. Okay. All right, come on. We're, I mean, we're hanging in there right now. All right, buff the spell. That's great. Okay. Let me see if we could try to... Oof. Let's see if we can try to work on Mando. 30,000. Oh, right here. That's good. That's good. Send him home. Oh, he's gone. All right, yeah, that's definitely an Omicron thing right now, I think. Uh, can we get a stun? No, we got the heal. Oh, it's fine. Give me some buffs. All right, big hit. Yeah, we didn't get ramped up. It's like, it's kind of the thing. I wouldn't mind having days against this team. Like, I want more time to ramp. All right, clear all this foresight. All right. Here we go. Heal me. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, you know, just do a basic. Oh, come on. Ay, 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 yeah, papi, papi, papi. Get him out. All right, 76,000, not trash. Okay. Oof. Okay. He limited it's great, so we can try to land some hits on him. They can't recover through Queel. Big hit. All right, I don't have a lot of buffs to play with here. Big hit. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And Kylo's not looking too good. Get the foresight off. Mm, basic. You got to get around this. Uh, get him out. Oh. All right. All right. Let's go do that. Almost there. Get him out. Boom. All right. Now I think we're going to have a complex. Actually, no. We got healing. Oh, we got to get Tenacity down, though. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Almost there. We're going to get through it, I think, potentially. We need to do tenacity down, then in the healing immunity. Now just do basic. Basic. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. Eh, gosh. Freaking nest. How are you still alive? That's all I want to know. How are you still annoying to this day? Stun him. There we go. We got it. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so Omicron's turned on. Yeah.
Cal seems necessary for her, but would you rather have Cal here than on a raid team? I don't know. I mean, Cal would have been nice. I'm not going to lie. But you can't convince me that Cal is better here. Man, it sucks that we didn't know the Omicron was working here. Uh, that's the other Omicrons. Does it work with all? What's an Omicron that I can tell? Well, no, it can't be all Omicrons because Starkiller is not working. No, yeah, we know. It's, it's definitely not all the Omicrons because we tried Starkiller out and Starkiller wasn't assisting off Palpatine. So it might just be... I don't know. Maybe they're testing something out. I don't know. I know Poggle's bugged right now. You can use his Omicron. I don't want to throw it on right now. I'm saving it. Yeah, does that mean Ahsoka's is on? Uh, I don't have her. Oh. Well, hers is on, but you need to have the Cal Omicron to use it. So it's... it's I don't know if it's on. It might not be on. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the only Omicron that was on was Seer Junda. Um, all right. Let's see, I... Hmm. I don't know. Now that I do that battle, that was a lot harder because of the days not landing. Is she viable at three stars? Yeah, but she's not like a mind-blowing character. Yeah, you definitely don't need her at high stars. Everything I'm doing with her, it's perfectly viable at low stars. Yeah, Sandbox would be great. Ray, Ben, and Zori. Cal is great, but I I think you don't need him there. Uh, you'd be you'd be surprised. Uh, Pengu805. Uh, Cal is already making a pretty substantial impact on Ray on defense. 100%. So uh, I, I have to disagree with you just based off my experience, my defensive experience looking at data. Cal's already made a big impact in 3v3 at least. Ray, Ben, Cal has been an amazing trio. 5v5, time will tell, but I'm already seeing people in territories put Cal in with Ray as well. So it's, you're going to have a hard time convincing me that Cal is better here than with Ray. Yeah. Or at least the benefit that Cal gives Seer, I don't think outweighs the benefit that Cal gives... Uh, Ray, or yeah, you didn't get gaze based because her lead gives tenacity up. Is that what it was? No, but Dash's daze is unresistible. Yeah, no, no, no. Dash's daze, remember, is unresistible. Yeah, so no, I think it's just her Omicron must have turned on. I don't know. Let's, let's, um, here, we'll, we'll double check again real quick. Kylo, bro, you're not even locked down here. Why are you still barking up my wazoo here? Yeah, trainer, if you ever going to try it out, we're going to check it out in a moment. Yeah, Cal, yeah, Cal, yeah, what I'm getting is Cal, at least in 3v3, made it very complicated. No, this is, I think this is the Omicron turn on because we're getting the absurd amount of protection up, it looks like. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's the Omicron that's turned on. It's hard to tell. Here, I'm just going to put this on full auto. Let's see if they're idiots. Yeah. His daze is resistible. It says it's not resisted. Unless you're reading two different things here. Let right, me pull up the forums. Yes. Uh, it Dash has been around for a while. His days cannot be resisted. And we literally just did a battle before I did the Omicron. We were getting days. So, no, no, no. I'm right. I'm always right. I'm never wrong, as we've always said. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so I think the reason why we're not getting days. Yeah, because we're getting the other debuffs on us. So, yeah, I think that basically shows that it's the Omicron. Because we're getting other debuffs while we have Tenacity up. So... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm never wrong. Remember that I'm, I'm always 130% right. Semi-joking, but I'm 100% right on this one. I think the Omicron turned out. There's a bug right now, because you can use uh, Poggle the Lesser's Omicron right now, too. All right. Let's, uh, go check this update out. All right. Uh, let him finish this battle, then we'll... Ooh. Let me read this. I'll just read it to you guys. There will be a hot fix this morning to address Pog and Lester being a mysterious being up to no good. In addition, the team is aware of and investigating an issue where third sister's death mark is not applying the characters who are affected by Treya's dispel ability. And that's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, here, you know what? Well, I was going to make a video on this. I still might. I guess I'll spoil it with you guys. 
But yeah, I, I don't want people underestimating how great Cal is with Ray because it is substantially way more powerful and useful than what I'm seeing here. Like Cal, like I'm actually not wowed by Cal in this team. I was quite wowed with Cal with uh, Galactic Legends Ray. All right, we'll pull it up. I'll pull it up, pull up, pull up. I'll pull up, I'll pull up, I'll pull up. I'll pull up. All right, JC counters, 3v3. So, there we go. Good job, Reva. All right, so I want to bring your attention over here to look at a few things. Number one, I'm going to check this out. Ah. So, yeah, I'm not sure if this hotfix was for Poggle's Omicron working in Squad Arena and Conquest. Uh, I know there was something else. Like, they said that Poggle was doing some funny stuff. Let's see, where was it? Poggle. Yeah, Poggle the Lesser. A few players have brought attention at the new Omicron. Poggle the Lesser's exceeding power expectations. I don't know what they're referring to here. Uh, I think so. I think this hot fix probably was in regards to that in terms of something about him being broken. And then here's the sad part. The team is aware of and investigating an issue where third sister's death mark is not applying. Two enemy characters are affected by Treya's dispel. And when you look at the data here, remove cutoff. Uh, Treya was the most successful non GL counter. And it doesn't look good at beyond that, at least for 3v3 for the first week. Uh, Kenobi had a pretty good success rate, but that was actually not against. Uh, actually, no, that was. Yeah, this is probably because of the anti revive data cron, though. So I don't know if I would rely on this. We have an anti revive data cron right now. But Trey was 91%, and we did Nihilus lead. That was 73%. Sith Eternal, 79% win rate. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ray Ben seemed like they were able to hold the fort down a little bit. Uh, Supremator Kyle Ren got dunked on. Sith Eternal. Yeah, that, that we actually tried that. We got dunked trying that. That did not work. Sith Eternal. Lord Vader seemed okay. Lord Vader. Ray seems to be okay. Hey, speaking of that, well, there's Cal right there. Jabba seemed okay. And 3v3 against 5v5, five five, it's going to be a little bit different. But as you see, there's not a lot of non-GL things that we're throwing. There we go. We have Darth, Revan, and Malgus. We kind of... The few things we called out, we're like, all right, Trey and Malgus look like they're going to be possible counters. Aphra didn't do well. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but props to that person. Yeah, there, there wasn't really a lot of success doing non-GL stuff, except Treya. And now, depending on how this works, Treya might not work here moving forward. A little concerning. Moving on to Calcast, which I think is more pertinent to our conversation for today. I just want to pull up... Uh, I want to show you... So I, I, I'll pull up here. Let's do this. Let's, let me pull up my... Here, I'll do it in a second. Let's do this first. Search... And then we're going to add a unit. All right. So this is what I want to point out. Normally, we're used to Starkiller dunking on Ray. If I take out here, let's take out Cal Kestis for the moment. Generally, Starkiller, you know, pretty decent success rate. You know, 80% sounds pretty reasonable. You know, then you hit the, it's, it's, it just kind of varies depending on the lineup. But the second you put Cal in there, it's just like it got a lot trickier for Star Killer to pull it off. So 51 and a half, 66% win rate against or Kenobi versus that 66% win rate. Ray Mirror matches were pretty atrocious, 63%. Uh, yeah, another one of Kenobi, 28%, 14% of Mass Luke, 33% with Lord Vader and Maul. Holy cow, Jabba didn't get through it. Uh, Sith Eternal seemed like they, there's four people that got through it with Sith Eternal. Supremate of Kyla Ren. Dr. Effort, no chance there, it seemed like. Yeah, so Cal Castus, I think the most impressive thing was that, especially when I looked at my defense, people had a hard time using Starkiller against it. I think that was the, the big thing. Otherwise, you know, when you take it out, you know, it's Ray is still one of those things. I think it was like Ray Mirror matches were more bearable. Star Killer had, you know, a little bit easier time, 80-ish percent, 70 percent-ish. Master Luke had an easier time. Lord Vader had an easier time. So what I'm trying to get at, because people are like, ah, Cal doesn't make a big difference. Cal made a pretty substantial difference just within the first week of testing in 3v3 Grand Arena. And in territories, people are starting to like her, uh, him a lot inside of Ray's lineup. So I think that's, uh, you could definitely see there's a bit difference of a win rate. 
and you know over time maybe people will get more comfortable and to figure it out but at least initially when you put cal in there it, the results are looking pretty interesting so i think cg did not test their game properly which you know you know it's not that hard not that bold to make an assumption like that based off them having issues with their reva and issues with their poggle and many other stuff and them not knowing that tie defender was going to work well with chimera stuff like that uh i am i just I, what, what i'm seeing right now is i just don't see myself wanting to use cal with reva when i can make star killer less viable up against them um you know what i mean oh shoot i was gonna show my defense hold on all right, I'll pull that up real quick. Hold on. So I'll show you the, the, this past week of 3v3 Grand Arena. Let's see. GAC history. All right. So Havanos, they use... Oh, my gosh. Look at that. This always surprised me. I've gotten a few holds against Gas of my Zori team. That's nuts. Nuts. Han and Chewy. Oh, my gosh. Han and Chewy lost up against them. Gosh, that's nutty. So they use the anti-revive datacron that helped them beat that. I don't, it's going to be tricky if you don't have that anti-revive datacron moving forward. So I'll have to wait and see what that looks like. Um, yeah, so they had to throw in Master Luke and they lost against that. Yeah, it looks like they actually timed out. Cal Kest is basically going to keep that clock running, I think, and the, the durability is going to go up. And then they tried cheesing up Ray. Couldn't quite do it. All right, that's not as impressive as some of the other ones. Let's go check out Zhang. All right, boom, right there. You know, Star Killer didn't get through it. Uh, they actually didn't take anyone out, it looks like. Cal Kest is keeping Ray as healthy as possible, making it hard to get the Ben she's going. Passive unique ability stuff is powerful. They had to bring in Kenobi against a cleanup rate. Took him three minutes and they lost everyone and Kenobi barely got out of there alive. Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, Sith uh, Eternal got through my Reva. Well, so I think Sith Eternal is going to be okay. Just link up Reva, link up Grand Inquisitor, whatever. Call it a day. Uh, anything else of note here? I think the... Let's go check out the next one. Round three. Neo. All right. So, what happened here? And again, look at it. So, in my one week of Grand Arena, where normally my rate always gets dunked on by Starkiller... I beat Star Killer every single time on defense the second I put in Cal Kestis. So the reason why I bring this up because we're talking about this Cal Kestis and Seer Junda. You can't convince me that putting Cal at Seer Junda is better than that. It almost seems like people were forced to throw a Galactic Legend at my uh, my raid team. Uh, did they beat my Inquisitors? Ooh. So it looks like Nihilously did not work out for them here. All right, so... Yeah, we, we tried, honestly, we, I mean, we kind of timed out. We, oh, it looks like they insta-killed. Oh, that's interesting. Why would they go for Grand Inquisitor, not Reva? I think a slight misplay. They probably should have insta-killed Third Sister there. Radis couldn't get through it. And then they brought in Bo-Katan for a cleanup here, it seems like. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's what I want to emphasize right here. That being able to make Starkiller a lot more complicated against Ray, it's kind of a big deal. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll have to wait and see. Got to wait and see what the 5v5 Grand Arena show. But for right now, I'm probably just going to leave this Cal on Ray's team. All right. Is there a Reva Datacron on? There's not a Reva Datacron, right? Oh, on my team, yes. We had a Reva. Everyone's got Datacrons in my neck of the woods. Yeah, there is a Datacron on those. Uh, all right. What are we doing here? I'm trying to think what I would like. What, what, I'm, I'm trying to think of like some other a angles that might make me a little bit more excited about G Seer Jin. Like when, when we ramp up and up, it feels really darn good. Seer versus Lord Vader. All right, let's do it. Seer versus Lord Vader. We should get a, actually this actually, you know what? This could be good. This could be good because think about it. Maul's going to go and Maul's going to take like what? Like six turns. You know what? Hold your phone for a moment. Look at History Teens Dono. Hey, Arnold. Myself and a few others are having a bug with the executor with starting CDs jacked up. Mind testing. Uh, what, what's the... What's your lineup? What's the other... I'll, I'll check it out. Once we're done with this, I'll check it out. Thanks for the heads up. Longer the Kyber Empire. Love the content. So just be like me. Just don't use the executor. Put it on defense, right? Then you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I'll take a peek at it. Thanks for the heads up on that. Um, yeah, I want to do this though first. So they have a Datacron. Should I make it even, Steven? 
and eh, it's not that great of a data i mean it's got extra health let's do this let's go all right let's let me show you how this is done okay i want to see this here all right so we're gonna sit there will i survive enough to get turned so that's one turn no it's definitely the omicron's turned on 100 percent two turns damn it why are you no what are you doing what are you doing no ahsoka no get out of there no what is your problem ahsoka i want them to take the turns no 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 i'm fixing your mods i'm making i know i'm making you purpose slow because you keep jumping ahead on the gun here girl unacceptable unacceptable no we're penalizing you by being the slowest one on the team here all right no ahsoka i like this could have been brilliant if, <laughs> just don't suck ahsoka please don't suck you're ruining my groove here all right and just give me what am i doing here oh i, I want to take out yeah 15 months that's all i want okay no 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 all right slow this girl down give me an offense mod of sorts there we go candorous how are we looking two tw no slower even slower hondo give it to me all right all right that's pretty slow offense you tell him kylo you tell him 11 speed there we go okay all right i just want i want them to take a turn let's try this again now let them just roll their train because Piat would have went, Maul would have went, and then we probably should have had a lot of all. I'm going for it. Let's go for it. So the Omicron's turned on. We're getting, what is it, 15%, right? For every turn they take. Enemy turn, that is. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. It's time to roll. Okay. So what is that? They took nine turns, right? So we just, assuming this Omicron's turned on right now. 135% extra offense. Critical damage. All right. Okay. So here we go. We're going to take these buffs. All right. The ramping is stopped now. All right. Ah, it's not a lot of buffs, is it? Ah, it's kind of sucky. You know what? Just go for it anyways. All right, this is not this is not as sexy as it sounded in my mind. Do that. Okay. Come on, someone's got to help me out here. All right, is that going to be enough? Yeah, it's not going to do anything. Okay. All right, well, it sounded a lot better on paper. All I know is that this is not looking as good as I wanted it to be. I mean, at least we're assuming this... I, I'm assuming the Omicron's on because we're not getting days on us. I was expecting a lot more, but let's see. Maybe that was unfair. It was up against a tank. Let's go clean up Seer. All right. All right. Oh my gosh. What if I just like one shot Lord Vader here? Let's go. Big damage! Never mind. Could I have won after Maul there? I think I could have won after Maul. <laughs> um, yeah, are we, hold on. Are we going to get ability block? Let's see. Yeah, the Omicron is 1,000% out. We're not even getting ability blocked right now. Sucks that this does nothing against this team. Yeah, look, we're like doing nothing right now. Slightly underwhelmed. I was, I don't know where we're... Did we not like get any ramp? Like, where's my damage? I feel like I have no damage at all. Is it defense? Oh, 90% defense. I don't know. Maybe that they have 90% defense on this. I don't know if that really makes a difference. Um. Hmm. Try again. Go for it. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I was going to get a lot more damage here. I don't know. I'm not seeing any. Turns up, and I think it's only on your side, right? Here, let me double check. Is it on both sides or here? Both sides? No, it's just Galactic Legend Allies. We're not using... Hold on. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, it just says Galactic Legend Allies. It's not even Galactic Legends in general. I don't know. It could be the defense data, Kron. I have no idea. 
Uh, but this damage is just pitiful. But yeah, if, if our Omicron's turned on right now... I have no idea what's going on. No idea. Could, oh, you know what? It's probably Lord Vader's lead. You're 100% right. I think you're 1,000% right. It's got to be this. It's got to be this. 30% reduced damage from enemy light side online force. That has to be it. That's got to be it right there. Yeah. It's got to be it. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. It's it, it, not with. Yeah, with Galat, you can't. I can't have Ray, but it, it turns on versus other GLs. Okay, you know what? Now that we have this Omicron, let me think here. We have this Omicron turned on. What can we do? All right, it's so probably no Lord Vader because he's anti unaligned forces here. Oh, hey, Chosen One showed up. I can take off my Datacron. Uh, you know, I don't know if that's going to make a difference. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat that still. I think it's the Lord Vader lead making it very hard for us to work. Yeah. Try against Maul DeLoreans, but you know, you know what? Let's do that. Yeah, Chosen One showed up to the party, guys. Let's do it. Sure. Can you put Maul DeLoreans in? Yeah, they, they, they so they get a lot of turns, right? You know? All right. Okay. 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 Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, preferably with what, too? All right. We're getting some fun teams in. All right. Let's. Uh, I want to take advantage of this data. Uh, Omicron. Let me see what we could do with uh, Prime. We beat a Grievous team. Um, Gas. I don't think Gas is going to look good. We beat Grand Inquisitor, but is that very impressive? I don't know. Commander Luke is a bit meh. Hmm. We could try, boy, Dr. Afra. I don't know if Dr. Afra is going to work well. The cooldown increase is rough. Star Killer. We already fought Star Killer. That did not go well. Oh, yeah, it's like I'm, I'm kind of like, look, it's like it's kind of hard to find a. Oh, I get like, I, basically, I'm left to things like Bad Batch and like Geonosians and stuff like that. You want to see Afra? Okay, I'll put Afra in. I guess. Uh, all right all right and then um like i, I want to believe there's like a galactic legend i can beat you know maybe not maybe i'm being too bold you know what put in supreme leader kyle red Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Glad I didn't get the 330 shards free yet. Save it for the next one. I like Cal Castas. I'd be super stoked if I got a free seven star. Sierra Junda. Uh... Can you run the executor real quick? Uh, I want to stay on topic here. Once we're done, I'm totally going to check out the executor. We had History Teen uh, put it on a radar that something looks off. I don't know. The game's buggy as hell lately. I don't know what to tell you. The game is mega buggy lately. There's so many bugs. They're, they're not testing out characters and stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it out. Okay, let's let's try this out. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so this should be kind of like Lord Vader, where they're gonna get a lot of turns. Let's see. All right, we just gotta hold down the fort. So it's part one. That's one turn, two turns. Those don't count. Three turns, four turns, five turns, six turns, seven turns, eight turns. All right, so we have eight turns of ramp, right? Oh, nine turns of ramp. Thank you. Unfortunately, though, we lost our Ahsoka. That's kind of the most important character on this team sort of all right well in the meantime let's try to just fix you know what do this all right get our taunt up all right come on how much damage you got for me baby come on let's do this one do the three tap oh what in the hell is going on i feel like we're doing less damage now am i missing something here is it just mauls it's like holy cow I feel like we're doing less damage. Is it the offense? Is that really that? It still feels so low. I don't know, y'all. 
Offense that, but like the, the be offense down doesn't make that big of a. I don't know. God, I'm hitting like a freaking wet noodle right now. Uh. All right, can we do this? That's gotta hurt good. Oh gosh, you know I'm just gonna. Uh, I hope the Elmicron's not turned on because this is like feel like it's doing. Yeah, I'm just getting dunked on by everything, I feel like. I don't know. I'm starting to feel like I wasted an Omicron on this team. This is truly what it's supposed to look like. All right, I'll put someone down. That's literally the only thing worth two pennies on this team is just that ability right there. Uh, all right, no offense down. Come on, hit hard. I, like, is that all I get? I don't know, man. That still doesn't seem a lot for waiting nine turns. I don't know. Omicron is not on. But then why am I not getting dazed? Oh no, Josh, you must have missed the memo. No, there's a bug right now where Omicron... I'm not explaining it again. There's a bug where some Omicrons are working inside a squad arena. Poggle's working. Seer June is a thousand percent working because I'm not getting ability blocked and I'm not getting dazed. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a hundred percent on, Josh. Yeah, there's a, there's a weird glitch. It's not everyone, but some teams TLDR are having their Omicrons work anywhere. Like, I'm sure if I hopped into Conquest, it would be... Uh, Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. This might not be the right team. Maul's just, you know, reducing the amount of damage I could do. I mean, it's just this ability is the only thing that matters. I don't know. Oh, God. Shango freaking came back. I don't... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, just, we're not doing any damage here. I think it's just... It's, it's so hard to find the right teams to get the right amount of work out there. Yeah, C's going to be gone in a moment here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, Joe's. I don't know, Joe. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, uh, okay. I can promise you a thousand percent every fiber in my body, I will donate the Kylo's dinner that the Omicron is turned on. We fought a Lord Vader. We never got days. We never got ability block. End of discussion. I close my case. It's all up to you now. All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think it's just likely Usurper is just, you know, the extra 50, what is it? No, no, the extra, hold on. 100% defense, that's probably what it is. It's just like, I, I'm trying to find like, what is a, a good team to beat in Quizzers? It's like the only decent thing I'm able to beat here. CLS is kind of wishy-washy, yeah. Take Kylo out. I don't even know. Which Kylo? My Kylo or the other Kylo? All right. All right. It's one turn, two turns, three turns, four turns, five turns. All right. Five turns of ramp. Is that going to be enough? I don't know. Uh, go for it. Oh, All right, come on, Ahsoka. I'm, I'm rel All right, you know, I'm getting really sick of this team right now. This is just, God dang. Yeah, I, I don't even know. I, I don't even know. Like, I, I could beat maybe a Grievous team, a Beskar Manda team, Inquisitor team. Other than that, you're you're not getting a ton out of this. I just uh, I don't. And assuming the Omicron is turned on, which it seems like it is, I'm just not convinced. I'm not convinced. Here, take a Kylo. Have fun with it. Oh, we just went. No, 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 guys, guys. I promise you. 
I, I always feel bad for the people that are sitting here listening. I keep repeating the same thing over and over again. The Omicron only turns off if you have a Galactic Legend on your team. On your team. Not on the other team. Yeah, I, it's, people are like, oh, you already said that. It's like, I know, but people are obviously behind in the conversation or they missed out on me saying it. Uh, no, yeah, it, it's, yeah it's, it's on the, yeah, it, it's specifically worded an ally galactic. We have no ally galactic legends right now. Yeah. This is like Star Killer. Oh, now it, here's the thing. Now it's not Star Killer testing or because we have the Omicron turned on now. The Omicron is officially turned on. We're not getting days. We're not getting ability block. And we're kind of in this like this wishy-washy thing right now. Yeah, I don't know. When you're testing Reva, we're done with Reva, man. Reva's old news. She destroys everything. What, you know, what more do you need to know? Even so, well, Star Killer wasn't fair. It's not a fair comparison, Yada, because Star Killer was amazing in Grand Arena. Look at this dog. Holy cow, dude. There's a million floors, Kylo. You don't got a mark here. The dude is literally barking at squirrels, man. He has this squirrel he's got beef with. There's this squirrel that's constantly taunting him. The squirrel's chilling up in the tree. Like, what are you gonna do about it? You're in there, I'm out here. And obviously it takes Kylo off so much. He's gotta bark for like 30 minutes straight. Bark, bark, bark. I let him out, he got the bark out. He scared the squirrel away. Mission accomplished. I'm so happy I have a hero defending me from squirrels chilling in trees. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kylo, man, he's such a funny dog. Oh, uh, Logan Brown, five Australian dogs from down under. I got Cal the five stars currently unlocked Ray so I don't have the alternate array. So the word building my Cal team. Oh, if you have Cal, do it. I mean, uh, the, the, the ultimate's not. Honestly, I'll be I'll be straight up with you. Oh, that was the last battle. Oh, that sucks. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna be plain with you guys. I don't see us doing well <laughs> against Doctor Rathra. I just don't see that being the case. Um, hold on for a second. Uh, where's the uh, where's the thing with Bob that she applies? Doubt. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Doubt, doubt, doubt. Uh, let me find it real quick. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna check out the exact people saying that the cooldowns are messed up. We'll check it out. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment, baby. Of a ten. Give me a moment. Mm, baby, come back. Where's that? Doubt. So, yeah, doubt, 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 doubt. Yeah. This is going to be kind of a problem. If Dr. Raffer is hitting you with this, you're not getting buffs. You're not getting Terminator. And you're not recovering protection through Cal. So, I'm just going to make the. I know it's a stretch, guys. I know it's a stretch based off today's long streak of wins we had as Sierra Junda. I'm going to make a pretty bold assumption that even with this Omicron. We're probably gonna have some problems, y'all, with that team. Uh, man, I kind of feel like I wasted an Omicron. I don't know. Again, assuming maybe maybe only part of the Omicron, was, something weird happened. All I know is 100%. Like here, if you if you aren't convinced that the Omicron was turned on, I'll, let's go back in the stream real quick. Turned on. I'll, let's go back in the stream. Real yeah, quick. we're going back. Yes, that's what I said. Um. Where is the, so we, we like, so I think the best indication is we fought a dash, so boom, right here. All right, so here you go. So if you aren't convinced, so again, TLDR, TLDW, TL, I'm late uh, to the party. It seems like there's like a weird bug in our favor where it lets us use some Omicrons here. Like people have been using the Genosian Omicron inside of Squad Arena and Conquest, which has been kind of neat. It's how it should be, but what's my opinion matter here? So here is before the Omicron. Dash landed the days on us. And where was the post battle? So this was a different battle. And then I eventually threw on 
No, it's still dash. All right, so here's your proof. I was talking about the Omicron. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I think this is going to make this all even better. I have 60 Omicrons. Look at me. And then I go throw it on. I was like, wow, look at all this extra offensive gains we're going to get. You know what? I'm putting it on it. Does fancy hand gestures. Proceeds to go back into a dash battle. And the second I threw that Omicron on, the daze does not land. And we saw that with Lord Vader. We didn't get ability blocks and stuff like that. So it seems like, again, this is a great thing. If this is 100% working with this Omicron, maybe something's not turned on the Omicron. Maybe it's only some things are turned on, some things are, yada, yada, yada. I got to say, I just, I wasn't very impressed. I mean, like, I'm looking at the teams to beat. Like, I beat Dash Rendar, I beat Inquisitor, but I'm not going to see those type of Inquisitors anymore. I'm going to see Reva everywhere. Mm, Mandalorians, I couldn't beat them. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's, you know... Not every character's got to be amazing. Maybe time will tell. Maybe we'll be... I would love to be impressed down the road. I just, for right now, I think hopefully you guys understand where I am with the ratings, showing you the data. If I could stop Starkiller a lot more off to get this Disney crap off of here. Thank you. I need some more hype in here. Yeah, it's just that I can, I can safely say so far that of all the things that we've had this year, and it's okay. Not everything's got to do better than the last thing. Let's look at the, you know, let's look at some positives. You know, when Sir Judah does that aerial advantage Captain Rex thing, it feels cool. It's probably the highlight of the team. It, you know what? Let's look at the other bright side. She's putting together some weird mishmashy stuff. Ahsoka, Ray Scavenger, your Kylo Ren's. And she's making a leftover C-ish plus team, maybe, if that's generous enough. You know, it's a, it's a new team. I don't think Cal Kessler needs to be a part of it. Yeah, I think that's the way to look at it here. Um, and we have a chosen one saying, side note, Marin's going to be the biggest lifter IMO out of the new Cal character. She might make Nightsis the monster. I'm expecting Nightsis to be a lot better. 100%. How good? I hope they're better than this. That's my hope. So far, not impressive. Yeah. Uh, testing Conquest. Sure. Let's, we'll do a few battles. And then we'll, we're going to try out the thing that History Team put on our radar. And we'll see what's going on. Uh, all right, let's see. Quick conquest battle. So let's see. I believe actually, I, let's see. Is there a team of days? Team of days, real quick. Let's see. Just to see if the Somacrons. Look at that. We have Bo-Katan. All right. You know what? There's no mall. All right. You know. Let, 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 let me see. Let me see if the Omicron's on. Number one and number two. Maybe you can beat this with this team. I don't know. Got you. Put in Cal for the lols. Put in Ahsoka, and I'm going to throw in Kylo for a little bit of... Actually, I don't even know if that's worth it. Yeah, screw it. Just do it. All right, so set him on him. So Bo has a daze. We'll see if we get daze on us. Let's wait and see. Wait and see. Uh, okay, so they're going to go. We're actually getting a lot of Terminator, but they're getting a lot of Terminator. So that's one turn, two turns. All right, so that's all the ramp we get, unfortunately. All right. Let's see... Uh, do this. Uh, do this. All right, Bo, we're waiting for you, girl. Come on, big hit, big hit. Oh, my God. Just do the days. Oh, my goodness. Do the days. I just want to see if we, the Omicron thing works here, too. Why aren't you doing your days? Oh, my girl. Oh, my girl. All right, big hit. Let's go. Actually, you're not going to get enough damage out there, are you? Oh, close. But no cigar. Well, that was because of zealous ambition there. Oh, my gosh. Put her down. There we go. And it all got dodged. So I don't know if the Omicron worked there. A little late on that bow. Just like everything else. Okay, over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You know, I just put on auto. I think we'll just rely on the support characters doing all the work. You literally have a ton of protection up. Yeah, we got a lot of protection. I'm very certain the Omicron's working here too. Just based on the protection. The daze isn't landing, but... Hold on. Come on, Seer. Just land some big hit big hits. Come on, Seer. Come on, Seer. Let's go. 147,000 the basic. Zealous ambition. Clocking in some work.
There we go. There! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's just... That's the only cool thing about this team so far. And Ahsoka being able to pop it. Bo didn't go first yet. Why didn't Bo go first this time? Oh my gosh. Are Kylo's counters messing right? No, no, no. Because it's not the start of their turn. No, no, no. It's only at the start of a turn. Uh, counter attacking is not him taking a turn. Start of a turn. You're good. All right. You guys got this. You okay? All right. Just let them do their thing, I guess. We got Max Strong, the 220 Canadian Bacons. No comment. You don't want to say hi to me? That's all right, Max. I'll say hi to you. Thank you so much for that 220. We have Runaway with a 15, a month of Ruskies. Hey, Yaddle, any advice if the game is too stale? Long of the Kyber Empire. I, I feel you. You know, I, I, I can understand where you're coming from. Um, you have a few things to go about it. Number one, I, this is probably not the answer you want to hear. <laughs> Starting a new account, it, it's kind of fun. Uh, this, I, I, I feel like from a day-to-day -day base, I enjoyed a free-to-play account. I enjoy this account for playing with the new characters. Uh, but at least when you start a new account, there's so much to do. So many goals to hit all over again. Uh, other option is join a better guild. I find myself, if you get into a better competitive guild, you kind of get a little bit more excited about the newer content that comes out, like trying to take Rise of the Empire seriously, the new raids and stuff like that. Uh, we're definitely in a holding pattern until the new Crate Dragon raid shows up, 100%. Uh, another piece of advice, um... It depends if you're like burnt out or you're like bored bored. My other piece of advice is find another game to play. I was bored out of my mind of Galaxers and I played Marvel Snap. It's like, you know, I'm having fun with both of these games. So if anything, you find another game that's got a lot more content, a lot more stuff to do. It's something that's more your place. Like I wish Galaxers was a game like Snap where I could play for 24 hours, match up with people nonstop in Grand Arena. It's just not that they, they don't want to make that this game which is a little unfortunate. So find another game that can fill in the gap. I don't think Galaxers is truly a game that it's not like, you know, the, the game you want to hang out with your buddies and play on a weekend type of thing. I wish it was. So maybe, you know, just need to find another game to fill in the gaps. Uh, that's a kind of something. So I, I thought there's a bunch of suggestions out there. Yeah. <laughs> I heard what David said. <laughs> touch grass. <laughs> there you go. There's always the touching grass option. <gasps> Waiting for Lord of the Rings. Oh, man. Uh, I can't I can't talk about it right now. I got a NDA thing. Let's just say I'm really ticked about Lord of the Rings. Uh, I might be uh, maybe like it's maybe the next week or so we can talk more about it in detail. But I, I, I uh, got to see a game a little early. And I'm like, holy crap. Why couldn't Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle Earth go down this direction? I was literally like so ticked. It just it really gets me irritated how CG decided to take their game down this first grader coloring book direction where it looks like it's something made by a two year old. And I see this other game, which oh, I'll probably talk about soon. And it's like, oh my gosh, like this is literally what I was hoping Lord of the Rings would look like. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh. Wait, I didn't, no, 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 I'm not, no, I, 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 I didn't get to play. I mean, Lord of the Rings, anyway, you all can pick it up right now in beta. It's in soft launch beta. You guys aren't going to know it. I promise you're not going to have any idea what I'm talking about. But I, I picked it up and it just, it irritated me more than anything. The game was cool. But I'm like, I'm, I, all I can think about nonstop is just like such a missed opportunity. CG went down this lazy first grader art direction and animation style where they could have done this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in Australia. Lord of the Rings is the major L. Yeah, it, 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 it's, I, I want the I don't want the game to be trash. Like I want games to be successful. I want more fun stuff to play. Lord of the Rings is a cool IP. I just uh, I don't think they did it justice. I don't think they did it justice. Gutted for Lord of the Rings was hyped about her. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I'm probably sure next week. Then the A drops. You'll know it when you see it. And uh, it just it, it just irritates me. It's like this is all you had to do, and like they have all these excuses why they don't go this direction, or whatever. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> you think people in Australia hate Lord of the Rings because it was filmed in New Zealand? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> NDA non-disclosure agreement. So I can't. It's, it's yeah. I can't talk about it right now. Uh, but you, you'll know it when you see it. You'll know when you see it. Yeah. It's gonna be DOA. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just it's, it's irritating, you know. It's like here I am. I just want to I wanted to early look at this one game. It's like okay, I'm kind of curious about it. Yeah, let me see it. And I, I I wasn't focused on the game itself. I'm like holy crap. It's like it just all I kept thinking was kept thinking Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is though. It is what it is. Is Estel Care still a good GL? Hell yeah. Top three, he's a top three Galactic Legends. 1000%. Top three GM. Whether or not he's still going to be great when the new Crate Dragon Raid comes out, that's kind of a different story. We don't 100% new. What's the consensus of Sierra? Uh, I'd say worst character of this year. That's not mean she's trash. She's definitely not Zori. She's definitely not Tuskins. She's definitely not Cal. Cal, I feel like, is a lot better in Raid rather than this team. Uh. She's just okay. She's just okay. I don't know. I, it's, it's, it's a weird team. Maybe there's more to learn. We got the trot, the Omicron, though. Yeah. Uh, and it really, I feel like I wasted it. So we'll have to wait and see. Gotta wait and see. Gotta wait and see. We kind of like the direction of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I, I guess art is, is subjective. I mean, for me, it just, it doesn't... It doesn't click. Like I, I, I'm just gonna be honest. If I was, who's the who's the right? Is it Warner Brothers who owns the rights to Lord of the Rings? I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's Warner. It's, is it Warner Brothers? Maybe it's not Warner Brothers. Maybe it's the estate. Whoever owns uh, Tolkien's work. I, I don't know. But if I if I was the one giving the license for this game, I would be like, what the hell did you do to my license? This is not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Yeah. New Line Cinema. Is the movies? Yeah, because I know that the rights are kind of dispersed out there, right? I don't know. That's just me, though. That's just my opinion. Also, Arnold, did you get a new camera looking Christmas? Same, same as usual. Same as usual. I'm glad you think it's neat and new, though. I, I, I'm not going to complain if you think it improved. Might be a small conflict over the LOTR rights. I, I know it's kind of like Marvel, where Marvel kind of got like shattered. You had like Fox. You had Marvel itself, you had Sony, Disney. So I, I I know there's probably something like that. Amazon has, does Amazon own the rights or were they licensed it? It's kind of a, it's, it's a little different. It's a little different. Is Reva going down? It helps that we have zealous ambition. This is a, this is a conquest. I wouldn't look too much into it. This is just conquest. Hey, Amazon is licensed. I don't think they own it. It's a little different. The estate probably owns the overall IP. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is that I, I'm a, I, 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 like, you know, I'm kind of imagining how the pitch meeting went. Cause I'm just, I don't know. Maybe they reached out the CG. Uh, you know, it could go either way. Sometimes, um, the licensed owners, they'll reach out to a, a game developer or publisher and be like, Hey, we see you're good here. Can you make us a game kind of like that? So I'm not sure if that it was that direction. Maybe CG was seeking a license. And maybe they didn't really show any concept, but they're just like, hey, we made Galaxy of Heroes. We we're going to do the same thing for Lord of the Rings. And maybe they didn't see it. I don't know. Just for me, it's like. The, yeah, there's just like all they had to do is make the game look cool. And I think people would have been sold. Like it's just like, that, that one thing. It's, it's going to hold it back. Uh, this PlayStation 1 first grader looking art direction. Yeah. We'll see. So Cal saying the raid team, I'm pretty confident that's what I'm going to be doing. I showed a lot of data. We're going to make probably a, maybe a video later on. Hey, there we go. Hey, there we go. I'm not going to complain. We got a, we got a feet knocked out there. Yeah. We need a Power Rangers. I think there was a Power Rangers gotcha game. I remember my uh, my man Ramon. He Ramon is up. I don't think they play Galaxy Heroes anywhere, do they? They're like they used to make a lot of videos back in the day for those that were in tune with the Galaxy of Heroes community. They played like a, it was kind of like a I think it was like Mortal Kombat Power Rangers game, if I remember correctly, or maybe it was a hero collector. I can't remember, but there there was one something like that where you collect Power Rangers. Uh, I don't really care about any of these. I'll take that one, though. Yeah. Did you hear John Favreau threaten to leave Star Wars uh, in Disney because of Kathleen Kennedy meddling too much? I did not hear about that. That's news to me, Grey Wolf. Where do you where did you uh, find that from? Is that like from uh, like some sort of legit source? Because I mean, I don't want to say I'm surprised, but I don't know if I can 100% trust. I I don't know. I don't know anything about interrelationships with like Dave Filoni, John Favreau, 
Kathleen Kennedy, which I believe she's stepping down, right? She's stepping down sometime around the corner. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I know people probably want to believe that. It's not reputable. I, I, see, I, like, I, I, I could see it happening. But also, I feel like maybe John... Who knows? I could see John Farrell being tight with Kathleen Kennedy. I don't know. Yeah. YouTube star... Was it Mike... Oh, was it... If it was Mike Zero, that... I don't know, though. I, I, I know there's like a... I don't... I, I, I've never watched the Mike Zero video, so I don't have like a, a fully informed opinion on the guy. All I hear about are memes about Mike Zero. And like anytime the guy comes up, it's always a meme about some of the weirdest stuff. Maybe the guy's got legit stuff. I don't know. I don't uh, watch their stuff, but it's like all I hear usually hearsay is that their stuff is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, what were we going to do? We were going to do something. I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, executor. Executor. So uh, some people are saying there's like a weird bug. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but some folks saying that the executor is getting its cool. Who? What did history team say? Where's history team? Oh, history teen, oh, history teen. Hey, Arnold, myself, and a few others. I find a bug with the executor. But starting cooldowns jacked up. Mind testing it. LLTKE. Love the content. Thank hey. you. All right. That's the whole super chat from them. Let's, uh, I don't know, give it a whirl. Give it a try. Executors cooldowns being jacked. You're not running Darth Vader into starting lineup, are you? If so, that could be potentially causing some issues. But let's see. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's go. Take a little peek. Take a little peek. Take a little peek, 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 peek. All right. Cooldowns being jacked. Test number one. Let's see what we got. All right. So they're gonna go. They're gonna work on my Razor Crest. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Razor Crest getting destroyed. What else is new? Okay. Um, seems right. I haven't found anything in my testing against other executors yet. I'm not seeing anything. This looks pretty normal to me. I have a feeling, I think I might know what they're referring to. I'll, I'll check it out in a moment. Hold on for a second. Um. My gosh, it's been, it's so weird. I like when something's powerful, I just put it on defense and I learn how to deal with it without using the powerful thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sure. Do that. Pop it over there. Okay. Let's go do this. All right. Go do that. All right. Nice dodge. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Not a lot. No, no, that's okay. Well, yeah, so far it's looking like I'm not Incoming. seeing anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, it seems like everything's fine. I have a feeling, may I mean, maybe there's... If you're using... Um, If you're using Vader here, that could be a problem. Yeah, why am well, I'm an idiot? I've been going into the Rebel Wildwing this whole time. I forgot we can ignore the taunt. My bad. As I said, I, I don't honestly don't remember the last time I really played with Executor on offense inside of a, an arena of some sort. I'm always using it on defense. Yeah, um, idiot move on my part. Yeah, it could be just ignoring this taunt the whole time. Oh, gosh. I'm the master of off meta. I'm an idiot when it comes to the on meta stuff yeah all right i'm gonna be surprised if we could still pull this through here i took way too much time here. anyways not that not important we what we want to see is uh likely here's my guess you probably did something I'll, I'll do a mirror match maybe there's another way of triggering it uh let's say you take that out and you just put vader in there yeah this could mess you up potentially right 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 because profanity where is it oh my gosh it's somewhere here holy cow what a long leader ability yeah this might be what you're encountering if enemy tie advances deployed at the start of battle increase all cooldowns of call reinforcements for the enemy capture that maybe that's what it is read donation fool run triple attacker 
All cooldowns at... Okay, well, they see, that's, 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 that's important then. All right, so it's not the Vader thing. Read still. I, I was... Okay, give me some slack. I was reading a kit, deciding what maybe they experienced, and they just super chipped me. So, and, and Gary didn't play it. Gary, are you going to play it? Listen, if I don't hear, I don't see. You understand, you understand what I mean? What was the, what they say in Mandalorian? They don't speak, which they don't know. I don't know. It was so deep. It's like, I don't quite understand what you're saying, but I, 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 I'm feeling it on a spiritual level. All right, triple attacker lineup. All right, what else am I missing? History team. All cooldowns at three. Even the basics. All right, now that sounds wild. Right, let's go for it. All right. Let's go. All right. One does speak unless one knows. One does not speak unless one knows. But does Grogu not know? I mean, the, the bro obviously speaks and understands. I, it, it's it's some deep philosophical stuff. All right. Um, I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. I, I still have my cooldowns normal. Was it the was it like a different lineup? Maybe it's like a mm, executor mirror match. Let me see. I mean, here I'll do a mirror match real quick. Or is it is it fighting? Hold on. So yeah, it's you running a triple attacker. So it's not fighting. Well, here I'll do a mirror match real quick. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But this happens to me again. So Tango seeing it too. All right, let's see. Uh, I'll try this out real quick. Uh, here, just do this right now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing it right now. My bug was the house dude started lineup versus executor. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Don't worry, Tyler. I'm gonna. I didn't miss you, Tyler. You're only like you're only like two behind the last one. You're only two behind. I got you. Don't worry. I, I always double check before I go. I always say, we always double check before we go. Um, all right, I'm, I'm looking again. Is there any other context I'm missing? Because right now I'm just throwing crystals <laughs> for no reason. Uh, let's see, is history and chat and any other additional context I might be missing? All right, you did executive versus executor with the hounds who's starting and didn't have the glitch. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Uh, you're just busted. Don't worry, I got you, though. I got you. Yeah, I'm not. It could, you know, it could. Sometimes there's just like those weird random one off bugs. I don't know. I did three battles, I'm, or four, whatever it was. i not seeing it. Here, I'm going to double check. Free to play count. Free to play. I got you know, to gotta give a shout out to count, dude. They've been so dedicated. We're in the middle of testing. They just like, just they, they keep casually dropping it in every like five minutes. Free to play update. I love it. I'll give you a little peek. There's not much to really show. I can guarantee we, <laughs> we didn't, we didn't get five galactic legends since, uh, when did we stream last Monday? Was it a, oh, was it a territory battle? Territory battle? I don't know. Maybe there's some funny territory battle stuff. Yeah, uh, I'm not seeing any more additional context. I'll double check again, but I'm not seeing it. Not seeing it. All right. Well, if I find anything else, I'll definitely look into it. I want to just hope maybe it was just a one off thing. You tried Geo's only works in all game modes. I did not. And I'll be honest. Oh, gosh. I'm so, I, I gotta save all my crowns for trench, right? We need three. Hold on. What, 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 what's, what's trench got? Let me check something real quick. Trench, trench, trench. Doo -doo 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 -doo. How many all my crowns does this bro have? All right. So he's got three. Basic. Yeah, it's got ability block. Hmm. Definitely need one for the leader ability, 100%. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, especially after seeing what looked to be Seer Juden's Omicron turned on, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure we'll find uses for it. I, I, I kind of wish I had the the budget for the, to try this out. But yeah, uh, I don't. I'm, I can get 20 Omicrons in the next two weeks, likely, give or take. I don't think I'm gonna get 40 Omicrons in the next two weeks. So I'm probably not going to do Gino's Brew thing, but I'll look for other people's gameplay. I'm sure there's other gameplay lingering out out there somewhere. Negotiator Malevolence, Running Squad, and Grant. So, so, you, were, so you were using it up against Negotiator Malevolence history team? 
Oh boy, I don't know if I'm gonna find any of those in my or were you running negotiator? Incoming donation. Yeah, I, I'm not yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fight uh all the people that are helpful there in the top of it. I'll check Reddit and see if other people are having that issue. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. Yeah, no one really runs Malevolence Negotiator. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that for you. I'll, I'll, I'll put it out there. If anyone has it, send me a screenshot, Twitter, Discord. I'll look at it. I don't have it. Yeah, let's do uh Here, let's do this. Let's go. I'll, let's pull up Reddit. Reddit usually always has a pretty good post that when a bug pops up or something. Let's go for it. Let's see. Reddit review. Reddit review. CG, put him in the game. Hell yeah. I, oops. I guess that's. It's not a spoiler, right? It's not a spoiler. It's nothing. Oh my. There we go. Ben 65 getting 330 shards. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. Screw you and congratulations. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't know if I mean, hey, getting a free seven star character is I, I would definitely not be mad about that. I, I just I, I wouldn't be as hyped for Seer. I don't know. Maybe we're going to be surprised by something. Uh, what's this here? Hell yeah, let's go. See, they were in the game the whole entire time. Galaxy has caught it. Cheating or not? I don't know. Why are we looking at all these? Po oh, <laughs> hmm. I wonder. I wonder, is this heroic? Ah, oh, it's tier six. I mean, it still seems. Yeah, it, it's not impossible. I, I thought it was heroic at first. Tier six is actually not it with clones. All right, yeah, with clones, it's probably not impossible. This guy's got it right. It's possible with good speed and RNG. I used to run Rexley yeah, so yeah. Uh, tier six isn't, if it was t heroic, yeah. <laughs> this is the way. Uh, Something's gotta give. Oh, I guess we're already reading. Let's cool down with a little Reddit review. See if there's any good salt. The hours of required in-game time these days is way too high and disengaging. My phone is spending three to four hours a day mindlessly battling brick walls and auto. I feel like that's a little, ex I mean, I get what they're saying. I think three to four sounds like a lot. I don't know. Uh, like conquest is usually about a solid hour. Um, Rise of the Empire is about a solid 40 minutes to an hour. You know, something like that. So maybe like two hours. Three to four seems a little exaggeration. CGS turned every game mode into adding speed to health protection. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not like I enjoy and even engage. I, I do agree with that. I feel like there's not a lot of high quality engagement. Conquest isn't high quality engagement. Rise of the Empire. I, my guild's already kind of given the order, like saying, hey guys, you can just full auto it. Uh, Cause really the Rise of the Empire is not so much winning the battles. It's about the amount of GP you can actually like deploy. That's the more important thing. Um, yeah, so I, I kind of see what they're getting at here. Uh, I, yeah, I wish there was more high quality stuff. Yep, free. Yeah, don't forget about that. There's a free Fallen Order gift pack. If you missed it at the beginning, you can get 25 Ninth Sister or Second Sister, both useful for something. Uh, I'm not seeing anything about this executor thing, though. <laughs> yeah, Zealous Ambition, man. Zealous Ambition is, yeah, great. <laughs> it's some good stuff. It's really fun. Uh, remember to get the free. Yep, we already talked about that. Uh, Tarkin or Thrawn? Oh man, I, I prefer. Hmm, that's a tough call. I hmm, Chimera is the better all-around capital ship, I think, especially since they don't have a lot of ships. It seems like uh, proper kill order for Star Killer team. Yeah, and here you go. Yeah, so right now it's looking like the yeah. There you go. So they're in conquest. Yeah, man, I, I kind of, I don't know. I hope he's Sierra Junta surprises me, but like I, now I kind of wish I would have tried some Geno's. I feel like more people would care about that right now. Hmm, if you could change, add one feature in the game, so a way to play against other people, man. That's all I want. And more consistently, not once every three years. Uh, all right, yeah, I guess I'm not, I'm not quite seeing anything. 
But yeah, if you guys see anything about your cooldowns being wrecked with the executor, let me know. I just know I am not seeing it. And I couldn't get the re replicated as well. Yeah. Tarkin's better for... Yeah, I guess Tarkin's a little bit better for beginners. But I feel like Thrawn's going to be the one that's going to be a bit more helpful uh, down the road. Yeah. I mean, they're both fine as a new player. But I think uh, for me, like on my free-to-play account, which I guess we'll check that out real quick. I haven't done my dailies. Let's go do some daily activities. How Sir Junda just joined? All right, you know what? Let's just, let's get a poll going for those that are still here. You got a dino at two fourteen, by the way. Uh, you got a dino. Oh, you got your dino. Yes, how you were talking about Devil Dino. I told you, you're gonna get it before two fourteen. Sucks. It took you that long to get it though. Yeah, Devil Dino. You're gonna use Devil Dino for a long, long time. Yeah, Devil Dino is kind of a staple deck in Marvel Snap. All right, so we're going to say one equals amazing and four equals trash. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. All right, there we go. Uh, I guess the TLDW for me is most lackluster character of the year. I don't want to use Cal Kest with her. I'd rather use Cal Kest with Ray. I, I did some Omicron testing. I kind of, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. The best team I was able to beat was Grand Inquisitor, which isn't that impressive. We beat a Dash Rendar. It's when you do get it to work, Ahsoka Tano feels good. I like Seer Junda's aerial advantage Captain Rex ability. Uh, other than that, I'm just not, uh, I'm not to the moon about it. I think Cal Kest has got, to, got me a little too hyped for her. Cal Kest is so, uh, yeah, Cal Kest was pretty good. So again, it's just, it's only day one. Maybe we'll find some stuff, but, but I guess the upside is it's making a use of a team that never existed. All your left are unaligned forest users from all those different galactic legend farms. It's a, it, it turns them into a usable team. So that there's an upside to it. I just, uh, it, it seemed, they, they, they kind of sold it a lot bigger than what I think it should have been sold as. And they missold Cal this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just kind of funny. All right. Anything else here? All right. I got really none of this. Yeah. So not much has changed for those that care about the free to play since the last time we met. I, it's just a slow, steady grind. Nothing that special. I'm just collecting all my stuff. Get some of these, some of those. Yeah. Uh, I guess really the main thing to say, I, I put the tide defender on my farm. Crew is not used. I mean, um, for me, I don't really use Kyle Ren on mass. I'm not really using a Supreme Kyle Ren. When I'm using Supreme Kyle Ren, I'm using armor, Night Sister Zombie Watt, I'm soloing, or I just use Hawk's First Order Officer. You don't quite, and I'm not putting it on defense. Supreme Kyle Ren's kind of easy to beat on defense for the most part of my neck of the woods. So for me, Kyle Ren on mass is kind of one of those things up in the air. I could use a Star Killer in 3v3, but. Um, yeah, for me, for, again, it's, it's kind of like me saying Nine Sister is, she's not being used. I know most of you guys are not in that situation. So it's kind of one of those things. It just depends what neck of the woods you're in. For a lot of people in Kyber, Kylo Ren a Mask isn't really mandatory for the use of Primitive Kyle Ren. Uh, what are we doing here? Farming our visas just out of hand, but we've already made it this far. I kind of feel like I should maybe wait because we're going to get eventually that other galactic bounty event, whatever it's called. I'll get the rest of the shards there, but eh, it's just habits. All right. We're also farming on uh, Juhani. Where is she at, man? Hard node farms suck. I have people that beef with me. They're like, no, hard node farms are in a cantina. I 1000% disagree. I hate waiting months to farm a character. I just want to farm it in a week and be done. Yeah, it's just how I roll. Oh, we're farming our Tide Defender because it's amazing. I feel bad for those that didn't get it during the Galactic Chase event because, wow, was that a great Galactic Chase event that we had. Uh, a lot of five, six star free unlocks out there. Let's farm some Annie stuff. And yeah, that's it. I always feel like people expect me to do like a lot of stuff in like three days <laughs> on the free to play. Why would you hotty not old Ben? Uh, twofold. Well, one, I already have old Ben to seven stars. It's threefold, I guess. Number two, Juhani makes Star Killer great in Territory Wars. Number three, I want to get Darth Revan this year. So it's kind of a threefold uh, situation there. Uh, hope that makes sense. 
I was actually strong considering Johanny being my next uh, Omicron upgrade for Territory Wars to make Star Killer usable there too for the guild. So uh, we'll see. Yes, yeah, so there's a few ways of thinking about it. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. We might we might make some big pushes here. One sec. One sec. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. I know you got it in you, bud. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. So close. I know it's there. Just give it what I want. No. This is it right here. I listen at first try first try I got it give it up yeah there we go there's your free to play update one step closer to a gear 13 oh actually hold on hold the phone for a second we might be able to get this piece on too all right come on you know what I'm, I'm gonna make it happen I'm the best I really am the best I I that was a flex. That was a flex right there. Right on the money. There we go. See, it's a good thing we did a free to play update. Boom, right here. Two pieces locked in almost to that gear 13 IG88. Common W. What can I say? That's all we're doing. We're handing out W's like it's free water, my friends. Oh, yeah. And then this, yeah. Then we'll kind of cut it there. Uh, other things I'm doing. What else am I doing here? We are getting our first relic eight on this account. Slowly getting there. Uh, but we need the impulse detectors are kind of holding me back right now. Yeah, the impulse detectors are going to take a minute. So we have that. It's this though is going to be a bit of an issue. Yeah. Um, those aren't very hmm no that's not worth it that's i don't think that's worth it yeah so I, basically i'm just using my normal energy to farm these pieces of scrap i don't know yeah impulse detectors are definitely a pinch point here free play account conquest nah i'm good i'm good i gotta i gotta oh gosh i gotta play conquest actually i just don't want to bore you guys with it conquest is not enjoyable to watch uh I gotta do it. I gotta still play some Marvel Snap today, man. Um. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever, forever, forever. Snap later. Well, it depends. I I can either stream Snap on the second channel, which I probably should. I haven't tested out the new uh, Negasonic Warhead. Uh, I haven't pinned. I just haven't. I haven't played it this week. Snap with us. I think it'd be more pertinent if I did it on the second channel for those that. I, gosh, I, one of my biggest regrets is doing a second channel because now my audience is like partitioned out and it's kind of annoying because <laughs> if I do snap here, the people that don't know this channel, but they know that channel, they're like, what? Where is the stream? I missed it. Yeah, it's just uh, it's it's kind of annoying. I kind of wish I just kept everything on one channel. Oh, well, it's fine. I've already made it this far. You already it's just it's, it's just a funny situation to be in. It's uh. Yeah, because when I do stuff here, they don't know over there. And when I do stuff there, there's people here that don't even know I have the second channel. So it's just, it's kind of a big, big wild mess. Yeah. I'm almost tempted to just like say, screw it. Sorry, guys, the second channel. We're moving everything to the main channel. But it's like, yeah, we already made it this far. You know, we'll see if it really gets under my skin. Incoming yeah. You can do all the streams here. Yeah, but then there's the people that like, like I had a lot of fun with my folks over there when we did our midnight stream. Like there's people that had no idea. There's people that don't know I have a main channel. They're like, oh wow, your stuff's cool. It's like, yeah, I've been doing this for a while. Yeah. Yeah, you got a second channel, right, Hotard? People are like, what? You have a second channel? What are you farming in your free to play? Sorry, I missed it. Uh, we're working on executor right now. If anything, just I'll leave a timestamp if you want to go back or just go back like 10, 15 minutes. You'll see us talking about it. Yeah. All right, here I'll put a quick. Uh... Do I? Uh, do I? All right. Do I want to play? I gotta play Conquest one way or another. I just, it's one of those, it's, it's here's, here's a weird predicament. I kind of feel like Conquest is one of those things where it's, it's one of those like, you know, if you, if you don't want to play it on stream, I think it goes to show how not fun it is. I mean, we could do Conquest here. I, all I'm gonna do is, um, all we're doing basically is just farming. Uh, I just finished sector five with you guys. So basically for the next week until Grand Arena starts, 
I basically just farm data crown materials and once grand arena starts again then I just finish up all the crate stuff and the, the challenges or whatever oh man okay how about this what time is it all right yeah it's just like here okay you want to see what it's what I got to do like this isn't like I wish it was a fun game I want more stuff to hang out with you guys with it just it's this is they they, they dropped the ball on this man oh I hope I'm hoping the crate dragon raid if it's anything like how the scourge event was in Marvel Strike Force, where you kind of there was a lot of thinking involved and it wasn't really just hit auto and walk away uh, I'm hoping that I, I, just, I, just, I hope the Kree Dragon is just not another, you know, put a team and hit auto, move away. Because that's what Conquest kind of turned into. That's what Rise of the Empire kind of turned into. I, I want something high quality. Like Grand Arena, you don't just hit auto and walk away. You actually have to sit there, think, plan, and all that other stuff. Despite the, the flaws of Data Crowns and stuff like that. All right. Uh, you know what? How about this? We just, we just, we, I got to play this anyways. We'll do a little Conquest chill. I'm just going to basically farm this node. <laughs> I guess you guys can see how I do my Data Crown farming. Isn't, isn't that exciting? Isn't that exciting? Remember the first conquest? Yeah, it's good. Uh, the problem is they made it way too grindy. Uh, all right, all right. Let's do a little. Uh, and then we'll maybe try to do a snap stream out of this. Ooh. Hmm. Oh man, I gotta. I haven't played snap in a couple days here. All right, we'll just do it. We'll do a little conquest and chill. I haven't songed these. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Sentry or Seer? Okay, that's mean. Seer is better than Sentry. 100%. All right. Uh, let me see here. Hold on. Um, all right. I, I, let's make sure we're doing at least something so we're not just wasting attempts here. All right. Let me first double check. What do I need for the Data Crons? Um, all right. So we got to do some BT stuff. We got to do Sith stuff, Separatist stuff, uh, Leaderless stuff too, right? All right. All right, first, let me see, make sure we're at least when we're farming. All right, data crowns, where are we at here? So we need, you know what I really would like? I would like to turn one of these in. Do I have, have reroll materials? Hold on. Uh, all right, that's my CLS data crown. Do I have any rerolls? Is it, is it expensive? 20? Ooh, I'll do a 20. Okay. All right, all right, hold on. Give me the whale of Cory. Whale of Cory. Holy grail, the chair is the chair is back. You better believe music Rackamer. Uh if we're gonna conquest and chill, I'm gonna chill my booty. Alright. The name of the whale kraken, holy R and Jesus. May the data crown odds be ever my favorite. Man, I even realize I have. I guess I've been sitting, I haven't been spending them. Alright, here we go. Big money. Get me shorty. Give me shorty. Wait, wait, it's droid, right? Yeah, I can get a droid. Yeah, give me some droids. Shorty, it's like the one data crown I'm missing. Come on. Give it a Yeah! There we go. Yeah, this one I've been missing out on. This one's super annoying. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Golden, golden, golden. Nicely done. All right, first try. Nice. Okay, I hate, I just, it's, it's, it's a pet peeve when I have duplicates. All right, what do I need? So we're going to probably need some credits here. Let's level up some of this stuff here. What do we got? All right. You know, I got to, I got to say this. Um, Grand Arena, despite my distaste and hate for Datacrons, I feel like because these Datacrons right now are fairly tame, it hasn't been intruding that much on my enjoyment of Grand Arena. Like the Lord Vader dodge stuff, like that was just over the top. I, I, I actually quite enjoy Like I hate Datacrons. I don't like the Datacrons that they have, but I like that they're not overly intrusive. I kind of feel like I could play this season of Grand Arena without any data crowns, and I wish it was like that all the time. I don't want to jinx it because knowing next season we're going to be, it's going to be busted. Uh, there we go. We got a resistance one. All right. Just, you know. All right. So yeah, we need to farm some of these puppies. All right. Let's do it. Yeah, I think I think it's probably that. Who was that? Tyler? Yeah, I have a feeling it's the fact that there's no data crowns for GLs is kind of a breath of fresh air. If that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's probably what I'm trying to say. But I don't want to... I feel like I'm going to bite my tongue because this is probably to calm before the storm again. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, Sith... Full Sith team. Let's do a non-lead. Do that. Let's get uh, Talon in there. Get Bastila. And then throw in Darth Revan. There we go. You know, I need some bangers. Can we get just a, a little... Just something to get our blood pumping? You got to make Conquest fun as much as possible. 
Did you say you're doing snap here? I don't know. I need to... I think I'm going to do snap on the second channel. Because that's where people expect to see it. Because as I said, the problem that I created, because I was told that I'm going to run out of notifications, that it's probably best to do two channels. I'm not a fan of the idea. Everything on one channel is what I would do moving forward if it's all gaming related. But anyways, like the next game I play, whether it's Star Wars Hunters, if you pick up Lord of the Rings or whatever other games, it's going to be here. Uh, but the problem that I created is that I created a, a brand new audience because I've been covering Snap since December. We got like, you know, was it six, seven thousand subs over there in the past few months? And they don't know that I have this channel, so it's not like if I play Snap here, they're going to see it. So I, I created this weird issue. Yeah. Sith, no leader feeds. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Sunday Malik. We'll be good. We'll be good. Yeah, thank you, Ty, for my second channel there. Yeah. I mean, I could also, uh, I could do a Snap tomorrow, if anything. No, I don't know. Yeah, it's, anyway, it's, all, it's dumb issues. Dumb issues. I've never gotten a notification for you in here, uh, and I'm here every time. I think most people are the same, yeah. Notifications are weird. I, I look at the data. It's Most views are not for notifications. I think it's like maybe 15% are notifications, something like that. So, that is what it is. The sooner the snapper. I mean, I could do... We could do maybe a... Um, I mean, I could play both, but that's eh, fine. I'll just sit here. I'll sit here doing this. Like, so this is like, I don't know. Is this fun to watch? <laughs> I don't know. That's why I don't mind just sitting here chatting with you guys. It's always fun to talk, but it's like, yeah, it's just, this is, I, I, I wish, because I can almost guarantee you, they have the metrics on engagement, how much time you're spending. I can almost guarantee you they're bragging to their overlords. Like, look at all this engagement, but it's not quality engagement. Like, this is what, the game will turn into like I wish there's a sim sim option. It's just you know I gotta spend you know 40 minutes doing this every day because I, I I go 50s, Chris refreshes, and then I go to hundreds and I stop. I don't do 200s. I I kind of stop myself there. I'm the song after you got it, bud. Did you already get the two droid feats done? No, I'm just doing not yet. Once I run out of stamina here, I'll move on to droids and put R2D to it and then uh, Doctor Afra. When do Omicron not work in Squadron? Yes, yeah, so it's not all the Omicrons. Uh, it's just, um, it's it's just random. Like Poggle works apparently, Seer Junda works. So it's not all the Omicrons are working. Some of them are, some of them are. A sim option, but still using stamina would be fun. It would save time, that's for sure. There's there's a lot of ways to go about it. I mean. <sighs> In my ideal world, like, at the minimum, when you max out Conquest, like, you got the max crate, I think there should be at least a way to just, like, lift all stamina, give you a sim option, and you just treat it like a cantina table, where, you know, it's like, imagine having to farm your relics manually every single day or your gear. It's kind of tease, and that's kind of where things have gotten to Conquest. Like, if I already maxed out conquest you don't need to penalize your stamina i just want to farm my stuff that's all i want to do yeah just the new omicrons work it seems that way hey i would not be mad if this is a permanent thing where we're going to be able to play of uh, omicrons all the time i hope that's the case i hope that cg sees that it's fun testing on new omicrons just in squad arena conquest but i have a feeling they're going to patch it because what's the point of a shorty omicron which no one's really putting their effort into when you can just use your Grand Arena and Territory Omicron inside of Conquest. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I think Cal Survival absolutely sweeping quizzes. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, here's how you stop them. You're immune to ability blocks. You're immune to death mark. You're good to go. That's the that's how you handle the inquisitors. It's hard to say. How do I prioritize getting boosters for one card? I need Doomed Infinity. They're working on a feature like that, they said, uh, somewhere on Discord. No, they, they called it a, uh, what did they call it? They called it a um, booster magnet, where it could, you could get targeted boosters towards particular cards. I don't think it's in game, but right now, it's impossible to get boosters for a particular card. It's just completely all over the place. How was Seer testing Dr. Payton? Hey, bud, how we doing? Dr. Payton representing uh, not as impressive as other stuff. Yeah, it's um, 
it's, it's just okay. It's definitely the most unimpressed thing this year. But there was a lot of great stuff this year. So, you know, you got to have a range, right? Uh, I'm not sure if you played much of Cal and Ray. I know, I think the guild did a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I'm convinced that Cal should be in Seer Junda's team. There might be some other stuff. Who knows? Solid 2.5 out of 4. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's the poll. There's a little poll going on there. Somewhere between, yeah, I don't think it's, I don't know if it's a solid 2, but probably, you know, somewhere in that 3-ish range. Definitely not a 1, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a two and a half, I'd say. Yeah, it's not bad. Loving the Sandman Doom Deck. Glad you like the Yotter. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun right now. Gets work done. <laughs> Gotta use M'Baku to soul the Tuskers, man. M'Baku is such a, a high level elite play. 100%. No kidding, Tyler. You got Dino, and then the immediate next card was Leech. Here's the situation of Leech. I want to explain it this way because I did use Leech a few times when I first got the card. How to word this in a, in a, in a global political setting. So you know how, you know, the West, we got to fully enjoy the industrial era of burning all the dinosaurs and stuff. And now we're at a, a point where we're trying to move, move over to renewable resources, clean energy. But then we criticize other people who are developing and getting to where you know, the West was maybe a couple years prior, a couple decades prior, and they were burning all the dinosaurs, so high pollution. And they were like, oh no, you guys, you guys can't, you guys can't do that, even though we were able to do that. That's kind of how I feel like with Leech. I used Leech a little bit, and I'm like, no, you guys shouldn't use Leech, that card's dirty. That's literally how I feel. <laughs> it's like me going up to, you know, you know, like China. China had like massive, uh, massive bursts in its economy and whatnot. And you know, a lot of it though was you know using dirtier forms of energy. And we're like, oh, China, there are such dirty polluters over there. But we were doing that too, not too long ago. You know, that's how I feel. That's how I feel with Leech. I criticize people who get the card and it's so powerful, but I've, I've become so holy where I'm like, I'm not using Leech anymore. Leech isn't for cheaters. Yeah, there you go. Generally good take. Climate just was not expecting that here. Yeah, it's just, uh, I don't want to get in. I, I'm not, I just want to put it, make it clear. I'm. I'm not really much into global politics and stuff like that, but I always found I found there was a little irony uh, in it all, where we criticize nations that are finally hit, getting this big boost of development, but it was okay for us to use it, but it's not okay for them to use it, even though they don't have the resources to have these cleaner forms of energy. So I, 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 I always thought that was kind of funny, is all, you know. Actually, I, that, just, the reason I brought it up because that's how I feel like with Leech. Or, it was okay when I used it, and now I'm hating on the people that are using it that get it. Yeah, you can't do that. It's only okay if we do it, yeah. I don't want to get political, but a hot dog isn't a sandwich. There you go. Uh, my, we did it first, so it's okay. I know, I got the satire, Adam. It's all good. You get any steampunk variants here? You know what? I'm gonna, I, I gotta multitask. This, this is so, this is like brain dead content <laughs> with this. It's like, I'm not engaging with the game at all. Uh, it's, it's, it's like, it's, it's weird. It's, uh, I, I, I don't know. I wish there is, there's this whole, I, I, I got a multitask. I just can't sit here just letting this sit on auto. Cause normally we, I'm, I, I play conquest and auto when I'm doing other stuff out there. It just feels weird to play conquest and I'm just, I'm not doing anything. Yeah. I, yeah. They messed up conquest, man. Open up reserves. I don't have many. I'll be honest. I've been so busy this week. That's why we didn't stream on Tuesday for Marvel Snap. I've been so busy. Uh, I haven't played much Snap in the uh, past like two-ish days or so. Yeah, because I was going to play. Where is she at? I was going to play with Negasonic. I have her pin. I'm still planning on testing her. I just never got around to it. The mobile gamer said he tried her out and wasn't too impressed with how they were doing. Play Snap. The only downside is this. I, I don't want to just play Snap. I want to. What? Oh gosh, are we, oh, we don't, and what is going on? Oh, Steam cannot connect. Okay, maybe Steam's down right now. I don't know. You know, but if I'm going to play Snap, I don't just want to casually play. I want to play in a way where I can take the gameplay and make it into a video for the second channel. So, like, I don't want to put Galaxy of Heroes in the background of uh, Marvel Snap. Well, I did get a few. I got, like, a Falcon variant. Uh, I don't know. I, I personally am not, I don't care about variants. They're cool. I'll take it if they're free, but I, I don't really, you know, it, it, that stuff doesn't really get me super hyped. 
you know i don't know that's just me i mean i think it's cool when you get the gold backgrounds and all the special effects. like that's pretty cool uh but I, I, yeah for me it's like yeah if i get variants i get i get them i got like i think i got i think it was wasp i think i got wasp but i think i got falcon and something else one other thing yeah what gl are you gonna get next in the free-to-play I'm, I'm debating part of me wants to go for kenobi because that was the plan but i'm starting to think i maybe should go for java I, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of at a kind of at a crossroads of that right now. Is Malgus any good for Conquest? Yeah, he's good. I mean, we're not really using Malgus right now. We're using Malik as the lead, but yeah, Mal, uh, Malgus is pretty pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Camping is still going. Davey, this is nothing. We've only been around for like what? It's only been like what? Well, how long has it been? Holy crap, it's been four and a half hours. But still, it's nothing. We've had longer streams. This is this is just a, a snack and an appetizer. I just figured since we have no... I, I gotta play this on... I don't know. I'm, I'm in such a weird crossroads with them. With this conquest. It's fine. Uh, that would be awesome, plus a good transition to JMLS right. Yeah. If on your PC, better to play Snap on Steam over Blue Sex. Oh, yeah, 1,000%. Yeah, for some reason, it's not loading up right now. Oh, wait. Did I get it? Oh. Hold on. Let me see. Did it open up? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I got to reboot Steam or something like that. Here, let me see if I can fix it. Let me see. Where's Steam? Steam, 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 Steam. Harry, bro. Buddy. What do you mean you can't see me? I'm literally okay. All right, Gary, you're gonna play it that way. All right, bring it back over then. Oh well. Yeah. Um. I, I just yeah I, I. You know I I just don't think I'm gonna get this Marvel Snap. I need at least two hours to play it, and I only have an hour and a half to play it, so that's fine. I have a video for Marvel Snap. This is not all that bad. Maybe I'll do a stream tomorrow. Oh boy. This weekend for sure. No, I got stuff going on this weekend. Yeah. Oh, don't turn to John Cena, right? <sighs> Apparently, oh, what did Fatal say? Says she's getting 30% what she should be. Oh, oh, what is that? Anytime Fatal says, like, I listen, Seeloth. What is Seeloth responding to? Wait, 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 wait. Fatal says Reva's relic. Oh gosh, and Reva? He thinks her relic nine bonuses aren't giving what they should. Wow. Uh, coming from Fatal, I, I, I am inclined to believe them. They. Yeah, boy, I can't imagine Reva even being more powerful. Wow. Yeah, so Reva is probably even stronger than what we we're expecting. How do I even see? Is it Sloth? See, like when I see that, I think of CeeLo. You know CeeLo? I see you driving around town, the girl I love. It's like, so I, I see CeeLo, oh, CeeLo. I can never get it right. Fatal knows this stuff. That's scared here. Yeah, I mean, Fatal, it, you know, like, Fatal's one of those people where when they say something, you you, you perk up and listen, right? Because they, they know things that probably he shouldn't know about this game. And they know it. Um... Boy, that's scary. I, yeah, and Reva's gonna probably get even more powerful if they're gonna fix the Darth Treya versus Reva mechanic, which is pretty scary as well. 70% stronger, holy cow. That's nuts. You'll get it one day, one of these days. It's, it's Kedlaw. Is that, I, I, I don't even know anymore. I gotta stop saying English is my first language because apparently it's not. Apparently it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh man great stream thanks Donald thank you so much uh who is that uh Chell Chelsea great seeing you here today it's a Tolkien thing ah okay hello so, so why can't it just be what you read is what you get you know you know what I mean Ooh, LeBrock's got a new EP coming out that's awesome I did not know about that that's good to hear Kadar uh, just like Fatal knows their stuff with Galaxy Rose, Kadar knows their stuff with them. Is it possible to get an ink split, ink variant on the first one? I don't think so. Let me see. Let me look up the infinite splits real quick. Infinite splits. Granting, I guess I could do free to play conquests. I haven't picked that up yet. 
Let's see, do that. Yeah, infinite splits are uh, kind of random. I hear, let me look up how it is. Infinite splits. All right, here you go. Oh no! Oh my god, the web store logged me in! I just lost an attempt on conquest. Freaking hell, this web store is just so. Tr I'm not even like. All I did is I clicked on the tab and it logged me. I didn't even like. Oh man. Yeah, the web store logged me in and it just kicked me out of the game. Oh jeez. This web store, man. Like, they spent like five minutes making it, I swear. All right, well. Oh gosh. All right, where's the infinite splits? There was like a great spreadsheet somewhere that showed how it worked. Man, that was a waste of my brain cells. Here it is. That's, the, that's what I'm looking for. That's what Papa's looking for. Ugh, that was annoying. All right, hit the auto, walk away. All right. So yeah, infinite splits, marble snap. Here's how it works. No, yeah. So you you can't get the ink split right away. So first split, you gotta, you're either gonna get a foil or prism. Split two or three, that's when you start getting the fun little glimmer or comic effects. Split four is when you have the chance of getting ink. So so you're not gonna get the chance of getting ink until you at least get to split number four. Ten percent chance. You're going to get it. Gold splits don't start kicking in until five, Incoming where you'll have a 10% chance of getting gold. And then split six and beyond, that's when you start getting the possible chance of getting the Kirby effects of the bubbles. And yeah. So yeah, ink, yeah, so yeah, you can't get ink until you at least split four times. But for me, I, I the gold's the one that's imp most impressed me. I there was the coolest card I think I saw. There was a Magneto that was gold with the Kirby effect. It was. Are we back? Are we back? I think we're back. Oh, they're back. Yeah, I, apparently we're having those little hiccups again today. They're back. Yeah, I got it. My bad. Uh, here, I, I tried opening up Steve. For some reason, it's not even opening up. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. My Steam's just not even opening up in general. Fix your Steam valve! Oh, well. So, what was I saying? I don't know. Something about Golden Kirby Magneto. Pretty dope. And I can't log into my Steam right now. The, the, game, uh, the Steam's not even opening up right now. Steam had a six, uh, hiccup at the same time the stream did. Is Meathead here? Is Meathead here? I, was, I see, I see yeah, Kadar is like having a one-way conversation here. Where is he at? Oh, there's Meathead. How we doing, Meathead? Great having you here, bud. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else Meathead is saying. Meathead, listen. My brother from another mother. I need you with all your well-being and power. Please, I know you guys are going to quickly patch the whole Omicron thing. I get uh, fine. I, I get patching Poggle for Conquest because you want the Conquest Omicrons like shorted to stand out. I get it. Okay. But can you with every fiber in your body just say, hey, guys, you know what? Seer Junda Omicron's working here and Squad Arena. Poggle's Omicron working Squad Arena. And it's kind of cool to, to let people test out their Omicrons. You know, let's make it happen. Let's let us use those Omicrons. I'm currently in a meeting. Don't tell anyone. There you go. See me. I want you, you got to stand up right now. Be like, listen, this is cool and all Fury class interceptor wink wink. But I think what we really got to talk about is we got to talk about the ability to use your Omicrons inside a squadron. And while you're at it, I don't want to make your list even bigger. You know, the bigger the demand, the harder it is to get it pushed through. If you can just let them know, like, hey, why do we have caps on arena 
if we want Arnold to stream our new character for 24 7 we should let him let him play with Sir Junda for as long as they want I I'm just I'm just I'm putting some suggestions out there and, and you know what if you want to sweeten the deal be like he, he he's even willing to spend the crystals on all the refreshes for 24 hours ideally the good pr move would be to just re remove the crystals and just let us screw around as much as we want but i i'm trying to i'm trying to find a, a middle point here i'm trying to find a a place for us to bargain you know i'm trying to be reasonable here so i owe me poggle i haven't um i haven't tried it out yet and I, I, I'm probably not going to throw it on because I need to save 60 Omicrons for Trench. So I'm likely not going to apply it unless my guild really wants it. Here's what I need to see. I mean, maybe it's going to be good on offense, but my concern is, will Trey still beat it? I think Jawas won't be able to be good now because now they have to go through a second revive. But uh, like, will Trey still beat it? Will Morrow Jade Omicron beat it? So I don't see myself applying. If it was Squatter or Grand Arena, I'd be like, yeah, I'll, I'll go for it. But I, I generally only apply Territory Omicrons unless it's a meme, I love a character, or my guild wants it. So I generally don't go all in and on them. So yeah, I haven't tried it out yet though. Not yet at least. But I've, uh, I've heard there's some broken stuff, but it looks like they fixed it already. What do I think about The Last of Us? Talk about the TV show? Or the game. I am, I'm still finishing the game. Uh, what was I going to... Uh, what was it? So I, in the game, I've only managed to get... I'm, I'm just way too busy. We, we stopped at uh, the part where... Oh, what was his name? The brothers. Um, we had has to shoot his brother because he was infected. I can't remember their name right now. Uh, we, that's where we... No, no, no. I lied. We got to, we got to the campsite. Uh, where Joel's brother was. That's where we're at right now. And then the Raiders started coming. That's where that's where I, I got to the game. In regards to the show. Oh, man. I think my biggest... Uh, my biggest gripe. I'm not sure if it's... Uh, not, not even so much about the show itself. I think it's just more about the, 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 the age-old question about if, if what Joel did was the right thing to do. You know? It seemed very selfish. I mean, but, you know, we don't know. Could the Fireflies truly have composed some sort of uh, cure or some sort of way to become immune to whatever the fungus was? Like, there was a lot of questions that weren't simply answered. So I, I was definitely very torn. I was a little torn on it. It was okay, though. It was, I don't have a lot of good shows to watch right now. Uh, it, was, it was all right. I think I enjoyed it for the most part. I'm trying to like, I don't know why I'm like drawing a blink on the show for the moment. It's only been like two weeks and I feel like I forgot it all. Absolutely not. They weren't actually that far in the research. It was just a theory. Yeah. So like if, if they truly could not come up with the cure, I'd be like, you know what, Joel? I don't blame you. If they don't even know if they, if they can do anything, I think it's, you know. But if, but if then the question is, if, even if there was a chance that they could come up with some sort of cure or some sort of immunity, was it worth a shot? One, one life, one life for the possibility to save all of human civilization. That, I don't know. Hashtag Joe was right. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's hard to say. Was Seer good at GL right now? I don't think so. I, I, I'm not entirely impressed with, uh, impressed with them. Yeah. Yeah, a seer. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I think there's better options to put in a seer team for right now. That's just me. That's just me. But we gotta wait. You know, Grand Arena comes around. We'll, we'll see. It just, uh, it's one of those things that definitely wasn't overtly obvious. If it's, if we go, oh, hold on, I got message. Oh yeah, people's reach out. Yeah, people's uh, reaching out saying, hey, 
I hear that Sierra Junda is working in uh, Squatter at the Omicron. Hell yeah. Yeah, see, I think people heard it too. Guitar Laporte, how we doing, baby? Time for some dangerous dreams. You better believe it, baby! Let's crank it just a little bit for you. How's that sound? Yeah. Are you going to buy Hitmonkey? Yeah. Very likely. Uh, I'm kind of getting to the rhythm of just like reviewing all the new cards that come to the game. I think Hitmonkey is supposed to be the season pass. So the thing about... Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, in Marvel Snap, I think what I like about the game, you really only got to spend $10 a month for the season pass, and you, you're, you're kind of good. You know, it, it's kind of nice. Yeah, so the season pass cards are generally fairly good. Uh, Nimrod has been, you know, just okay. They haven't been really, like... They've, they've, they've evolutionized a few decks. Hitmonkey... I'm before they nerfed Moon Girl, Quinjet interactions and stuff like that. I was really looking forward to using Stature and Hit Monkey. If you guys remember who watched my Stature gameplay review, I love the idea of Stature being cloned by Moon Girl, and then you have a bunch of She Hulks. You could place a bunch of She Hulks, Moon Girls turn six, and then Hit Monkey with them, and then Hit Monkey just gonna get a lot of power. But now that they nerfed Quinjet, I don't know if that's going to work that well that way. Yeah. They didn't get the straight yet, so no Nimrod crew. Yeah, I uh, I was actually kind of curious to see how Nimrod would work with uh, Negasonic. Hit Monkey going to work with Sierra Control. Yeah, I'm seeing that too. 1,000%. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Hit Monkey is going to be a lot of fun. It's, it's going to definitely benefit from those high powered turn six plays so you know moon girl sarah control she hulk type of stuff uh, i'm definitely expecting something like that anyone else maxing tusk is, is it a good idea oh man we i would say let's wait for that crate dragon raid if we're gonna see that the tuskins are like the best team for it the Crate Dragon Raid is the future for Galaxy Heroes for the foreseeable amount of time. So uh, it could very well be worth it. We just don't know. The team is good in Grand Arena, though. You know, uh, actually, you know, speaking of the devil, we should probably check out the uh, Boba Fett stuff. Here, let me check out some Boba Fett data. Uh, let me see. 3v3. Let's look at Tuscan. Oh, actually, I already made a video on this. Do I not watch my own videos? <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, Tus I mean, Tuskins have been pretty decent in 3v3. I mean, yeah, boy, this is actually pretty surprising. No way. All right, here, check this out for those that care. All right, I guess that's my conquest for the main account. Yeah, people says that it looks like Seer June is a hard meh faction. Yeah, all right, so I I'm not the only one who feels that. All right, I, I, I like when someone kind of can say, yeah, you know... I'm not feeling it either. So it, it's good to know that I have some confirmation on that. Holy cow, Malik is carrying hard right now. All right, let's go throw some eternal stuff down here. All right, hold on. You, 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 let's do that. Yeah, yeah, sure, go for it. All right, come on, Malik, you got this, bud. Come on, Malik. Ah, that sucks. All right. Yeah, let's get another team. It's that, 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 that's annoying, man. I wish we had a, a sim option. Uh, all right, new team. Let's go throw in some Dr. Afra droids. Let's go scoundrels. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You, you, you know what? What if I just put in... Here, I'm just going to put an R2-D2 and C3P to knock it all out at once. There we go. All right. So, yeah, speaking of Tuskins, man, this is actually... So, we got more data. So, my data was only for the first two weeks. We have a third week of Grand Arena in here now. Hold on, do that first. Nice. Okay. So, all right. So, here's what Boba Fett's looking like in the Tuskins. After a full month of Grand Arena, it's kind of basically what I already showed in the video. Treya seems to be the best counter, and that's that's kind of a when you think about Treya nowadays, it's kind of a big counter. Uh, that that's something you could be using up against maybe sometimes Malgus or Gas and some other high level stuff of that sort. So that's not bad for the Tuscan. Radis is also showing to be pretty promising. 
This, the, look, I, I, I find this so hard to believe. Gas only won 50% of the time. Like, can you guys even see that? Hold on, let me zoom you guys. There we go. That's a little better, isn't it? Imperial Troopers. I'm actually surprised people tried Imperial Troopers. The See, so like, you know, I was expecting Seer June to be kind of anti-Imperial Trooper. They, they maybe are. But the Tuscans are like 100% the greatest Imperial Trooper counter I think we've ever seen. Wampa, 42%. Grievous 30%, Padme, freaking Padme. I think it really, the problem is Boba's momentum is always so high and Padme just gets stunned from all the assisting and targeting and stuff. This also blows my mind, Han, Chewie, Dash. Goodness gracious, 18%. People throwing, I had people throw Galactic Legends at my Boba Fett too. Like, oh crap, I have nothing else. I have to throw a GL. Iden Versio, that's not bad. 70% it's not horrible. 60% Bad Batch, eh, that's okay, I guess. Um, oh, make sure there's Tuscan Warrior in here, too. What else we got? I just, yeah, that, that surprising stuff. Maul, 50, 60%. Dr. Frickin' Afra, 50% win rate. Yikes. Master Luke's Grand Inquisitor had a few drop battles. Holy cow, 33% win rate with the, uh, without, what, what, geez, that's funny. So you put Ninth Sister in, you lose 40% more often wow oh that's actually probably not bad a malik solo that sounds scary but that's not hey if it works it works star killer yeah i would not do that we were able to beat star killer in squad arena i could only imagine it's gonna be even better inside of uh yeah grand arena 50 percent winner boss huh that's interesting 100 percent win rate with the six people that did that i'm trying to think why how why would that work you can't put damage over times on the Tuscans. Hmm. I don't know, maybe there's just enough damage. This one actually kind of pretty surprising for me. I was not expecting that. Hondo got through it. Yeah, we, I think we used, we used Hondo one time. We actually did that same exact team. Qui-Gon, 66%. You know, I, you know, I'm really happy to see that Boba Fett's... It's not their intended selling point using them in squad arena or grand arena 3v3 with tuscans but i'm happy to see that they're a more threatening character and actually like useful now otherwise they're just sitting around doing nothing it just sucks i can't use them in 5v5 grand arena it really does um cls 33 percent and they were kind of teetering off there so yeah uh tuscans uh they're like i don't know if we're gonna see seer junda show this type of performance you know I mean, uh, you know, uh, I think Sierra is just going to be like a, the new middle of the wrong type of team. But uh, yeah, it's got some good stuff. Some pretty promising stuff. Oh, shoot. What's going on here, guys? Oh, what's going on? There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Finish him up. There we go. Nicely done. Yeah. This is most likely against Gear 11 Tuskins. Yeah, that, keep that in mind, too. Not everyone has relic out of their mind Tuskins. They might have Boba Fett up and running. But yeah, the Tuscans are still a little new. So like a lot of that's with low stars, low gear. Incoming and that's what's really impressive about the whole thing too. Yeah. Yeah, 1000%. Good call out, Jacob. Yeah, uh, Tuscans are a lot of fun. Uh, it's cool seeing them be useful too because they're needed for all these variety of different farms out there. Oh, who reached out to Trent? That's my fleet arena, right? Oh, we could... Uh... Oh, shoot. I didn't know it's my fleet arena shardmate reached out. They said they could have put something down. Whoops. I missed out on that one. My bad. My bad. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't, I didn't hear anything else about that. I'm going to keep my ears peeled to see if there's an executor bug. Cause that's pretty nuts. Good throw the po two dollars. Thank you. LeBrock says, call me. Let's crank it up a little bit. Oh, oh boy. We're getting smashed right now. Uh Oh, where's my hunt? Jeez, we got wrecked here. Hold on. There we go. Come on. Hold on. Come on. Just get in there, girl. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Not you. There we go. Come on. We're not going to get the droid out, unfortunately. We have the light side droids here. All right. Let's go give it on over. Give it to Aphra. Uh-oh. Our zealous ambition's not doing all the lifting right now. Ooh, it's not looking good for Afra. Oh, she gone. All right, let's see if they can pull it through. They did a marquee event. Uh, not on the free-to-play count. 
I'm just, I'm, let me finish up all this dumb shenanigans. My grandma asked for a Jabba Relic song and cream soda. I love that picture, by the way, Salvatore. How about this? We'll do it on the way out. I'll, I'll, we'll end the party with a Jabba Relic party. 100% on your side there. What else we got here? Oh, history team. Sorry about that. I missed out on your last table chat. Got a dip. College paper. Sorry about exactly. No, it's all good. Hey, I, I, I just didn't see it. Hopefully it was just a weird one-off bug that history team had. Uh, it happens. This game's got some weird one-off bugs. So hopefully it's not going to be that big of an inconvenience. If so, I'll be sure to keep my eyes peeled. Usually Reddit's got a pretty good pulse on big bugs. Uh, let me see. Wow. How did my Afro get stomped at? Or maybe I got to take out these droids. Um, here, let's do this. Go get me you. And then get me Vader. All right. Maybe the... Yeah, 70%. That's, that's too early to, to cheap out on me here. There we go. There we go. Can you stream Snap when Jeff comes out? Oh, yeah. I mean, most of the time, I'm always snapping when a new card comes out. Just this week, I got kind of... I got a little carried away and busy. Never got around to it. All right, don't screw this up. Don't screw it up, please and thank you. My name is Jeff. Jeff looks cute. I, I Here's the thing though, I don't know, hmm. The Marvel Snap meta is in a really weird spot right now. Uh, they, they were trying to nerf the Shuri lineup. <laughs> I think all they did is they made it more powerful. <laughs> At least that's what it feels like. All right, it's seeming like my app has run out of steam at this point. Yeah, only 70%. Oh God, it's such a horrible feeling when I'm just, I, I'm not, I just want to get my, the, the farming stuff. Oh, gosh. All right, well. That sucks. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. Is what it is. All right, come on, just put a bow in it. Yes, cause geez, seventy percent. Not like I'm running a ten percent stamina here. You know what I'm gonna do? Enough screwing around. This is what we're gonna do. No, no, no. I, I, I'm done goofing here. I'm done messing around. This is my game plan. The end. Just no. We're not. We're not gonna farm anything. No, no feats. Here's what we're gonna do. Where are you at? Where are you at? Here we go. Yeah. These toss gonna get like to act like they're tough, huh? Uh-huh. We'll see how tough you are with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that. Get me, I don't know. Get me. Yeah, let's do it. I wanna see the look on their face. Here. Hold on, hold on, just wait, just wait. We'll Okay, just we just gotta wait a little bit, you know. You can't do anything. No, nothing. No, no, you can keep knocking. We ain't letting you in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, just hold it for a second. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Here. You want to play? You want to play top? Here you go. Get out of here. There you go. That's how you do it. We don't screw around here. That's all you gotta do. Send in Dash and Dark, give him some zealous ambition, call it a day. But realistically, I do need to do my R2D2 thing. Hold on, let's, um, can I squeeze R2D2 C3PO in here? Hmm, I guess I get, no. Hold on. All right, here we go. We'll do R2, you, give me L3, there we go. All right, that's how we do it. Yeah, not so tough now when I'm juiced out of my mind of zealous ambition. Here we go. All right. Put on auto. Let Dashwindar do the rest. No, 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 no. Okay. You hit auto over there. All right. There we go. Oh, man. Michael Pruitt, the one on that. We need to cop Omicron. I, I'm not even going to disagree with you. Are you expecting pushback from me or something? Because I'm literally going to be there walking side by side, hand in hand to make that happen. That's what we're going to... I promise you, it's going to happen. 1,000%. Just got to give it time. Oh, man. Did, uh, does Dashwindar not hit us hard without Quill? 
No, we're gonna get there. There we go. Yeah, they, they, they have no chance. No chance. There we go. Dump on them. Easy money. Beautiful. They got it. They got it. Reginald Brown, $2. Malik Lee, Dash, R2, 3PO, Y. <laughs> no LDR drops. I think my Malik, uh, Malik is out of uh, stamina right now. Oh, let's see. Hold on. What's a not, what's, what's like a great non-lead here? Hold on. We'll figure it out. Give me a second. What if... Hmm. All right, hold on. I, I, I'm feeling there's gonna be there's some ultimate cheese I can put together. All right, I have an idea. Okay. So we, we bring in Quill lead. Bring in Dash. Uh, we're running out of stamina though. His, his cheekiness isn't gonna be as good. All right, we're gonna throw in. Uh, it's, we need a. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. The thing is that like with low with low stamina, they're not gonna do much. All right, let's do the rebel thing. I've done the three pock lead. Here, there we go. Do that, that, that. R two. Oh, actually, hmm. Yeah, just go for it. Actually, no. You need you need three PO and Chewy, don't you? All right. Uh, hopefully this works. If not, we'll go down that route. Uh, all right, go for it. All right, almost here. Yeah, we're getting dunked on right now. Oh god, I just I despise conquest of every fiber of my body. All right, I'm just literally just wasting energy for no reason. Ah, uh, yeah, it's probably gonna get melted by Tuscans. Yeah, we're, uh, I, I'm purposely farming this node because I need the materials for the data crons. Yeah, that was Jesus. Uh, it's such a trash feeling. It's like you just imagine you're, you're just trying to farm your relic materials and you're just like you're dropping battles for no reason and you got to play for an hour of needless activity. Uh, you know, just stick to the ray thing. It's fine. Just send in ray. You know what? No. Send. Let's do a little Kenobi cheating. Just, it's, you know, no, hold on. No, 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 no. We should definitely be farming something here. Let's, um, get me, give me, give me, give me. All right, there we go. No, 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 no. There you go. There we go. Good stream, man. Have a good night. Thank you, Keloth. Did I get it? Did I get it right this time? I guess it's like Celtic, right? Celtic? Celtic? I guess that's how you can say it. All right, there we go. Cat Lee, 3 po JMK, RTP. Yeah, you could do that too, I guess. We could do some of that. How mad would you be if Mirren only had an Omicron for TB, man? I, here's the, I don't mind Territory about Omicrons as long as the character is useful in other areas of the game. Like, you know, uh, like Kyle Katarn's got a Territory about Omicron, but they're useful outside of Territory Battles. I got, yeah, I got nothing against it. I still don't have the incentive yet to do Territory about Omicrons. I don't see the upside to it, but I, I wouldn't be mad at it. I just hope she's good. That's all I hope. That's all I want. I'm not. I'm not asking for a lot. Let me close this poll here. We got a lot of out of context votes. A lot of people coming in later, later without seeing it. What about the squadron? Oh my god, we tried it out. We did that a little bit. Did I put the the Omicron? Yes, I did, Caleb. Caleb, where were you all day? I haven't. You weren't here to nag on me. Well, it's great having you here now. Yeah, we did some Omicron testing. Uh, definitely a bit. Uh, I kind of regret it. I regret the old Ogron right now. So we got to wait and see. Didn't get the notification, Caleb. I saw you comment on the second channel video. And you weren't here. I'm disappointed, Caleb. A little disappointed right now. It's all good. I'll try to forgive you. Stupid YouTube, it sucks. Fix your notifications, YouTube. Bunch of jerks. Are you guys going to... What are you guys doing here? Just finish the job. All right, come on. There we go. Look at Nasta's juicy counterattacks. Yeah, 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 come on. Uh, there's Nihilus. That's my boy. There we go. That's how we do it. Good stuff. All right. I, I'm probably going to cap us out at 100. And I just, yeah, I, yeah. This is like my brain's like turning into mush playing this conquest game up. <laughs> oh, man. You're back for the long rest. Great having you back, uh, Dez. 
Good having you. Good having you there. Oh, did you hear the way Arnold shamed me? I, listen, Caleb, that's just that's where our relationship is right now. We just like to talk dirty to each other at this point. It's like pulling teeth. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's I mean, I just want to put it out there. There are some people that love conquest and more power to them. I don't want to take that away from you. Just for me, I, I much prefer PVP type of things. You know, I, I I just want to play Grand Arena all the time. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. I think the raids are like, you know, thematic raids are fun and cool. I got nothing against them. I just don't like doing this every single day for two weeks. It's just not fun. Not a very fun situation to be in. All right. Uh, how are we on the free to play? Uh, Zealous Ambition. Pick that sucker up. Yeah, boy. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right, let's go. Keep moving forward. Yep, 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 yep. All right, this is uh, last battle for the free to play count today. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. I just did my conquest and I come to the stream and <laughs> sing. This is my, this my life is sad. Listen, conquest is gonna be everywhere. No matter where you go, you're gonna see them in every aspect. Had me with Captain Rex. Wow, that's not a great plugin for that. You're not gonna get any term here. Imagine a private version of Galaxy of Heroes. If only Adam, right? If only. You cheeky son of a gun. <laughs> Kadar the Poet, it's all or nothing. Yeah, all the LeBrock songs are coming out back to back, right, Kadar? Hell yeah. You think the Fury Interceptor will have one or two pods? Oh, that's hard to say. I, I, I here's my, here's my, I, I need to know. If it's gonna be a conquest ship. I mean, I guess they got marquee character. I mean, I, pretty much all the conquest ships have been piloted by a non-conquest character. Huh. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to say if like they're not going to add anything else. Like, I don't think they're going to put Malgus in if you're intercept. That seems kind of dumb, right? If you're going to put Malgus in a ship, it's got to be a capital ship. And that's already pretty steep, right? It's not like a Radis or Pierre where you can farm it pretty easily. Malgus is going to be a pretty gated thing. Hmm. I, I, I think my assumption is going to be Sith Empire Trooper is going to get a ship. That's my guess. That's my guess. All joking aside, he's a very professional streamer. Wow. Professional streamer. And nicer person encouraging. Oh, Caleb. Too kind. Now you're just flattering me at this point. Yeah, I, I'm thinking it's going to be Sith Empire Trooper. Malgus piloted a small ship. It, just, it feels like a... I don't know. I mean, again, I'm, I'm not going to be surprised if it happens. Uh, I, I just feel like, you know... I just think it'd be cooler if Malgus was like... A meta smasher in the fleet arena space, you know? I guess not the way to see. Yeah, that's not the wait and see. Time will tell. Time will tell what's gonna be. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it, it seems because here's the thing: we're, Trench comes out in two weeks. It's gonna be April, and generally a week after the last conquest thing comes out, they spill the beans on what's the next conquest unit. So if we're gonna see it, it's probably gonna be. Um, what is it? Hey, what's, what's, what's today's date today? Uh, we said April 30 comes out, right? Yeah, so April 3rd. So I would expect probably around April 10th or 11th, 12th. Probably 11th. Let's see, hold on. One week, two weeks. Yes, yeah, so I, I think probably around April 11th so it's going to happen. So a uh, good chance it could be that Fury Interceptor. I mean, it's not, it's not hard to imagine, too. They released the Interceptor, right? The Interceptor came out, and then we had a bunch of uh, other fleets could develop after the future. Or, you know, they, they released that Outrider, and then a few months later, Radis came out with the Profanity. So, you never know. You never know. I guess like, we got to wait and see. Nihilus Ravager would be the capture. Well, that's the only thing that ever came from the old leaks from back in the day. So, we got to wait and see. I mean, I would think, you know, because we look at all these capital ships, putting a Conquest character behind a capital ship seems really scary steep pretty much all these guys are either yeah the most of them are either like mini legendaries like negotiators a mini legendary 
Malevolence is kind of a mini-ish legendary. You know, it's kind of hard to farm, but they're all manageable to farm. You can farm the characters fairly easily. None of these capital ship pilots are difficult to get. Malgus would be next level. So Nyla's kind of sits in line with all this here. And I remember the old leak, it was, it was talking about a, like a Treya rework type of thing in which we eventually got through the use of an Omicron. They, maybe they've been holding it for a while now. Yeah. They could have been holding it for a while and we, we just got the, the Trey Omicron uh, just a few months ago. So who knows? I, I, if I had to put money down, I, I would think Nihilus seems to be the more likely capital ship if we're just going based off this type of stuff here. Then Malgus Fury would be a big requirement for the Ravager. I would expect it, yeah. At least Seer's event was easy. Oh yeah, her event's pretty easy. Yeah, I, I don't think you're not gonna struggle with Marquee events. They're, they're purposely meant to be really easy. Nihilus Ravager alt, I'm gonna eat you now. Nihilus, I don't know why he needs a cap. Just, just let him be the capital ship in and of itself. Just Nihilus floating out there. There it is, an insta-kill. So, <laughs> executive thinks they're cool. I'm just saying, you know, I wouldn't be mad if Nihilus just floating out there. All right, I think for the sake of our brain cells, I'm gonna peace out. I'm gonna definitely, I, I usually do 100 and I stop once it gets to 200. I yeah I just I almost feel like I'm torturing you guys making <laughs> making you watch me <laughs> do my conquest right <laughs> oh I wish it was a lot more fun trust me um but yeah I, I feel like this is torture for you guys it's not it's not high en engagement type of stuff uh you know what uh, you know what we're gonna do Last thing, I want to just wrap up on a Tuscan battle. Let's do like Tuscan versus Tuscans. You think there's any chance that no, I don't think you think you think there might be a chance that the Tuscan Omicron turns on here if it's working in squad arena? Here, let's see. Whoa, what, what team would I put together? I guess I would put together here. I don't know. I'm just I'm just curious. That'd be pretty wild if this works here. Because, yeah, Poggle Omicron works inside of Conquest right now. I feel like I'm losing important child members watching Conquest. Yeah, I know. Uh, all right, yeah, I can't. It doesn't look like the Omicron's next. We're not getting the spawned uh, Tuscan. Why, why, why aren't they getting damage over time? Come on. Need more momentum. All right, Boba Fett. You're kind of sucking right now. Come on. I need... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Yeah, Bubble Fate, you're not really contributing much to this. Yeah, sorry, bud. I, I thought maybe your only card turned out. Hey, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking. Let's go do that. Buff the spell. Bonk. All right, come on. I want to... There we go. It's, it's starting to cook. It's starting to cook. Let's go for... Oh, oh, oh. There we go. All right. There we go. Momentum. Yes. Z -z 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 -z. Yes. There we go. There we go. He's still trying to be a part of the fun. Let's hit him. Okay, okay, okay. Nicely done. Get some turn meter pumping through our veins. You know what? No, I need to end on. No, 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 no. There we go. Now we're talking. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Uh yeah. Here we go. Fuck. Let's go. Go. Baby, that's how we cook around here. Let's go. Come on. Almost there. Yeah! This team is the funniest team to ever come to Galaxy Heroes, and I love them. Well, I, see, this is what a game looks like when it's freezing and crashing. Seer didn't freeze the game a single time today. There we go. God, I love this team. It's so stupid. It's amazing. This team brings a genuine smile to my face. There we go. Finish him up. There we go, y'all. Oh, man. You seen GL tickets in weeks? Oh, yeah, that's old news, Thor Thor Enter. We talked about that a long time ago. It's been there for, I want to say, like, four, five months? Something like that. Did you say only current there for Squadron? Only for, it's a bug. But right now, it's working for Poggle and Sir Junda if you want to try it out. Not for everything, though. 
Yeah, it also it works in Conquest too. Sir June is on my crown work. Poggle's on my crown work. It's a bug though. I expect them to fix it and take the fun away from us, unfortunately. And use of this new character, um, leftover teams. It's a leftover team for your online force users. Uh, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Poggle's a bug. What about it? <laughs> You're funny, Adam. All right, isn't it like past your bedtime? It's gotta be like, what is it? One in the morning or something, man? Adam, you got dedication, man. I love it. So much dedication. All right, people. I had a lot of fun. We're gonna make sure we size Salvatore. They wanna have a little Java hut edition on the way up. Thank you, I'll be here all night. Give it up for Adam. Thank you. Give it up to you guys. Had a lot of fun. You know, they all can't be winners. Zori Bliss was banger. Tuscan's banger. But it's all good. It's all good. Maybe there's gonna be more to Sir Junda. That time will tell y'all. But big thanks to everyone who came out. Let the like, the dislike, re-liked. Subscribe for the first time. Resubscribe because they're missing out on the fun. And of course, big thank you to the Kyber Cup High Rollers for going above and beyond the Imperial Call of Duty. Keeping the lights on 25, eight for one extra hour. One extra day of parting hard. Oh yeah. And for everyone who spent your time here, that is by far the greatest honor. Time is the most limited asset, most valuable. And you being here today means a lot, honey. Gary, bring him on over. We gotta start the song. Gary. Gary! Gary! Hello! Is it fixed? Gary! 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 I'm gonna clue you in on something! That's not looking good! Fix the hollow projector, Gary! You idiot! Sing it, y'all. I know you know the lyrics. Ego dong su da da pita da dunda. Ego da buda la dinda da lunda. Ego da du da da ringa da di da honga da. Ego da i chu da. Thank you. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best! And you guys are the best. We're open 25-8! Come to the Kyber Club, come to the stadium, go to the Grand Arena Coliseum! Plenty of stuff to do here at an Alderaan. I love you guys, you guys are amazing, and always remember that it's great to be in the Empire today.
That's the only little tease you're getting, Tango and Yotter. Stop asking. It'll happen when Adam says it's ready. All right, guys. Goodbye. Seriously, goodbye. We're, 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 we're almost there. Don't worry. I, I promise you. We just got to put the cherry on top, put the bow on. It's going to be done. Don't worry, Tango and Yotter. It's almost there. Patience. Patience is a virtue.